This is the Magma, baby. Welcome back to the Mac Mob. The Mac Mob is brought to you by BetUS.com. America's famous sports book, 29 years running strong. Get your prop bets and all your parlays and everything you need at BetUS.com. Don't forget the code MAC125. You get 125% back in your sign up bonus or call 1 800 79 BetUS. One love to the mob. I'm sorry I'm late. One love. Some love. Hit the like button and subscribe. Yes. A man going on. What's up, Shot Town? You know, it's on and popping. One love to the consigliere. Yes, sir. Love you, bro. Just the cat from the 402. Stand up. One love to you, just the cat. Yes, indeed. Outside on G. Back in peace. Mr. Golden, one love to you, baby. DM Shake, one love to you. One love, baby. Appreciate you. Dr. Paul, what's good, my brothers and sisters? Across the pond. Let me in the back of the blower. The saint is in here. Dr. Paul in here. That means we global. Blue Hustle Man, what's up with you, baby? Yes, sir. My man Jerry, what's going on? One love to you, baby. The EXO Factory. On the boss. It's the Mac Mom, baby. What's up, little bro? Yes, sir. Hey man, shout out to my man XO. That former still be back in the back mob. What it do? What it do? Yeah. Yeah. What's good, Nat? Let's start this show, y'all. Yeah, man, I'm glad to see my man XO and XO Factory come up here. You know what I'm saying? Little bro up in here, man, fill it down. So if we come here that lake, man, y'all show him a lot of love, man. You understand me? Shout out to my cuz, too, man. What's up, Lynn? Love you, cuz. You know what I'm saying? Special shout out to my cuz, man. Little Lynn. <laughs> He ain't little no more, man. <laughs> What's up, good? Yes,
appreciate y'all, man. I'm a fool, man, by the junk yard band, man. My favorite brand, man. My man Latch Puma just came in the dough. Say, B-Mac, man, you're getting real creative with your intros, man. I appreciate it, dog. I appreciate it, man. Hey, man, try to, trying to keep it up, man, with the mob, man. You know, we got to continue to to grow, uh, 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 move forward in progress. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate that, Matt, uh, uh, Latch. Thank you, my thank you, my brother. He say also Brandon got a fight in Philly this month, and he said he's going to stop his opponent. Hey man, shout out to my man, little Brandon man out there. You know what I mean? Uh, working real hard. Y'all know him. Y'all see him in the videos, man. If y'all haven't, y'all go check the videos and shorts in the Mac Mob, and you check out little Brandon's progress, man, from uh beginning to where he's at right now. You know what I'm saying? One love to you, man. Uh, Latch, one love, little Brandon, man. L Boogie just came through one love to the Don. What's up, man? Shot Town in the building. What's up with you, man? Yes, indeed, man. L Boogie, what's going on with you, L? My man Fresh said, yeah, man, the intro song was fire, man. I appreciate that. Thank you, Fresh. The underboss, man. Y'all know who he is in the building, man. Once again, man, my man Fresh. The freshest man in the Mac Ma. What's up, brother? Um... Let's go ahead and um get this show started, man. I, I'm sorry I'm late. Sorry I'm late. Had a little bit of emergency, but um, you know, nothing serious or nothing like that. Just had a run I had to make. So uh, you know what I'm saying? We back in the full effect. Uh XO Factory, man, is back in full effect. Glad to see my brother in here. Toby Barlett, man. You know, Capo with a Mac Mob International, baby. What'd you say, Toby? We global, baby. We global. One love to you, Toby Bartlett, man. They won always. They won always. Hey, look here, ladies and gentlemen. I know y'all been listening the last couple of days of what's been going on. Terrence Crawford, uh, Earl Spence, whatever, man. Terrence Crawford, PBC, however y'all want to call it, man. Y'all know what's going on. You know what I mean? So um, I'm going to get up to date with some of the the news that's been uh, crack a lagging the last couple of days. And um, let's talk about it, man. Let's start the barbecue. Well, to those that don't know, Turkey Ali Sheik um, wants to invade U.S. boxing. You know, and the thing about Turkey Ali Sheik is that um, he's going to pay money. You understand? He's going to pay money. And uh, he's talking about getting Terrence Crawford. Before we get into that, let's get up to date. You know, I'm not going to go all the way back. Let's just up to date what we talked about previously on the Mac Mob. In which with the WBO, to set, uh, Sebastian Fundora says he must negotiate with Terrence Crawford next and not Earl Spence. We all know that uh, Sebastian Fundora and Tim Zhu had a fight over the weekend, last weekend. Uh ended up with a victory for Sebastian Fundora. Uh, bloodbath, as we all know, at the end of it, uh, Earl Spence got into the ring. Earl Spence said, I'm next. Terrence Crawford already activated his WBO mandatory. He says he's next uh, for the winner. Uh, afterwards, Fundora's manager, Samuel Lukowitz, he comes out and says, now nah, we rolling with Earl Spence. And then he says, um, backtracks and said, well, we had a verbal rematch clause with um, Tim Zhu. So if we back back just a little bit. It says Tim Zhu will get a rematch, but not at this moment. Not when he need to maximize the money for Fundora. Lukovic said, he told reporters. He also said um, in the Monday night statement that to clarify those remarks, he said Fundora will honor his rematch with Tim Zhu, an agreement sometime, at some time. We're also eager to make the fight that many of our agreements we made verbally. Verbally. There wasn't enough time, explained Lukovic. But I wish to make it clear that Tim Fun, uh, the Team Fundora, will honor the agreement. My word is always equal to a signed contract. Tim Zhu, your rematch is ready when you are. Now that's kind of funny because at the end of the day, 
that don't mean shit. Your verbal agreement means nothing in sport of boxing. We can do that all night long and say, hey, well, we had a, re a verbal agreement. If it's not put in the contract, then it's not put in the contract. Plain and simple. You need evidence, and that's what comes in with evidence that comes inside the contract. You talking about, uh, you know, having a rematch with Tim Zhu, and it's verbal, so you're going to honor that first, and that, that overrides and oversucceeds everything. That's not true. It's not true. Not at all. That's not how it works. Not how it works at all. But he said it all depends on Tim Zoo. If he doesn't take the rematch, we'll take the uh, WBO mandatory or Spence, whatever the WBO says. The first priority is the rematch Tim Zoo. So you're saying right now, look, which that is whatever the WBO says. Because at the end of the day, WBO is controlling this match. Plain and simple. You can cry about it. You can bitch about it. You can moan about it. But he's ever said he's saying it right here. We'll take the WBO mandatory or Spence, whatever the WBO says. He's letting you know who's in charge of this situation. But the first priority is the rematch to Tim Zhu. That could be your priority all you want, but you won't be doing it without the WBO. With doing it with the WBO belt. Unless they say that's what they that they, 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 they're gonna go with, it's what they say. You can fight Tim Zoo all you want, but you still got to drop that belt. You can honor Tim Zoo's verbal contract all you want, but you still got to drop that belt. Bottom line, you got to drop that belt. Doesn't matter how you feel, you can go over there and deal what you want to deal with Earl Spence, but you still got to drop that belt. He says a decision to pursue Spence contradicts obeying the WBA, WBO mandates that a 20-day negotiating window between Fundor and Crawford will start on Friday. So they got till April the 25th. April the 25th to make that decision. Luke was told the boxing scene Monday. Such an order is premature considering Fundor could require surgery and healing time to recur from the boat broken nose he suffered on Saturday. It says, quote, if it doesn't heal correctly, it will bleed again. According to WBO rules, if a fighter is not interested in participating in a championship fight such as this one, they should inform the sanctioning body in writing before, the, before or during the 20-day window which is April the 25th. You got to do that in writing if you plan not participating in what they've already laid down, which is Terrence Crawford versus Fondor. Fondor could offer to relinquish the WBO belt in that letter or the sanctioning body may strip his belt. The WBO official told Boxing Scene that Crawford fully plans to participate in the title fight and has previously formally requested for the rare opportunity to be four division champion. Plain and simple. As we look down, you got 20 days, right? So the, those that don't understand or don't know or don't remember, we're just taking a little small crash course in just what happened. And where are we at right now? Just a small one. Just a small one. So as we move forward, Tim Zhu and Sebastian Fundor has been suspended due to injuries that were suffered at the Las Vegas bloodbath. Okay? The Nevada State Athletic Commission announced on Wednesday that Zhu 
would not be allowed to fight until May 15th after the elbow to the head and the clash caused relentless, well, relentless gushing that led to him having 10 stitches put in. Fondora, who had his nose broken early in the bout, has been suspended until September 22nd. Let, let's, 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 let's take a look at that. Doesn't matter what happened, none of that. He has been suspended until Feb until September the 27th. Suspended. He need to be cleared by an ear, nose, and throat specialist. Igor. Gluplov. Y'all know I'm terrible with names. I'm just going to say it's Tim Zoo's trainer and uncle. Please forgive me. Indicated the Australian would likely fight again late this year. He is the champion. Six to nine months, I'd say. We won't do any sparring until we have a fight locked in. I work backwards from that date. Six to nine months. It is April, May, June, July, September when the suspension is off. Okay, that's five months out. October. That's the sixth month. November, December. So he's looking at anywhere from six to nine months to after suspension. Then he'll start training, get in the fight and um, sparring and so on and so forth till December. Nine months out. So you mean to tell me you think that you're going to hold his belt for nine months because of injury? That's the thing. Nine months max. He has to make a decision by the April the 25th deadline. So that's when we got word on the X from Barbosa Box. Well, a lot of people say, well, what's Barbosa Box, right? Uh, I think his name is Felix Barbosa. Oh, I don't know his first name. Victor Barbosa. Uh, please forgive me his first name, but he is the boxing analyst and scorecard at ESPN Knockout. Basically, ESPN Deporte, the um, the uh, Latino or the Mexican ESPN, he does the fight analyst and the scorecard for ESPN on that side. And on the fourth, he stated, looking forward to his uh, excellency, Tariq uh, uh, Alashik, first U.S. invasion with Crawford. We all know Bud and Forndor ain't happening. That's true. The PBC not going to work with them. Not for nothing, Earl was in the ring last Saturday after the fight. He said he also liked uh, Crawford versus Bullchick in L.A. and Vegas for the intern belt at 154, but that's just wishful thinking. He comes back and doubled down on his own tweet and said, it's great Terrence Crawford has Saudi support. So to me, he knows something we don't. He said he is definitely number two or number one for some pound for pound fighter in the world. He also says Israel Madrinov emerging as the front runner rival for his debut at 154 pounds. Solid match. Looking forward to it. So he talked about the Sheik. He already had the information about the Sheik. He comes back and this is all hasn't been confirmed. Let's let's say that. Hasn't been, been confirmed, but nor did he say that it was a rumor, nor has just said that you know what he thinks. But he was pretty, he was pretty clear in what, it, what he's saying. Whether we choose to believe him or not, is you know, at the end of the day, we'll find out soon enough once we get more receipts. But at this moment, he says, looking forward to his excellency. First U.S. invasion with Crawford, and that the Sheik has Crawford support or 
Terrence Crawford has the Sheik's support. And that's a big thing. Because at the end of the day, the Sheik, he don't care about all the other bullshit that we have down there in boxing. He don't care about none of it. What he care about is that we get the fights. That's what he care about. He not sitting around here worried about all this money, this, that, and the other, and so on and so forth. Because at the end of the day, that man got money to burn. Money to burn. They said, well, you know what? At the end of the day, man, he ain't made no money off the fights that he already did. He don't care about that. Because in any business, everybody knows your first year, you're going to lose money. You're not going to make money. You're going to lose money in your first year. I've been doing YouTube now two years. I haven't made money. I lost more money. I, I put into this more money than I've, that I've gotten out of it in the first two years, period. Period. That's how business works. So he's not concerned about none of that, man. He's not concerned about, all oh, you know, I've lost this money a lot. Man, he got plenty of money. This is a hobby for him. This is something that he loves and he enjoys, it seems like to me, because he's not tripping about, oh, man, <laughs> man, look, I'm going to pay the guys. Let's fight. I want to see the fights. And the thing about it is, everybody don't feel that way. And that's what I'm disappointed about. And when I say that, I'm talking about the boxing community that's always around uh, talking about you know, the fighters and this thing out here in YouTube and, 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 and what we listen to, because it's always seemed to be a thing where you have to be with PBC or uh, you got to be with, you know, uh, the promotional company where well, the promotional companies really run more than we as boxing fans. You, you understand? It's like, hey, look, we ain't get we want. We're we going to ride with whatever the promotional company want to do. Even though I want to see that fight. But we give excuses why the other person shouldn't get the fight. Because a promotional company. Uh, because it's, uh, 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 what they say, uh, boxing is a business. You understand what I'm saying? So when I say that, I ran across Boxing Ego, man, the other day. Because this, this, this whole dilemma came. And, uh... The brother do what he do. I don't agree with nothing he say. You know, you know. I just think that he, you know, he picks his side, and regardless of the facts, he gonna roll what he roll with. But you know, very big channel, doing big things. Can't hate on the man. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, he has a, he has a, a. a, a you know, a, a, a finger on the pulse of a lot of fans. You know what I'm saying? And if you if you if you go out here and you listen to it and you don't research, you'll start believing what you hear. You understand? You'll start believing in the narratives and so on and so forth. But let's take a listen a little bit on this subject. This is not my content. This is only for educational purposes only. We talks about this subject. And then I'm, I'm going to break a couple of things down in what you said. I don't really have too much to say. Looking forward, this is the World Boxing Association, a.k.a. the WBA. I will go to the division where Crawford could fight super welterweight. And again, WBA champion, Israel Madrimo. Jermail Charlo is the champion in recess because he's inactive. And then the number one rated is Virgil Ortiz Jr., so that's a good thing because Oscar De La Hoya has taken to social media stating he wants to have Crawford fight against Virgil Ortiz. But he also tweeted that he would like Jermel Charlo to fight Virgil Ortiz. I don't know if a deal could be made there, but as of right now, Virgil Ortiz, who just moved up to 54, could possibly fight Madrimov or if Crawford fights we have a new product. Sorry about the ad, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry about the years. ad. We are launching officially. Madrimo fight the winner. We have to see how this plays out. But as of me recording this video, nothing is confirmed. 
it looks like this is just something that could be worked on in the background. And they're saying Israel Madrimov is emerging as the front runner. Now, the funny thing is this. You're going to have the Bud Buddies. They're going to be jumping up for joy like, aha, see, he didn't have to sign the PBC like you said. But see, like, let's 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 stop right there real quick. And I'm going to bring that back down. Right. He want to say, ha ha, the Bud Buddies. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? So we know what side he he rolling from. You know what I mean? You're going to have the Bud Buddies. Ha ha. You know, he didn't have to sign to the PBC. So what? Worked on in the background, and they're saying Israel Madrimov is emerging as the front runner. Now, the funny thing is this you're going to have the Bud Buddies. They're going to be jumping up for joy, like, aha, see, he didn't have to sign the PBC, like you said. But that's my honest opinion. The best bet would be for him to sign the PBC, right? And the funny thing is, they're going to conveniently move the goalpost, right? The same people said that are now going to laugh like, oh, he found another like exit or way to get paid without PBC. Right. It's moving the goalposts because the same people said that Crawford petitioning the WBO would get Sebastian Fundura and Tim Zoo winner, which we now know is Sebastian Fundura. So it's like, which one is it? So if he does fight Madrimov, then if he loses, I mean, you already know what a loss is, but let's say he wins because he'll be the favorite versus Madrimov, I would imagine, based on the fact that he's pound for pound. So if he beats Madrimov, then that automatically takes him out of the rankings. So the Fandora fight is off the table. So Crawford, again, will find himself in the same position that he's been in his whole career of fighting Guys, even if they're decent or good guys with little profiles, little names and little known. So if that's what he's cool with, like if the Saudis want to, you know, pay him and they're, they're willing to cash him out. And then he fights Madrima off a guy with 11 fights and, you know, have at it. Enjoy. But it's going to look bad, in my opinion, because he's discounted a guy like Jerron Boots Ennis, who also is a new champion with the IBF. So how is it that Crawford has said there's nothing to gain by fighting Jerron Boots Ennis, but then you can fight Madrimov if this fight comes into fruition and he got, he's been kind of inactive, right? Outside of his recent fight. Let's look at it. So let's stop right here. He sat there and said that you know, it's a bad look. Terrence Crawford is painted into another corner because at the end of the day, Terrence Crawford fights with Dream Off for the 154 pound championship. That he's going to be out of this, the situ- the, out of the, the equation and out of the rankings for the WBO. And he won't get a fun Dora fight. So why do that when you should have just went ahead and side with the PBC? Because at the end of the day, Bud does bad business. Why don't you just go ahead and fight Boots? Why would you fight my dream off when Boots is a better look? Boots will make he's more popular and so on and so forth. But Israel Madrimov already has done business with the Saudis. He was on the under undercard of the uh Frank uh uh Anthony Joshua versus uh Frank uh Ngano fight. He won the 154 pound champion. He is a champion right now at 154 as he holds the WBA championship. So ego let's 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 break down what you what you what you just said right and I'm gonna rebut this Okay, and the first part I'm gonna rebut first is this whole boots situation. Everybody love boots. Everybody love old good old Bootsy. You know what I mean? Good old Bootsy. Everybody love my man, good old boots. So, you see, is that is that the spot where I want it right there? 
with boots or is it another spot? Because as you see, okay, we got the boot stream up here, right? Y'all can see that. Okay. Steven Espinosa came out two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Ego's video was from two days ago. Okay. Steven Espinosa comes out two two weeks ago. And uh let me just go ahead and slide up right about here. Right about here. We're gonna start with this question right here in reference to Terrence Crawford and Jerron Boots Ennis. So all this this dumbass talk can go out the door. Far more than they usually get because of their they're willing to fight boots. Did you guys send Crawford an offer to fight Jerry Ennis? You heard that. Did you guys send an offer to Crawford to fight Jaron Ennis? Did you guys send Crawford an offer to fight Jaron Ennis? Um, you know, there's there was a lot of conversations. You know, it doesn't. It's not really the way the business works. Like you, you don't. Everyone's like, well, you know, was it offer? You you don't sort of. I mean, there are people who do this, and it's not very effective. But you don't just you know out of the blue find a guy, send him a cold email saying, hey, you know, you want to take this fight? No, like it's a conversation. It's like, okay, what do you want to do next? You know, uh, you know Terrence, you want to do this? You want to do that? What's the plan? I got a call, you know, and there's been so much misinformation about this. BLK calls one day, says, you know, we want to do Crawford versus, uh, versus Boots. I said, okay, um, you got to deal with Crawford, you know, I, I know what Boots' plans are, you know, and I can make arrangements to mm -hmm. say that. So you're telling me you're bringing Crawford to the table? No, we we don't we don't <laughs> actually have Crawford. I'm like, okay, well, what do you? You know what? Okay, talk to you. Now this all happened, you know, against the backdrop of we were still in the Spence negotiation. Yes. You know, so it wasn't really a time to be saying, okay, like I'm not going to do that to Errol. Errol had given all of us specific instructions. I don't want anything other than proper fight. So I'm not going to go in and try to stick boots in. Yeah. You know, yeah. we were 80 percent there, so it didn't even make sense to talk about. You know, we talked to Crawford, see him, and said, okay, you know, down the line, we'll talk about boots. But at that particular time, he said, no, he's like, don't worry about me, okay? Y'all heard what he said, right? And we've been through this whole thing and narrative. We can go through the Bozy Ennis and all that, but we've been through all that, right? And this is Steven Espinosa, who, who deals with boots Ennis. According to Bozy, we lord the show time. We're loyal to Steven Espinosa. He the one got us. We cool. So Stephen Espinosa can speak on the part of Jerron Ennis, especially now that Cameron Duncan is passed, and especially now that Boots Ennis is past his situation with his promoter. He's free. He's deal he deals with Espinosa in Showtime. Plain and simple. He says, I'm not going to negotiate a fight while we're dealing with Earl and Bud. Not going to do it. You know, we're going to talk to Boots. Like, you know, you can facilitate, you know, Boots. You can talk to both sides and, you know, figure that out. So that's that's where that whole thing ended up. Like, Boots didn't turn down an offer. You know, there wasn't a BLK offer that anybody grew up. Um, you know, and, and neither did Crawford run away for an offer. He just, the timing wasn't right. He said, neither did Crawford run away from an offer. Timing just wasn't right. For all you guys out there talking that bullshit, this is what he said. It wasn't a BLK offer that anybody grew up, um, you know, and, and neither did Crawford run away for an offer. He just, the timing wasn't right. He said, okay, well, why don't you offer, you know, boots to Crawford after that. Well, there's a rematch option. Did y'all hear that? Why didn't you offer boots to Crawford after that?
after the fight. And what did he say? There's a rematch clause. We've been trying to tell all of you guys that. Ego. Uh, showbiz. All you guys. There's a rematch clause. So how can he offer Bud? How can Bud fight anybody else but Spence? There's a rematch clause. That's that's where that whole thing ended up. Like Boots didn't turn down an offer. You know, there wasn't a BLK offer that anybody blew up. Um, you know, and, and neither did Crawford run away for an offer. It just the timing wasn't right. He said, okay, well, why didn't you offer, you know, uh, Boots to Crawford after that? Well, there's a rematch option, right? Yeah, absolutely. And then until pretty recently, everyone thought the rematch was going to happen. Right. So, look, you know, certainly, you know, Crawford knows that there's a potential for the boots fight, you know, and he's he's looking around. He's going to decide what he wants to do. I want to ask you, Steve, um, why did... Now that we heard that part, we heard that about boots. That was the whole boots situation. It's a rematch, my brother. You can't sit back here and negotiate when you got a rematch already in place. And up until recently, February 26th, to, make, to, be, to be honest about that, to be correct, they couldn't do anything. So everybody want to know why Bud inactive, why Bud ain't in the ring, why Bud ain't do that. Y'all not even using the common sense. Y'all not even using the information that's out there. That's the problem. I want to ask you. Now I want to talk about Earl Spence and the rematch. You see, um, why did Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence rematch fall apart? Well, look, um, Crawford, uh, excuse me, Spence yeah, definitely wanted his get back. He definitely wanted another shot. Um, and, you know, and obviously, you know, Crawford, you know, being the gentleman that he is and the businessman yeah. that he is, he said, okay, you know, whether it was exactly the terms of the rematch clause or not, he was certainly willing to do it. Um, wow. Really? Terrence Crawford went beyond. Terrence Crawford said, hey, even if it wasn't the terms of the rematch clause, I'm still working with you, giving you more time to work out this rematch with me. Let's listen again. Definitely wanted his get back. He definitely wanted another shot. Um, and, you know, and obviously, you know, Crawford, you know, being the gentleman that he is and the businessman that he is, he said, okay, you know, whether it was exactly the terms of the rematch clause or not, he was certainly willing to do it. Um, but then, you know, there's some eye surgery, there's a recovery there, and there's a reality that it's not fair to keep Crawford waiting forever to do that. So I, I think it was. A, a, it's not fair to keep Crawford waiting to do that. We had some eye surgery. We had some medical we had to deal with. And uh, it's just not fair to keep Terrence Crawford waiting for this rematch. Put their heads together, try to make it come together. Other factors came in, including the eye surgery, including some medical, you know, things. And they each, you know, decided, look, let's let's not hold each other up for openness. So I think it was it was not again one of those. It's like this guy was scared of that. No, it's none of that. It was, you know, they're both willing to do it, both interested in doing it. Um, just couldn't come together as quickly as possible. We're not sure when we're going to see Arrow back. And in the meantime, it makes sense for Crawford to be free to do whatever he wants to do. In the meantime, it just feels it's, it's the right thing to do is just, you know, feel free to Crawford, be a free free man and do whatever it is that needs to be done for his own future. We don't know when Earl is going to come back. You have heard the voice of Steven Espinosa break it down and tell you exactly what was going on with the rematch between Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence. We all know also that, guess what, that was a lie. Because Earl Spence hopped his ass in the ring last week. Talking about he got next. Right? We see the play. And we've seen the play. We've seen it. So, 
Let's get back to you, Ego. Knowing this information, what the hell are you talking about? What are you talking about? You talking about Madriff, right? Let's break that down. Madriff. Okay? Madriff just won his title. He's a 154 pound champion. And let's not act like because he's 10 and 0 that the man is not a strong fighter. He's a big guy. He's a strong guy. He can crack. And he got like over 400 amateur bouts. Sort of like Lomachenko. You understand? Been in the amateur circuit for a long time. Fighting and fighting and fighting. So he's experienced in fighting. He's won a title in his first 11 fights. And he's the champ now. So you saying that Terrence Crawford is going to work with the Sheik. And the Sheik is going to work with Terrence Crawford. And they're going to evade the United States. And they're going to invade the United States with a fight between Terrence Crawford and Israel Madrinal. Right. And you say, well, you do that, man. You're going to have that fight. You know, that's cool. You know, it is what it is. But, you know, nobody knows that guy so on and so forth it's not going to be high profile you're going to continue to make these fights and then you're going to kick yourself out of the wbo rankings well who said that because at the end of the day that we just showed you earlier the wbo is the one who runs the show so y'all mean to tell me did the WBA going to let Terrence Crawford, who's never had a fight at 154, come in and fight Madrinoff, right? Plain and simple. How about Sebastian Fundora is going to end up dropping that belt? Because at the end of the day, he's going to be out until December. And once he drops that belt and it's free, why is it that Madrinov is made a voluntary fight with Terrence Crawford at 154, but the WBO comes in and makes it a unification match for the WBO and the WBA titles, just like y'all did last year? weekend what's stopping the wo from doing that we all know paco veracell rocks with terrence crawford who said that fight can't happen that way how do you know this not going to be a unification match for the WBO and the WBC. I mean the WBA. 154 pound titles. Just like the WBC did. Because see the WBC came in. And, and the WBO was not willing to sanction that fight. They wasn't willing to do it. But when the WBC. Added the other title. They said, okay. We'll sanction the fight. But after the fight. We run the show. That's why nobody can sit back and say, well, okay. The WBO ain't got no control. Yes, they do. They got control. We're stopping that fight from being a unification match. We're stopping that fight for being a unification match. You tell me. The Sheik want to see it. The Sheik going to sit over here because at the end of the day, look, money, money. It's all about money, right? All these sanctioning bodies do what the hell they got to do when it comes for the money. 
Oh, y'all don't want to be a part of this? Oh, okay. Madridoff, okay, that's a great fight. We've already dealt with him. We already deal with the WBA and them. Oh, okay, cool. I love Bud. Let's do this invasion. We'll do this invasion for unification match between WBO and the WBA. And when y'all ready, they'll put you as a champion in recess. Because you got a medical. You're not going to be ready until December. Nothing stopping you from not nothing stopping them from putting you a champion in recess. It's many ways that this thing can go. It's just not necessarily going to go the way you talking about is going. And Bud have both of the belts. And when y'all ready, y'all going to have to fight Bud. Fundora. Or you just not fight Bud and just, you know, go ahead and do your thing with the WBC. You lose out on the belt altogether because they don't have any pool in this. You got injured. The mandatories with the WBO. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. So you can't sit here and tell me that's how it's going to go. He definitely can go that way. And then Buddy then hit y'all again with another smooth move. And y'all sit back and be mad. And let's take a look at Madrinoff, man. Let's take a look at Madrinoff real quick. He's from Uzbekistan. He's been a Walter Weight. As an amateur, he won the civil medals. He was a silver medalist in the welterweight division in 24 Asian Games. And gold medalist in the middleweight division in 2018. So he won silver, then came back and won gold. No, I'm sorry. He won gold medals in the 2017 Asian Games and the 2018 Asian Games. Silver medalist in the, in the, in the Junior World Championships. Um, the national level he won in 2013, 2016. Um, I don't know what his amateur record is at this time. You know, it's not popping up. I didn't see it. But um, he's five foot eight. He got 11 total fights. 10 wins, seven by knockout. And he got a draw. He's been welterweight and middleweight. This guy's not a small dude. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. He's not a small dude. And he can crack. So, at the end of the day, it's a great fight for Bud if I, as far as I'm concerned. And he's a champion. And he's experienced. Now, as far as his pro resume goes, he don't have a lot of pro fights. He's only got 10. The thing about it is on those 10, every last one of the guys he fought was undefeated. Regardless of the situation, he didn't have 10 fights with a guy that was 16 and 27. They didn't have a lot of fights, but they was undefeated. He won by knockout. So at the end of the day, whether... You say he was good or you said he wasn't. It's still another situation for Bud to maneuver and move forward in his career. And not only have one belt in his first by fight, he can also have two belts in his first fight. Because see, uh, Charlo is still the champion in recess over at the WBC. He's still over there, champion in recess. He don't have no belts, but he's still the champion in recess over the WBC. But this, with the Sheik now coming in, wanting wanting to use his power and his money to invade the, U, the, the United States boxing arena, you don't know what kind of undercard we're going to have. Because he'll put some money to it. 
them undercars be man, them undercars been mean when the sheik been out there working them heavyweight bouts out there, man. He wants to see the fights, and so do we. So for me, this is a good thing. This is a great thing. I love to see it. Right now, none of us confirm. But this is the word. You know what I'm saying? And this is opportunity. So whether Terrence Crawford fights Fundora or not, it doesn't matter. Nothing's stopping him from fighting for the WBL championship. On April the 25th, we're going to find out what you're going to do, Fundora. Nine times out of ten is, is that you're going to say, hey, um, I'm injured and I'm out until December. I won't get off suspension until September. That being the case and everything like that, then the WO will make their decision at that time. And their decision will say, okay, we can even strip him. But if we got the proper medical, you know, okay, well, we can put him as a champion in recess. Or Fundora can just give the belt back. And you can go fight whoever you want to. Because the thing about it is, is that when 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 Ego and the rest of them say sign with the PBC, my thing is this. He already did that. He already signed with the PBC. He signed a two-fight deal with the PBC to fight Earl Spence twice. They couldn't even honor that. They couldn't honor that. So how am I going to go into a new contract when you couldn't even honor the first one? Do you not realize that? How can I go into a new contract when you didn't honor the first one? I was supposed to have two big paydays with you guys. Ain't my fault I beat the shit out of them. I worked with you. I worked with you. You left me out there for seven months. I couldn't do anything. I lost one of my belts because I was stripped dealing with y'all. And when I come out, guess what? Y'all want to try to blackball me. And the, and, and the whole the rest of the industry want to run, run his name through the mud. Oh, he don't do no good business. He ain't a draw. He ain't a draw. Man, they just did 700000 him and Earl. Earl didn't do that by himself. Neither one of them could crack water, bro. I mean, they couldn't do shit. They couldn't crack an egg in pay-per-view. They needed each other. But since Crawford on the biggest stage beat the shit out of Earl Spence and the popularity go along with it, how do you know what kind of draw Earl Spence is? And how what kind of draw you know that Terrence Crawford is at this point? Earl Spence fans was getting rid of him. Saying, I'm not dealing with him. Fuck Earl. Y'all turned into Boots fans because y'all wanted to try to see if uh, 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 Terrence Crawford can lose. We think Boots can get him. We think Boots can get him. So I, I don't understand your thinking. I don't understand your logic. Because there is no logic to that. Plain and simple. Bud has maneuvered his way. Well, you can't stop him. Don't listen to all that bullshit about what Bud gonna do. He's in a tight corner. Bud ain't got this and Bud ain't got that. He not a draw. He not. Come on, man. Are you serious? Why you think the sheep trying to mess with him? If that's the case. He got the money. You talking about going into another two fight, three fight deal. To fight who? Erickson Lubin? Y'all want to see Jamel Charlo? Charlo don't want that smoke. Do y'all really think, be honest, do you really think Jamel Charlo want that smoke? Be honest. Him and Earl Spencer had similar fight styles. 
Remember Brian Costano was laying all kind of paws on his ass and him and Tony Harrison? You what you think that bug gonna do? He gonna beat the shit out of Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo last fight, he was sitting there and he was running scared from Canelo Alvarez. From the first round on. Turk pussy. Tail between his legs. Be honest. You got Fundora. You got he, uh, uh, Henness manager. They ain't think about Terrence Crawford because they already told not to deal with Terrence Crawford. So why am I going to continuously try to beg somebody to deal with them to fight who? So you can keep me in active mode? You didn't already hit sell me out for seven months. And I didn't complain about the seven months. Bud did not complain about the seven months that you already held him out, bro. He didn't complain that he got stripped. Not to the PBC. So how did he do bad business with you? You cheated me out of another major payday. You signed me up for two paydays, but I didn't get two paydays. I got one. It's no, it's not my fault that Earl Spence did not come up there and, and, and do anything to turns Crawford and make it competitive. And Crawford beat the shit out of him. So who we signing up to do? Because Earl don't want the fight. We know that management and Fandor don't want to fight. We know PBC and Al Heyman don't want to fight. They don't want to deal with that. J Jamel Charlo don't want to fight. Hell, Canelo say he don't want to fight Bud. So what you want Bud to do? What he say, Boots? We had already talked about Boots. Boots right now worried about uh, keeping his own IBF belt. Because he got a purse bid that's, that's already past due. That he got an extension on because him and his promoter uh, had problems. His promoter died. And he had sued his uh, the wife. So what y'all want Bud to do? He said, oh, Bud ain't going to hear this. Ha, ha, ha. It's going to be happy. The Bud buddies is out. They're going to be happy. Why wouldn't we want to be happy? We're trying to see him fight. I'm trying to see him get in the ring. I don't care who Bud fight. I would love for him to fight Boots. I would love for him to fight Earl. But guess what? He can't. I would love for him to fight the 154-pound championship. He can. It's just a matter of when. When we get through all this little red tape. I don't care if it was Fundora. I didn't care if it was Tim Zoo. I don't care if it's Israel Maginal. Just get in the ring, bud. But if this go right, it's going to be big problems over here. PBC, top rank, matchroom, zone. Because if she come in here and make a great car and pull this off, with some nice money. Some people gonna be changing their tune about who they who they who who they gonna line themselves up with. You understand what I'm saying? Some people, some people, now to be honest with you, match room is gonna be all right because they do business with the sheik. They do business with them. I believe Bob Arum could be all right. Because I believe they will be doing business with it. I'm just keeping it above. PBC's MO, keep everything in the house. If you keep everything in the house, bro, you're going to get what you're going to get. Plain and simple. One love to everybody. I'm going to check out the people in the chats in the comment section. Wow. Man. It's a lot. It's a lot of people in the comment section, man. I'm only gonna do these comments, man. Maybe about five, ten minutes, and then, uh, wow, a lot. Of, we rolled all the way up top. 
I've been cooking. Y'all, please hit that like button as y'all coming through that door. I appreciate y'all. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. It's over 100 people in here. And we only have 55 likes. Over 100 people. It's only 55 of the likes. Can y'all please hit that like button? Sue Young, please talk to them for me, please. Come on, push the button. Yeah, come on, push your button. Blow everybody up. Yeah, blow everybody up. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. You heard what she said. Y'all heard what she said. Please hit the button. Y'all please hit the button. That's what makes the content and the algorithm go. That's why we want to hit the hit the button. So we can get more of this unification, I mean, more of these notifications out, more uh, uh content to you guys. So please hit that button. It's greatly appreciated. Man, a lot of comments. I'm still scrolling up trying to get up to the top. I appreciate y'all. Like I said, I'm only gonna go about five, maybe ten minutes of the comments in the comment section. And then I I know I can't get everybody's comment, but uh please forgive me. I will get y'all a shout out on the roll call. You know what I'm saying? So um, let me get up here to these comments. One love to everybody. Uh, my man Fresh says, uh, I said get that A-Rab money in the poll, man. Yeah, get that A-Rab money, man. Get that A-Rab money. And thank you. Thank you about that, Fresh. Let me go ahead and check that poll. What should Terrence Crawford do next? Sign with the PBC. Work with uh, 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 Turk Ali Sheik. Stay a free agent or do something else. Right now, we got 3% say sign with the PBC. 79% says uh, 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 work with the Sheik. 16% say stay a free agent. And 2% says uh, do something else. Okay. Okay. Let's see if that change anything out, out there. Let's see if that change out there. Uh, XO Factory says, man, a whole lot of bullshit in boxing. It sure is, XO. It, 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 it sure is, man. It sure is because he said, what the fuck does a verbal mean? Anything. Yeah, man. It, verbal is verbal, bro. That don't mean nothing. Anybody can sit there and say they had a verbal after the fight. Oh, I got to say that we had a verbal, man. We had a verbal. What? <laughs> what that mean? You had a verbal. Uh, Origin said, "How would he put himself out of the rankings by fighting for the WBO and the WBA?" Laughing my ass off, clowns. I, that's what I'm saying, Origin. <laughs> Bro, if he fight for both belts, he, he just putting himself out the ranking for the WBC and the W and the IBF. I mean, he'd be a unified champ, bro. Killer man say 11 pro fights, but 455 are amateur fights. These dudes are Crawford haters and crowns. Thank you. I knew it was, I knew he had over 400, bro. I knew he had over 400, Killer Man. 455 amateur fights. Shout out to you, Killer Man. You know what I'm saying? They don't they, they don't know. That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. That's a lie. My man AC the chef, man. Brooklyn here said, yeah, Israel had over 400 amateur fights, man. He another Lomo. Absolutely. You can't sit around here and think that this man, you're going to take him lightly, man. You know what I'm saying? Mitch Hennessy said, Boost is just a goalpost mover from the Earl Sexuals. That's a big fact, Mitch. They, they love you. They love moving that goalpost, man. They love moving that goalpost. They'll move that goalpost in a hot minute, man. Honestly, whenever it's fish, whenever it's convenient for them, it's as matter of fact these cats be shaking with the hear Bud's name, like how demons hear Christ's name, man. They, they straight scared. They be like, uh. What have we what have we to do with you, man? Hey, exactly, man. When they hit Bud, they start shaking in their boots, man. <laughs> Mufasa. Which is the C say, man, uh, they steadily playing business 
uh, while claiming Bud's scared. Yeah, what is Bud got to be scared of? What is Bud? That, that, that's the thing about it is, why would you be saying stupid shit like that? Because at the end of the day, what is it that Bud need to be scared of? Like, honestly, you, you said that Earl Spence was the man. You said Earl Spence was all that. Earl Spence was legit. And then when he beat him up, you hear all kinds of excuses. You know what I'm saying? So what the bug got to be scared of, man? The Jessica, blessings to your queen. Salute to the Mac Mob baby in the chat, man. One love to the queen. Mob queen in the building. Another one of the mob queens, y'all. Y'all show some love to the Jessica. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, queen. She says, man, that's why Bud ain't fight boots. Uh, shit is exhausting. Yeah, it is exhausting. It is exhausting. You right, queen. XO said, uh, fire B-Mac on the, got the grill smoking. Yeah, man, I appreciate that, XO. Shout out to my brother, man, XO, man. Shout out to him, man. Appreciate that, dog. Big J say the whole shit up and down. And the IBF on bullshit at the end of the day, this showing us how messed up boxing truly is. Hey, Big J, and you all up in it. You all up in it, man. So you gonna you gonna you gonna discover firsthand more and more all about it. I hope you come back, man, and tell me all the the inside secrets and give me give me some of that some of that info on a lot of stuff that uh. Did did take place, man? I appreciate it, Big J. One love to my dog, man. Yes, indeed. Mitch said they was kicking Bud down the street to allow Spence to heal, and then he tries to take the Fundora fight. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Oh, Bud, you can go ahead and do what you want to do, man. At the end of the day. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, man. You go do what you want to do, man. You know what I mean? And they was going for front door the whole time. Front door versus uh, Tim Zoo. They was doing it the whole time. Exactly. Killer man say, so what, Bud? Not supposed to collect the belts because the Israel is not a known name. Baloney, man. Dude got more Instagram followers than a lot of uh lot of known fi fighters. I ain't even know about his Instagram fighters, man. Killer man. I got to do a little bit more research on him. You know what I'm saying? But you're absolutely correct, to be honest with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? He not supposed to collect the belts? I mean, this would be his fourth division, bro. If, if this goes down like that, he'd be a fourth division, then he'd be unified on top of that at 154. Unified. Unified. He could take in two more fights. He'd be undisputed. A third fight, if he'd be undisputed at 154, I guarantee Canelo come knocking at the door. If he be unified at 154, I guarantee. Canelo will be coming knocking at the door. Jay said, hey, what about uh, in his going up to 154 for the vacant IBF? Uh, this going to be interesting. That will be nice. He need to go to 154. He need to go to 154. My man, Killer Man, say salute from Washington, D.C. My new mama, look. I knew this dog right here was, man, hey, look, I knew I was fucking with him for a reason, man. You know what I'm saying? I knew it. Motherfucking homeboy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> DMV all day, baby. He said, man, I found this D DC based channel on the Humble, man. Well, I'm glad to see you, man. I hope to see you again, killer man. Glad to see you, my brother. Mr. Wall say, B Mac body, she go seven, seven drill, man. Hey, man, I'm just pointing out the shit that is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You, you painting, you paint these little narratives that you always paint, you know, and, and, and it's like, for what? 
He, he should stay with the PBC. Why are you worried about him going with the PBC, bro? He was just with the PBC. That's the thing. You were just with the PBC. You had a two-fight deal with the PBC. And how many fights did Bud fight with the PBC? They let him go after one. Two-fight deal with PBC. They let him go after one. After they didn't made 700, look, they raked in almost $60 million for that fight. $60 million between Earl and Bud. $60. $22 million gate. Or 21 and change. Dollar gate. Come on, man. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Killer man said, yeah, I stumbled on the channel like two days ago. He had me cracking up. I was like slim from the city. I heard the go-go today. I was like, yeah, I knew. <laughs> That's right, killer man. You know what it is, Slim. <laughs> Glad to see you, man. Yes, sir. You know, I'm going to always rock mine. I'm rocking mine all day, every day. Let me go ahead and uh, get back to the chat in a little bit. I'm going to drop the link because I know some people wanted to come out here. I didn't, I didn't talk enough, man. Uh, the link is in the chat. Anybody want to come up here and chop it up? Y'all know the rules. Please mute your microphone. Cut your camera on. Once I see that, uh, I'll give you the heads up, and I will put you on the panel, and we can go ahead and rock out. Everybody, the rules are two minutes, two minutes. Let's keep it short and sweet so we can try to – Get on out here and uh, get to open panel and keep rocking on this Sunday afternoon. And I know people got WrestleMania that they want to see this coming on in a little bit. You know what I mean? All you wrestling fans. You know what I'm saying? Fresh, is that you? You know what I'm saying? All you wrestling fans out here. And uh, I got you, big dog. Blue, I got you, Blue. Blue, you better have some headsets tonight. Blue. <laughs> Mr. Warren, I got you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got y'all, man. Thank y'all so much, man. Thank y'all so much. Let me see. Let me throw the guys up here on, on the panel real quick. Mute your mics. My man, Gun Rice Mafia in the building. What's up with you, dog? He say, man, let's get this belt from Madrinov and then get that belt from uh, 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 Bacaram, uh all at the end of the year. And Crawford will end up with three belts. Uh, so it worked out for Crawford. I, I agree with you. And then Shiloh could come over here at the champion out of the recess and him and Zoo and Fondora and however they work that out. Come on out here and get this last one. Get that ass whooping. You know what I mean? Yes, indeed. Mr. Golden say, we all know that Bud is running from Earl and Shiloh. He doesn't have want that smoke. Man, they go Mr. Golden out there bullshitting. <laughs> hey, we're going up here to my man Fresh. Blue Hustle Man, Warren G, uh, and Mr. Golden just popped through the door. Don't, uh, uh, let me see, Mr. Golden, that's yours? Okay. Mr. Golden just popped through the door. Uh, and the queen, mom queen, just coming through here. Uh, Miss Christiana, in that order. You hear me? So, fresh Blue Hustle Man, Mr. Warren G, uh, uh, Mr. Golden, and mom queen. Fistiana fights in that order. Fresh, the freshest man in the Mac Mob. You're back on with the mob. Talk to me, fam. Yes. What's going on, Ock? What's going on, Mac Mob? What's up, Ock? Beautiful Sunday, man. To talk some box. I'm glad you came on early. B Mac, the numbers don't lie, boy. You got a lot of people on. On the on the channel today, man. It's good to see you doing your thing, cooking, man. We appreciate, appreciate you, big bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate you, my brother. I appreciate you, man. And without yes, without sir. you guys, man, I'm nothing, man. Thank you. Yeah, no, no doubt. So y'all make sure y'all go out there, hit the like button, subscribe, and share with everybody else. Cause you know, B Mac putting that time in. And you know, he letting us do our thing here, cooking all, and we we definitely want to show him that appreciation. So go ahead and hit that like button. But B Mac, man, I seen the smoke down here from where you at with that grill. Like XO said, you had that grill smoking. 
appreciate it, big dog. I smell that cook, man. It was smelling marvelous, man. Like, I mean, you you just you just dropped it on him. There's not much I, much more I could say behind you, but I mean, at the end of the day, man, you can't deny greatness. You know, everybody know sure. Bud is that dude. Uh, the sheet recognizing, I knew that it was a matter of time before these folks come, you know, knocking at his door. You know what yeah, I mean? Because sure. Bud, everybody want to say, oh, Bud don't make no money. He ain't, he ain't no draw or nothing. Well, these cats see some type of bag in Bud for them to be coming and holler at him. So I'm happy for him for that. And that was one of the options that I thought that he should have looked into if it was presented to him. And, uh, hey, man, get that A-Rap money, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, once that money's put in your face, you can't really deny it. Yes, sir. So hopefully we can get some 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 things going on. But, but yeah, man, I'm glad to see these uh, moves. You know, uh, God always bless his, man, and, and, and Bud deserve it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't the pound for pound and the best fighter in the world right now for now. I don't care what nobody say. Canelo or whatever. Yeah, babe, I said it. Canelo, whoever. <laughs> Bud is the number one. Got you, number AC. one fighter in the world. Yes, sir. And that's all I got to say about that. Yes, sir. <laughs> you did what up, force, no. hear me, hear me with the false gum on in. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> Shout out to my man Fresh, man. I appreciate you, man. Fresh, fresh, fresh. You know what I'm saying? Got got you, Joe Cool. One love to you, man. Yes, indeed. Let me keep it moving, man. A lot of people want to want to chop it up. I got my man Blue Hustle, man, back in the stage, man. Blue Hustle, man, you're back on with the Mac Mom. Talk to me, fam. Man, you was barbecue some. Woo, I told you, man. You know, I tell you, I let you know when you're cooking some shit, man. Yes, sir. You was cooking. You, man. He was cooking. He was cooking. You was cooking. You was cooking all. You was cooking so far. I almost thought you burnt something, man. But now nah, you didn't burn nothing, man. You, you, you I appreciate you, dog. You know I appreciate you, man. Most definitely. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it like this, my guy. Uh, I, I've been saying this, man. Bud need to holler at the, uh, holler at the uh, the sheep and see what's going on because. I always felt like Bud was negotiating with them or talking to him behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? And, and, yes, and I, I'm known, I, I don't know if you recall, but I've been saying that. I even said that on your panel a couple of times, you know, about how I wanted Bud to do that, get, you know, uh, partner up with the Sheik. And then I, I just, I just, I just believe that he would have just took off from there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm glad to see he making this move. I'm glad his lawyers, you know what I'm saying? Did that move with, um, with, uh, Samson. You know, he he addressed the situation on, on, on the air when it was live just so he can basically shut it down so they can see what it is and they can't come with excuses because he was put he was put on the spot. So when you put on the spot, sometimes you say things you don't really want to say without being able to think about having the time to think about and correcting yourself. So yeah. I, I, I feel like that was a great thing. Good chess play by um, Terrence Crawford and his people, you know, Um sure. I, I just really want. I really want. Uh, I really want to see Terrence just be greater than the Floyd, man. I believe he is already because he ain't no duck artist and he don't cherry pick who he wants. He just wants the person to step in front of him so he can knock him down. You know what I'm saying? I really believe that. So, um, on that note, you know, I, I just want to say, uh, uh, welcome newcomers to the Mac Mob. Uh, everybody on the panel. You know what I'm saying? Stay blessed and uh, let's just keep it going. I'm gonna go ahead and pass the mic, man, and and and, and keep on cooking. Uh, 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 B Mac, most definitely. I appreciate man. you, dog. Appreciate yeah, you, man. man. Thank you, Blue. I'm Thank, wait you, to Blue. Open panel. Thank you, Blue. Thank you, Blue, man. My man, Blue Hustle, man. Straight out, man. One of my one of the soldiers out there, man. Thank you, Blue. Uh, I'm gonna keep it going, man. Shot Town up in the building, man. Y'all know who he is, a consigliere, Mr. Warren G. Talk to me, man. You're back on with the Mac Ma. And hey, B Mac, real quick. I'm gonna drop real quick in case somebody else wanna come on because I got, you know, I could I could share with somebody else. So I'll be on. I'm listening. I'm gonna pop back up. Okay. Cool. All right. Appreciate yeah. it. Yes, sir. Mr. Warren G. Mr. Warren. Mr. Oh, Warren, you hear me? Mr. Warren, you got some back end going on? 
Hey, B Mac, I want to say something real quick. I was on other people's panels promoting you, brother. You know what oh, I'm saying? Man. You know, so that, uh, hopefully, hopefully it works off, man. That's why you got newcomers coming in. I don't know if that's the reason why, but I, I hope that's one of the reasons why they come on, man. Hey, yeah. man, I appreciate that, dog. I appreciate yeah, it, man. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and fall back. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. Mr. Warren G fell off, man. Mr. Warren G fell off. Thank you, Blue. Uh, we're going to keep it moving with Mr. Warren G. Come on back. Let me go on out here, man, to the OG of the South, man, South Side. Y'all know he is all Savannah. My big bro, Mr. Golden, you're back on with the Mac Mob. Talk to me, bro. All right, first and first. Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing on a beautiful Sunday? How you doing, my brother? Good. All right. Second thing, disregard that text message I sent you. Okay. Because I'm I about to cuss you out. You about to cuss me out? Hell yeah. Why? You want to been on an aisle? I thought you fit to hang up. Nigga, I ain't got food. I got mad. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't had cooked no dinner. I was uh, looking for the potato salad at the barbecue and shit. Yeah. I had, yeah. To, go, I had to go fix some two Roman noodle soup just then. Then you tell me you dropped that link. I said, like, hey, this is son of a bitch. And you thought I was about to roll. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> because you know how you do when, when you come up early, you, you do the barbecue section, you, 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 you're a child on the nigga ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gone nowhere. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's good. It's good. It's good to hear your voice, my brother. You're sounding well. Yes, sir. And everything. Appreciate it. Christiana, the queen, XO, the bullshit little brother. <laughs> What's up, big boy? <laughs> but, but Mr. Warren got a mouth full of scrubber. That's why he can't answer. He can't come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he happy. Know. Look at he. Happy. Look at he, look at he happy as hell. Cause Earl right now he can sell his jeans and shit again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he, he sell his little jeans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can sell his jeans and shit. Yes, sir. Uh, but man, listen, I've been telling some cats, man, but they thought I was bullshitting when I told them, "Bud, money's old, old across the over the water." You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Now, even told him, even before the Earl don't fight, I said, "Bud, the Earl." If PBC don't want to make this money, they take, the, take, take, take the fight overseas. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, and sir. get that money. Now, let's see everything come right back around. You know, one thing I'm a firm believer of, what, what God has for you, nobody can take that away from you. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying? They can do what they want to do and try to uh, 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 disrespect this man and, and, and block him. But we can't stop greatness, man. Can't stop it. Can't you know, stop him. And uh, you know they're gonna, they're gonna come out with the bull crap. My old boy only had ten fight, eleven fights, but having a fight no more had before he became a champion. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, same thing. I mean, what Tio Tio got his at what thirteen or so? Fifteen. 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 15 yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Tio. I, I, I think his first fight. I think he got the first battle fourteen in a fifteen fight. He fought Lomo. That, yeah. that was a daddy playing. Yeah. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So you know, they they, they ain't had a problem with that. Now, because of Bud, for the step up opportunity to become a uh, 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 you know unified champ at one fifty four, they got a problem with that. I don't even think they even noticed that he got an opportunity to be unified champ. You yes. know. <laughs> cool to yeah. these dudes. Oh, hey, he he gonna go over here and he fight magic off. Then he gonna be out of the rankings, and I'm like, bro, that how can you got to go? First of all, how are you gonna be out of the ranking? Because they're saying that if we do fight with man, it's gonna be for both titles. That's what I'm That's saying. Gonna, it's, it's gonna be a unification bout. Yeah, we don't know how that. We don't know how that's gonna roll. And I don't give a damn what they say. Paco gonna. Keep us number one player there. I'll give that bugger go get all three other belts. He's still being a regular in the WBO. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> that because, that because he is this super champion. Yeah, yeah, he's super champ. Yes, sir. You feel what I'm saying? And, 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 and I don't give a darn. At the end of the day, they trying to blackball this young man from coming undisputed at 154. You feel what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Because if he go, if he, if he would have fought a uh, uh, fondue for the WBC and the WBO, 
in PBC day. Right. Cause they, they don't have nobody else with the title. Only person that got a title at 154 right now is Fondue. Uh, 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 your boy Charlo, he's in recess. Yeah. So we don't know who's coming back. On the belt, he really a hope. It's the Rain Magazine belt. Yeah. That's that's vacant. So a ball go, huh? That's vacant. No, it's not. He got no, it's not. He got the Rain Magazine. He got he got the Rain Magazine belt. Who? Charlo. Charlo. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Charlo got that. He got that when he became undisputed. He okay. could have fought for the Rain Magazine belt. He, so he got the Rain Magazine let, belt. They let him keep that. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so he still got that, man. But see, he he he, he will hold on to that. And won't let Bud get a hold of that belt. But I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't gonna start too much shit today. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be on my good behavior today. Cause we got the queen on the panel. Y'all always say I don't know how to act. Y'all always say I don't know how to act when ladies come around. So I'm gonna be That's good. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And then we got a new guy named Killer Man. So I don't know if he's a killer or not. You yeah, know, yeah, you know. from the DMV, yeah. Drake DC Slim. That's how yeah, we get that. He's Killer Man. I'm vouching for him. I'm vouching for him. <laughs> I almost, I almost, I almost cuss him out. Why? Huh? Why? He come with that, that DMV shit. I'm like, I can't have no DMV shit. Yeah, don't start no shit. Don't start <laughs> no shit, man. Rock with all my DMV soldiers, man. I started you know telling him take got? that. I told, I started telling him to take that guy that go uh, 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 DMV shit and go home with that shit. No, you do it. No, you wasn't because you know you was gonna hear it from me. Stop that bullshit. <laughs> I bet you any amount of money he's a sugary fan too. Yeah, he probably is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you go ahead on and hit the queen, man. I'm gonna be back in. I'm, I'm gonna try to stay woke now. I ate with some noodles now. I might be. I'm, if you hear me snoring, they, 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 they kick me off the panel here. Yeah? yeah, I'm gonna kick you off the panel, man. Don't 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 be over here snoring and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. well, I, I catch a lot of open panel. All right, I appreciate you. Appreciate you, Mr. Warren. Uh, I mean, Mr. Gold, appreciate you, man. Damn, I ain't Mr. Warren. I got that. I ain't got no I, strawberries. I was going to Mr. Warren. That's why it messed me up, man. It messed me uh, up. I, I, I was going to Mr. Warren. All right. <laughs> all right, now I appreciate you. Hey, um, my man, uh, priorities over luxury said, man, I just checked IG. Israel got a million followers. All right, man, I ain't know that, bro. <laughs> I ain't know that. I ain't know that at all. That's what's up. We got a million followers. Wow. Hey, let me go on out here to Mr. Warren and see if he back, man. Mr. Warren, Shot Town, Consiglier. You're back on the Mac Mob. You with me? Am I Am I crispy? Yeah, now you are. Hello? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was going to have you open up with my theme song, but Mr. Golden went to talking that shit, so I want to tell you, stick yourself. <laughs> stick yourself. <laughs> yes, I'm a fool. I'm a fool. <laughs> Man, love that I'm a fool. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Be yes, I've been sir. saying this for a long time. You didn't hear me? You didn't hear yep. me say it a, a dozen, a million times, or many times yes, anyway. Man. That 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 song went hit different. Yeah, it do. Uh, and everybody knows that Saudi man when he hit different. And when he come and invade the USA, it's gonna hit different. Yes, and you sir. got the man Tans Bud Crawford on your list. It's gonna hit. Yeah. And people gonna yeah. want a, gonna want a piece of that that hit, hit my money. That hit different. Yes, sir. And I believe that that's where his money gonna come from. Yes, sir. You know, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. I don't know what you're talking about, but you bought it yesterday, though. Yes, sir. I you appreciate you put it. this shit out. out. It's, it's plain. Whatever flame you're trying to kindle is out. Yeah. So pass me that uh, that rumble, mumbo so I can you need put some on of that some mumbo. You want, that some, you want some mumbo, That's man? You, you, you got to have three wings yeah, with it, then, man. <laughs> you gotta have three wings different. with your mumbo, baby. You hit different. And yes, you know sir. Go. You know go. You got to have the now three wings with it, man. But that's all. all right. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you, man. Gonna hit it's gonna hit different. Yes, hey, sir. man. 
We got another mob queen in the building. Where you been at, Miss Elisa B? I'm glad to see you, darling. Miss Elisa B is in the chat, man. Mob queen, man. Glad to see you, queen. I ain't seen you in a while. Well, hello, B Mac and the Mac Mob. One love to you, queen. Y'all show us some love, man. The mob queens that ain't here tonight. They ain't here tonight, man. Y'all make sure y'all respect and show them love. You understand? Respect and show them love. And speaking of mob queens, we got another mob queen in the building. Y'all know who she is. Miss Fistiana Fights. You know what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all go show us some love. Hit a like button. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Because the channel's still up. You know what I mean? And tell her to open the door and go live, too. You know what I'm saying? So, Miss Fistiana. Sis, how you doing? You're back you like on with the Mac Mom. You like my new profile picture? Yeah. Oh, Lord, is that you with the Canelo? <laughs> <laughs> That's my profile picture because I was, I was told I'm a Canelo sexual. I'm oh, wow. A <laughs> Canelo sexual? Yeah. I'm a Canelo sexual. I'm the original. Canelo sexual, apparently. I know that's so. right. I know that's right. <laughs> first, thank you for going live, and I'm I'm blessed to be part of this panel today. Anybody? Well, we want blessed some smoke? to have you. I'm ready for some smoke, especially let's see, uh, El Boogie, Young Ooh. Africa. Ooh. Uh, uh, AC, you can get it too. Ooh. Oh wow. I'm, Hey, you know I was oh, more shit to ready to debut, mate. Nigga. Oh Lord, it was... you know I was coming for that haircut with that bum ass nigga as a as as your 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 joint. <laughs> I'm for that All right. Let me I'm ready let me, for it. But, uh, let me yeah. find out, man. It, 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 let me find out. We got smoke. We got smoke coming all off the off the griddle oh, already. Yeah, it's it's I'm gonna have to. And Fresh need to hit the panel too, because he's the one that said I was a Canelo sexual. So he need to go ahead and hit that hit that link too. So I'm right oh, shit. I, 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 oh, she didn't shut she didn't shut the motherfucking Mac Bob down. Look, we gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we back. I'm for the, I'm for the fall of the chest so you can have some room let it come in. We back, y'all. We back, y'all. I, I had to put the motherfucker hold button on, man. God damn. Nah, damn, Fist, y'all come swinging at folks, boy. All right. Y'all, y'all, some, some people don't want this smoke, boy. I ain't got no excuse. No, they don't want this smoke. What'd you say, Queen? Get that Canelo shit off the screen. Oh, that's, man. That's, look, look. It's early. I, I'm Hey, let's go. Well, Fistiana came in here like this. Oh, Mike Dark, because you know, Mike Dark used to make me moist when I watch the show. I would get, I admit it, I would get moist when I watch the show. <laughs> she, came, she came in like Mike Douglas. Yeah, but it's good. I'm, I'm so glad to see everybody on the panel today, everybody in the chat. Shout out to the ladies in the chat, like Jessica, and I think Elisa B. Um, yes. Y'all um, come up on this panel too, get some smoke with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I know that's right. I know hey, that's I got right. you have a Canelo as your avatar. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love y'all. But yeah, I, 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 I am a, a Canelo supporter. So I mean, you know, I'm, I'm the original Bud Buddy. I don't care what nobody say. I'm the original Bud Buddy, but I support Canelo too. So. Uh, oh no. wow, wow! I, I, you I'm don't, don't, don't have past the Gucci up here. Past the Gucci. Oh, you right. you <laughs> need to tell him to fight Bud. Tell him to fight Bud. <laughs> Oh man, here we go. Like, yeah, I can't wait for this open panel. Let's go. Oh no, that's right. Okay, Queen. We go we're gonna keep it moving this so we can go ahead and get the open panel. I got a special Thank shout out to my man WCS World Combat Sports on deck. You know what I'm saying? Beam them up, Scotty. Hey man, that's my man WCS, man. Hardest working man over here on YouTube, man. Y'all go show that brother some love. Hit his like, subscribe to his channel, man. Go ahead out there and listen to my man. WCS World Combat Sports on deck. Appreciate you, WCS man. Glad you came and uh support the channel, man. Appreciate you, big dog. Show them some love, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, man, y'all know who he is, man. Is uh another underboss up in here, man. 
Y'all know who he is, man. The X, the X, the X, the X O Factory, man. My, my brother been uh he been down, man, with some uh uh, uh with some uh, a family tragedy, man, and, and things of that nature. So, man, y'all show that brother some love. I'm glad to see him out here doing what he needed to do. Get on out here and, and, and get back out here in life, man. So, XO, talk to me, big bro. You're back Be on bold. with the back pod, uh, bro. What's good, big bro? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, man. Shout out to you, big bro. You was cooking. You had that grill fucking flaming. I'm like, Thank you, my brother. Bro, like, you, you know what I'm talking about? They can't handle the receipts that you be pulling, bro. Like, it's 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 serious, you know what I'm saying? So yes, sir. shout out shout out to you for that, bro. Shout out to uh, shout out to you for the love, man. Shout out to all my people on the found all the people on the panel, man. My big sus, uh Fistiana, my brother AC, got yes, and Mr. Goldie, Blue Hustle Man, who that is J B down at the bottom, Joseph Bailey. Yes, sir. Hey, man, shout out to everybody, shout out to everybody in the chat, man. I appreciate the love from y'all, man. Thank y'all for you know what I'm saying, sending your love my way. It was greatly needed, so I really appreciate everybody, man, for the love. So, definitely that, you know what I'm saying. But uh, I did, hey, bro. Like I said, you was cooking, bro. Like it, all the shit that you was saying, bro. I was like, you know what I'm saying. You be hitting them with them receipts. Oh, Mr. Warren, shout out to you too, big bro. You know what I'm saying. Shout out to you. I'm, I'm gonna call you too, cause I wanna holler at you. But uh, yeah, man, them, them receipts. You be dropping them receipts. They can't handle them receipts, bro. So <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, appreciate first of all, I want to say this. You know what I'm saying? Ego over there talking that bullshit. See, this is the shit I be talking about, man. They be on, they be on some all every, all these all these play all these uh YouTube channels be on some bullshit, bro. But what I'm saying is you want to sit there and say, oh, you know what I'm saying, he can go and and, and fight uh boots and all everybody want it not everybody wanna hype up boots and all that shit there. But my thing is this you saying that oh he uh, boots got a belt and all that shit. He got the belt that Bud had. They they boots yeah. is an email champ. He's an email champ. He got well, well okay, this is that thing. Like Bud said, <laughs> I, I I bust my ass to get to this point. I can do what the fuck I want to do. You know what I'm saying? He can do yeah. what he wanna do. He busts his ass to get to this point. So what what are they talking about, B man? Yeah, I don't know what they talking about. <laughs> and, when, and when is a verbal agreement in a, what the fuck is a verbal right. agreement? Right. When, when, when we started this shit, you right? Know what I mean? like, this shit is, bro, Boston is bro. I'm talking about Boston. This shit is too funny, bro. This is too funny. You can't make this shit up, bro. You yes, cannot sir. make this shit up. Man, motherfucker, motherfucker, talking about a verbal agreement. Like what? We had a verbal agreement. Now any motherfucker can say they had a verbal agreement for some. You know what I'm saying? So this this shit be too funny, bro. But you was dropping up. You were dropping. You were, man. You were dropping some goddamn receipts. You was cooking. You know what I'm saying? It. I was sitting back chilling, you know what I'm saying? So, but uh, I just want to say that though, bro, and I appreciate you, man. And y'all in the chat, please get them likes up. Y'all be bullshitting on them. Like, <laughs> be mad. Please yeah. play too young. Yeah, I, I got to play Sue Young again, man. Like I man, said, it's, over, God damn, it's over 100 bro. people in here, man. And we still get, we still ain't got still here, man. Let me get Sue Young on them again. Come on, push the button. Yeah, come on, push the button. Blow everybody up! Yeah, blow everybody up! Push the goddamn button! Push the goddamn button! You heard what she said. Hit that button. You heard what Sue <laughs> Young said. But I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna fall back. Be mad. Let your brain. Let your brains body. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm. I'm still on. I'm. Just, I'm gonna get ready for this WrestleMania in a little bit. But uh, yeah, man. Yes, sir. I'm. I'm here, I'm here bro. So yeah, I just want to let you know that, bro. And I, I appreciate the love for you too, big bro. All right, man, I appreciate you, man. Y'all make sure that y'all go out there and hit the EXO Factory up, man. And uh, uh, hit his like and subscribe to his channel. Share the sure. content, man. And uh, and tell him to open that factory back up. Tell him yeah, to open that factory back up, man. Open, open that Still factory back up. Yeah, stop ducking that smoke. Don't duck no smoke, <laughs> nigga. Stop ducking that smoke. <laughs> All right, big bro. <laughs> One love, man, to the Exo Factory, man. Let's go on back up north, man. Uh, go out here in Brooklyn, man. Brooklyn's finest out here, man. The Brooklyn hit AC the chef, man, because he always cooking, man. AC, you back on with the Mac Bob. Talk to me, fam. Man, one love to everybody. One love to the chat, man. Uh, Mr. Deanna came in here. You know when you see the superhero joint when the dude got or the person got two guns, one in the right and the left, and they take that deep breath before they kick in the door? 
Yeah. And then kick in the door, boom, bang, 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 and just start uh, peeling people off with one shot. That's how Fistiana came in here. Like you, you said, the, the the superhero jump like this. <laughs> <laughs> she slid off. She slid off like that. She slid off like that. She said, "Who want that smoke?" And then she did slid off like that. In that same exact pose. Ah, let me get that again. <laughs> <laughs> but but here, here's where I wanted to cook off, man. The thing that the thing about the thing about boxing in this era, these people are worrying about the business side. This Arab dude, I mean this Saudi dude, mm -hmm. he worried he's he's showing us the historical side. Yes, if sir. I forget what I'm saying, because you know, history always like what how, what type of what's the monetary value you put on making history? Yes. You you feel what yes. I'm saying? So these dudes yes. is worrying about uh 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 what's your what's your instagram following and all of that and and the thing about it is muhammad ali, ali jack johnson all of those dudes are still alive because they're part of history and we can't let that go because that those are the greatest moments they gave us some of the greatest moments yes, so I, that's why i fucks with the saudis and all and and while i'm gonna say that Way back, way back, you talking about, I think this was after the Ugas fight or maybe right after, you know, uh, when shit was getting sketchy with mm -hmm. the Errol Spence and uh, 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 Bud Crawford negotiations, when that November 19th fight or that October fight fight date fell out. It was rumored and then it wasn't true and then, you know, the, the, the 19th. People yes, were saying that they saw Bud Crawford. They they were saying they saw Bud Crawford uh, in in Saudi Arabia, and they was trying to argue. Well, why was he with Daniel Kenny? Daniel Kennehan. Mm, yeah, I remember that. Remember that, and they was yes, accusing him of all of this other kind of stuff, and he yes, gonna try to bring mafia money and Bud ain't no good yeah. for and yep. all of this other I stuff. I remember that. Yeah. We remember all of that. So yep. so the true part of that is he was in Saudi Arabia. Yes, sir. So this is a relationship this man been cooking since back then. Mm -hmm. And he tried to make these accusations. So I always go back to hindsight as 2020. Well we was talking about the possible 25 million that was coming in. One of the sources was saying it could have come from the Saudis. Dude, yes, just to argue us down. Y'all niggas is delusional. The Saudis ain't interested in Bud because Bud don't sell. What was his last pay per view numbers? Earl is the one that sells, so why wouldn't the Saudis go to Earl first? Right. That was the argument that these dudes would give us. That's right. Every last one of them that came on the panel. So we have we have a history already established of Bud already making moves with the Saudis. So I'm just gonna I just figured out now they shouting him out personally like that i'm gonna take it as 100 percent true until somebody show me it's not okay just because of the history that yes, they, this, this these guys have had me you mr warren yeah we're on the panel yes and if they can't get a deal for the fight where should the fight go me and mr warren were like it should go to saudi mm -hmm. Since they did the AJ, A, AJ, and AJ, AJ, yeah, 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 and the whole heavyweight, the whole heavyweight, uh, supercard and all that other stuff. Yes, yeah, sir. and this was this was way before the supercard. Yes, sir. Me, yes, me sir. and Mr. Warren was arguing this on on the panels. Yes, sir. So, all all I'm saying is, this is this is the thing he's established for a minute. Uh. The last thing I just wanna wanna cook on is is this. Um Madra uh Madrimov yeah. is a champion, right? Yes. He actually he actually is doing his thing. He has probably the second most impressive amateur career outside of Lomachenko. Lomachenko. Mm-hmm. 
or he might have had better because I think Vasily didn't have 400 mm -hmm. amateur fights. Right. Yeah, I think Vasily like 380 or something like that. Yeah, something yeah. Like that. yeah. yeah. so his, his joint might be more impressive, depends on how many gold medals he has. Right. You, you feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you have a guy coming in the box and then, and within 10 fights or, or 11 fights, whatever, mm -hmm. he gets a belt. Yes. But people are beating him up. Acting yeah. like he's he's something different, while at the same turn, they're bigging up David Morrell. Hey man, excellent point. Damn excellent point. Damn excellent point. You, I can't. I can't. I, man, that's a damn excellent point. So it's like for me, it's like okay. So Madrimov versus Morrell. Who do you think wins that fight? For all you guys that are saying this, because I'm looking at the two dudes, two dudes resume, and I'm like, are you niggas kidding me? Are you niggas kidding me? Stop. Well, Morrell, isn't Morrell at 60 though? 68. Yeah, he's at 68, but I'm just making a point of yes, saying y'all saying David Morrell deserves a fight with both Benavidez and Canelo Alvarez. Yes, but Patrick somehow. It's, it's not right yet to get a fight with Bud. It's a bum. That's exactly. what they, yeah, they're trying to say he's a bum. And I'm 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 looking at I'm looking at Majumov because the thing that kept on with him that kept on making me stand out. I don't remember what what fight card I saw him on, but I was like, why does nigga look like Triple G? He big dog. I'm trying to tell you people he's big. I'm, strong, I'm, I'm looking at him and I'm like, yo, dudes, don't sleep. This ain't gonna yeah. be an easy fight like y'all nah, think this, it's gonna be. Yeah, what yeah, yeah, dog. Say, dude, this big dude is strong, nice. man. This yeah. dude nice. He he, he big and strong. Some bro. Shit with him. So listen, like yo, this dude's coming in, coming in with a with a mega amateur career like that. So he's he's gonna he's gonna pose some problems. You, you feel what I'm saying? And yes, after that, I'm I'm just going to land the plane because the only other point I was going to make was was uh, to Steven Espinosa's point when Bud and and uh, and this dude's point, uh, Ego. OK, so when Errol backed out of the rematch, why didn't they swoop in to sign him for a one or two fight deal? And sending off for the butt. Who, who are you speaking of? Jerron Ennis. Oh, like you, you. There was still an opportunity when the fight fell apart. So you, you no, it wasn't though. If you remember, Ennis had problems with his own promotional company. He was suing his <laughs> manager. I mean, as soon as suing his promotional company, so he he couldn't just. Going in and sign him, he, he had to get out of that contract. But you, so you're not understanding the reason why I'm asking that question. The okay. reason why I'm asking that question is for the same reason y'all said why didn't Bud do X, Y, and Z, and Bud was ducking, and we try to tell y'all he was bound by contract. Right. So it couldn't have happened. Right. So ask me a stupid question like that. Why didn't Jerome Bruce right. in this? Paul, you, 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 you was being rhetorical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Be, I, my bad. They be they were PBC, and then they send they send butter they send butter offer. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that that's it. That's where I land that plane. Hey, man, I appreciate it, man. AC the chef, man, always cooking, man. The Brooklyn hit up in here. Um, my man Chick is out here, man. Chick says this is a fun boxing channel. I'm new here, but not new everywhere. I'm going to sit back and learn. Hey, I appreciate it, Chick, man. You know, but we can always learn from you too, my brother. You know, anytime that you want to, if, you, if you're willing, you can always hit the link. Come up and speak your piece. But uh, thank you. Welcome, Aaron, to being part of the Mac Mob. Glad that you're here, man, and I hope, you, I hope to see you some more. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you. Uh, the neighborhood Hebrew... Boxing never has morals. Uh, uh, verbal equals nothing. Yeah, bro, it, it doesn't mean a damn thing. So all that verbal contract doesn't mean anything. Uh, got you, Mr. Warren. Got you. Um, let me go on out here, man, to Joe Cool real quick, and then we're going to go open panel. Uh, Joe Cool. 
my main man he hit me up on Instagram. <laughs> Yo, cool, you back on with the Mac Mob, man. Talk to me, fam. What's up, fam? Can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. All right. How's everybody doing? Everybody good, bro. What about yourself? All right. I like to say, uh, excuse me, be my cam should drop the link. Okay. I'd like to say, uh, congratulations to the South Carolina Gamecocks, Don Staley. Shout out to them. Undefeated season. And I only got one thing to say, man. It's amazing how one fight from last year dictates everything that's going on right now. Mm. Mm. If Earl, if I'm going to call him molasses. If molasses would have won. <laughs> <laughs> if he would have won that fight, things would be totally different. Yes, the sir. Things are now. <laughs> and we, and we all know that too. Yes, sir. One man beat their man, and he's the best fighter in the world. But they still don't want to give him credit. They still butt hurt over that fight last year. Yep. So, until they get over that fight, they're going to keep feeling the way they feel. They're going to yes, move sir. the goalposts as much as they can with everything. So the Saudis know what time it is when they come to Bud Crawford. They know he's the best fighter in the world. So they're going to back him. Yes, sir. He he ain't signing nobody. So they're going right. to back him. They're going to they give him the bread he want. They're going to solidify his legacy. They agree with everything he's doing. And just, we're going to keep riding for him. Yes, sir. And I'm going to wait for the, uh, I'm going to wait for the open chat. Y'all do Hey, time. man, I appreciate it, man. My man, Joe Cool, man. The cool, y'all see how cool he talk, man. That's why he Joe Cool, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man, how you everybody doing? Everybody good? Appreciate y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love everybody, man. Joe, my <laughs> man, Joe Cool up in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Cristiano, what's up? What's happening? You know what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? I just Cristiano. How you doing? What's going on, man? That, you know, all right. You know, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? Don't be bringing your girl around Joe Cool, man. He's too goddamn cool for that shit. <laughs> hey, one love to you, Joe. Appreciate right, you, man. man. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, man, we got one of the apostles <laughs> in the building, bro. Y'all know who he is. Cam the Baptist. <laughs> Going by Mr. Booty Swing himself, man. Booty Swing is also available on streaming platforms. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Booty Swing, man. Mr. Booty Swing himself. You know what I'm saying? You can catch him out on It's Boxing to You, man. Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, man, I thought y'all was going to be doing a, the uh, 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 the WrestleMania tonight, man. Are y'all doing <coughs> WrestleMania tonight? <coughs> <coughs> yeah, because the rock is killing it right now. Don't say that. Don't tell me that. I'm missing it. <laughs> we supposed to go live. I just got out of rehearsal for this for this comedy show we doing on uh, April 20th on 420. So I've been in rehearsal. I don't know. You know, I thought bro was going live. I don't know what's going on. I don't. I don't understand it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, however, comma, I I got told. It was some smoke for the apostles. I got told somebody caught out the apostles for some smoke. What? That's what I, I heard. Mean, if he wants some smoke. Ooh, 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 ooh. want some smoke. Who that? <laughs> What's up, Kim? <laughs> Is that Fisty? <laughs> yeah, that's Fisty. <laughs> ah, Fisty, baby! Hi, Fisty, I'm <laughs> You want some smoke? <laughs> Why you not do me like this? You know, I don't, I'm not one to duck no wreck. I don't duck no smoke. But Fisty, come on. Don't, don't do me like this. I won't do you like that, but, but you gotta come correct. Uh, you know we you know we love you. You know we love you. I, it's, I love it's, y'all. I love, I love all y'all. But you see who you see my my avatar, so you know. Let's go. I see you on the war path. Yeah, you on you on. <laughs> oh, you didn't pop back up on bullshit. Oh. <laughs> see the game. Watching, uh, WrestleMania last night, the tables out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, she came out choosing violence. <laughs> Look, I just got out of rehearsal. I got a phone call like, hey, they calling the apostles out on the Mac mob. I just, they said they got smoke. <laughs> I said, who? Who got smoke? I'm on the way. You know, I click links. I pull up. I'm here you first know, outside. You it's know, Miss Diana. I don't want yeah, to fight no more. Yeah, I don't want to fight no more. I don't want to fight no more. I don't yeah, 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 you saw yeah, him in the back of the car, you know, yeah, I see how I'm sliding, yeah, yeah they say, yeah, I'm 50, I'm gonna say, she wants, no, I don't want to fight no more, mm -mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a bitch ass nigga, I'm still a bird buddy, though, I'm still a bird buddy, but, but they, it's going on around she, I, I, Cam, she said that she is the she ain't care what nobody say. She is the original bug buddy. I said, okay. Gucci might you know have what? A problem with that. She got that. You know, I don't want no trouble. I don't want any problems. Oh my God. Don't hit me. Don't, <laughs> see, I'm a, don't hit me. I'm just a bitch ass nigga. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. It's John Blaze. I get jiggy with you. I'm, I'm the original Canelo sexual, apparently. Oh, oh, you the original. Now hold on, you can hold on. So you telling me you 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 fathering nigga styles now. So you got you got to pick a side. It's a line in the sand out I've here. I've been a Canelo sexual years. Damn, that's crazy. Hey, hey. So what's gonna happen with Canelo beat up? Uh, no, with with Canelo get beat up by Will? Will I you mean, be that torn? Could that could will you will you be that torn? Oh, when the oh, line's wait, wait, in the he sand. He are we ready for the open panels? I get this because I get the smoke started right quick. Yeah, because I want to know are, when, when, the, when the smoke clears, will you be torn when when Canelo and Bud is announced? Will when the lines in the sand are drawn, where will you be, Queen Fistiana? See, we are officially okay. open panel, Fistiana. So right, go ahead, go. do what you okay. do. She's gonna be duck sauce. No, I ain't gonna be no dog talk. This is the deal. This is my, this is my problem with what's going on right now. I, I can't, I, I, I can't understand why everybody is sitting here saying that Canelo basically should be obligated to fight Bud. I love Bud. I'm original Bud buddy. He's my favorite boxer. I, I mean, I, everybody knows I'm a Bud buddy, but Canelo should not be obligated to fight this dude. He just shouldn't. I mean. When the fight happens, a bud may beat his ass, Canelo may beat his ass. I don't know. I just don't know. But I do not feel like Canelo should be obligated to fight him. And I don't think that people should be dogging Canelo for not fighting Bud. And I just don't understand when it's hate. Oh. Okay. Why do you feel like that? I was about to say I wanna, look, look. I wanna, she, I wanna she, she, says she, a, she says she a bud buddy, but she be saying Canelo's name in her sleep. <laughs> oh, whoa, hold on. <laughs> he came back <laughs> down if you hollered other <laughs> niggas' name. <laughs> What's happening? Look, I, I don't know whose name I be seeing in my sleep, but it, I'm just saying, I mean, if, if, if Bud is at the point where he can do whatever he wants to do, he can move however he wants to move because he's done those things. He's made those accomplishments. He got those accolades. Why can't Canelo okay. do the same thing? No, I'm not. Listen, this is I, I agree with you to the point where uh, Canelo shouldn't be obligated to, to do it. But at the end of the day, if you're if both of you at the point of doing whatever you want to do, why not break that last class ceiling? When when you look at okay. the competition. When you look at the competition and the payday, if it's if it's entertainment value or money value, the biggest fight is to fight Terrence Crawford in your career right now. You you, you thank feel you, AC. Thank you. Oh, I, I, I just if you look at if you look at underneath, that's what you're looking for. That's what Bud's doing. Let's they, not let's not talk about let's not talk about. Oh, it's, 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 for, it's for an accolade or, or it's for my legacy. If it's for the money, let's just keep it real. If it's for the money, let's be, let us be for the money. Not, I mean, not, I not, not, it's for legacy. It's for legacy. Then like it. It, it's, it, it actually both would be fulfilled in that in that both are both would be considered 
Well, since Buzz been uh, stripped, he's no longer considered undisputed. But we were looking at the whole undisputed versus undisputed situation. We knew it was going to be oh, the I biggest money fight. Yeah, we knew it was going to be the biggest money fight, hands down, because these are two of the best fighters in the world, respectively. And they on weight classes, just respectively, uh, 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 you know, as, as current fighters, right? Uh, but we saw, I, you know, me personally, this is a farewell fight to me for both Bud and Canelo. It would be like both of these guys have, have reached the pinnacle in boxing. They've done everything there is to do in the sport. I think the only thing Bud hasn't done is have a blockbuster, a uh, huge pay-per-view sellout event type of situation. But I mean, as far as accolades in the sport, there there really isn't anything that either of these men haven't accomplished or done in their careers already. So I feel like this would be a mega fight. It's a farewell mm -hmm. fight. And then this this kind of settles the dispute between both fan bases, respectively, on who's one and two uh, 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 as far as in our generation of greats. You feel what no, I'm saying? I, 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 okay, I, okay, I feel this one is too small for the two of them. Are y'all able to hear I, me? Yes, sir. Oh, go ahead, Mr. Hey, let me, can, I, can I throw this out here? Can I throw yes, this out sir. there real quick? What if, what if the Saudis entertain that fight? They, that's what they're going to do, bro. That'll be a, that'll be a payday that, that fight, both of right? you can have. Because they'll both get paid what they want if they if the Saudi uh, holds it. I mean, Canelo's pretty much a free agent, you know, until somebody signed him up. I mean, he got one more fight left, right, with PBC, right? Because he's not beholden to P PBC, and he, he's not a puppet with PBC, so that's still a possibility. But at, at the end of the day, when you look at it, when people say, should Bud uh, sign with them, yeah, because it doesn't change the fact that he's a free agent. The, the, the Saudi dude is not a promotional company. He's not a promoter. He's just a backer, that, a dude that throws money at, at, at events and who loves boxing. So right. when, you have, when you have someone on your side that's willing to pay your, your bit of the money or say, you know what, I'll pay, I'll pay X, Y, and Z. No matter who you are as a free agent, you're coming in there with a huge amount of leverage because those guys don't have to pay you. So this is what B-Mac cooked on with the whole Jerron Ennis thing. And some of the other fights when he was like, who is going to pay for it? One of his favorite questions. That's who true. Pays for it? So, so Bud Crawford, Bud Crawford got, got um, Alashidi, uh, Turkey Alashidi. So at the end of the day, all right, who, if I press you for a fight and you turn me down, you, your promotional company and everybody involved with you just ducked me. Facts. Well, you know what I, I mean, feel. Like. I mean, well, well Canelo, Canelo's a gun for hire, though. Canelo's a gun for hire, so yeah, you got one more fight with PBC. What's to say that the Saudis don't throw money at him and Crawford? Who's to say fight? the Saudis ain't trying to talk to him right now, knowing that he's yep. almost out of that they contract? They both are. They already shopping. Uh, they shopping that fight. You could best believe that. Yeah, they are, and, and they got the money to back the whole fucking fight for both sides. That's what I'm. That's what I'm trying to say. Listen, listen. You know, you know how else is it's also a reality because who have they done business the most with? It hasn't necessarily. It hasn't been ESPN. It hasn't been uh, PBC. It's they been heard. It's been Eddie Hearn and the and the zone. So at the end of the day, Eddie Hearns is giving everybody saying, "Listen, if you want that real money, I hear what PBC is saying and all of that. But if you want to make that real money and become that mega star and, and have the money to, to go with it and championships, then come fuck with me because I could get you a fight in in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia." Yeah, and this ain't the first time that Canelo's fought on 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 the uh, on the zone. He was a flagship fighter for the network, so it's easy to grab him back and then and then just to be able to snatch her above for the fight or for the sake of the fight. Well, if are aligned. I can well, see. If I'm not, you got, you got WBO, and like I cooked with, 
with, with uh, me, me and Blue Hustle Man always always talk about this. You have what what Paco said years ago. He told he said he made the statement that said, "All right, with Terrence Crawford, we support him if he go down, if he go up, even if he wants to go two divisions." We have his back a hundred percent. That lets you know he he finna get this Canelo fight or Canelo gonna get stripped of that WBO belt. For real, Canelo for real. And, and for real, for real. For real, for real. I, I, I don't think he's getting no stripped for the for the WBO belt, but um here's the thing, Fistiana, Fistiana, and all those other Canelo fans is gonna is gonna turn around and see Bud Crawford and they all gonna go, How did you Hold on one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry, man. It's all right. It's all right. I just want to. I just want to slide in, man. We got a new gentleman, man, coming up on panel, man, for the first time. I gotta let him cook, man. My man, Welcome. NFL, oh. NFL, young boy, NFL, young boy, man. It's your first time on the Mac, mob, man. Talk to me, bro. Man, this ain't my first time, man. What's good with the panel? Oh, What's shit. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome. <laughs> 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. Ain't no snuck on break and snuck in here. He done hey. snuck on this motherfucker. The South, South Carolina in the house, man. How you gonna do me like that, Bill? He's gonna, man, he gonna listen. switch the goddamn... He gonna what up, Bill? Goddamn. Much love. What's Bill, good? What's good? Bill's came on here mad, too. He's like... When I say... I'm Master, you say, so no. And they said, ain't no first time up here, goddammit. Hey, the bills make me want to change my name, goddammit. <laughs> well, come on, bills, man. What's up with you, man? Talk to me, fam. What I miss, man. What I miss, man. Oh, man, you missed everything, man. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Tariq Ali Sheik is talking about dealing with uh uh Terrence Crawford and and this is the key. He's talking about a USA invasion. You okay. know what I'm so when people you gotta understand that he talk about USA invasion, then he gonna try to do it big, man. You know what I'm saying? I hope that, he ain't talking about Canelo. No, he talk about grabbing Crawford. Okay, okay, because Canelo speak duck language. And, no. and, thank you, and, Bill. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Don't let Fistiana hear you say that, Sam. Don't let Fistiana hear you say that. He do, man. She, she put a whole lot of duck sauce in his... She put a whole lot of duck sauce in his Chinese food. Well, hold on. Maybe a void language. We're going to call it a void. None but duck sauce? None but duck sauce. He got the whole duck. But how can anybody control Canelo with duck? I mean, he, he he's been a champion in what four or five different weight classes. When you were yeah, uh, Fistiana, Miss Fistiana, when you were in the fight, Earl Spence. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, but it's, uh, it's four. Uh, uh, Miss Fistiana, Miss Fistiana, hold on, 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 hold if, uh, if, if he's willing to fight Earl Spence and uh, and Air, uh, Terrence Crawford beat the break us off of him, he should be willing to fight him too. Man, sign the contract, big boy. Sign the contract. <laughs> Look, if somebody calling you out over and over, Benavidez is not calling him out. Crawford said, "Yeah, I'll fight him." He said, "I'll move I know up you didn't and fight." Say that B word. Look, I know you didn't say that B word. When you, I know for I know for a fact all y'all know that last night he was on that booger sugar. He wasn't drunk. He was on that booger sugar last night. I know mm. y'all saw him last night. Not the sugar. Come on. Talk queen. Talk to him, queen. Talk to him, queen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Talk to him, queen. Fisty, I didn't couldn't feel his face. <laughs> hey, at the end of the day, Canelo gonna void whoever. I, like I said, if it's danger down that street, Canelo ain't going down there. Thank you. The blue lights is on down Crawford Street. He went up the street and got beat. So how you gonna sit here and say 
that he he's ducking anything. He went up. Terrence Crawford is an anomaly. That's why I'm gonna say that. I mean, uh, he yeah. fought. Uh, uh, Canelo, uh, no, Canelo no know he beat by Bud. But he said, and he said, "Oh, well, it ain't gonna mean nothing if I fight Crawford. Try to throw everybody off, and then look who we fighting now. That don't mean he went, that. He went up the street. He went up the street. He went up weight divisions, and he lost. So what do you mean he's done? Yeah, yeah, but he said that, that was, was a terrible pick. Going wrong, wrong, though. He thought he was going to do something. Oh, uh, y'all, y'all, y'all got to stop that shit now. I'm, I'm with Queen on that. Y'all got to stop that bullshit in it. Now it's a cherry pick gone wrong. Y'all got to stop that shit. Know what I, I ain't know what I, what I say. Y'all got to stop that. Y'all got to stop that shit. He went okay, up to he 75 man. and got beat. But when that same 75 pounder offered to come down to 68 and fight him for his titles, he did not want to put his titles on the line and fight he him. He said, no, 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 no. Okay, the man, like the, the, the man like got his ass whooped. Okay, D-Mac. Okay, D-Mac. Okay, the man got his ass whooped. Okay, D-Mac. Yeah, 75, yeah. He said, well, they didn't have no hold up. He, he, he lost that motherfucker. He got his ass whooped. We got to keep it moving, right? Hey, hey B Matt, he dared to be great, right? Why he won't let Crawford dare to be great? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you know, thank you to what? B Matt, I want to give this question, though. Do you think do you think they actually yes, knew what they were picking when they picked B Hall? Did, did Canelo actually think he could beat B-Roll when they, when they chose to send this fight to B-Roll? Yeah, why, why did he? Wow. Yeah, I think he thought he I could I mean, if he didn't him. think that I, he I could win, he if he didn't think he could win, that, that's more to it that he didn't he didn't go in there, um, you know, thinking this was a cherry pick gone wrong. Nah, he thought he was going to beat him on the cards. He didn't think he was just going to go in there and punish him, but he know he get four rounds as soon as they say ding, ding. I'm just I'm, I'm with Queen with this though. This man got the best resume in boxing, and y'all still talking about he ducking. We just a lot of I can't argue his resume at all. Y'all can't y'all can't keep saying that, bro. But it's see, it's, it's, but B-Mac, it's not about that, his bro. resume; it's about his mental attitude, though, brother. Right now, his mental attitude is not the same as when he was really developing that. His resume. Damn. It's it's mental mental attitude. Attitude. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hey, what you talking about mental attitude? What, what, man, I'm talking about the blue. blue. Right now, bro. That's what I'm talking about. It's mental hey, attitude. How, how, when he was, how was back in the day, attitude back before. in the day, he was daring to be great. He didn't have that attitude now that he has. He, he, he was daring to be great. He went up to 175. Ain't nobody be Ain't nobody be so wait, tell wait, me something. Ain't no ain't Terrence Crawford. Tell me something. Let's be honest. Let's, let's be honest. No let's be honest. So, the, so, so, let's so Terrence real. Crawford isn't going to be great. Is that what you're trying to tell me, Christiana? Oh. But, hey, that doesn't make I'm with Blue, man. It, 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 it meant to us, too. Hey, I just, I just want to say this. I just want to say this. If Canelo for Bud, right? Who's got more to win? Canelo. Bud. 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 All day it's is Canelo. Bud. Canelo. It's has not more Canelo. No. Yes, it's not Canelo. 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 No. Because at the end of the day, think about it, bro. Canelo wins. That's great. Canelo wins. You know what? Half of his fans going to sit there and say? Well, ha- well, you know, half of He's too fans. small. He, he, it was Bud with some bullshit. How you gonna be this one? Bud was on some. Y'all know it is because you got the Bud haters on the of the break. So I don't go- hate Bud. I'm a Bud. What I'm saying is, is that imagine if Canelo lose to Bud. Look how much that shit would take a hit. Okay, you lose to B Mac. Let me let me explain why that makes no sense to me. But so don't make no sense. Oh, oh, I, Hall of Famers, bro. He's losing the Hall of Famers. I I I'll I, I tell you why. Because no. this is the, the thing is is that if Bud come up from one forty seven to beat your ass at one sixty eight. That's that's not as bad. That's, that's not as bad as getting beat by nobody. And he lived through that. Name. He hasn't gotten beat by nobody. Let me finish. Let me finish the statement because you cut me off right there. What I was saying by nobody is there was 
when you look at him fighting Bevo, the way Vegas odds had, the way everybody was talking on, on the internet, there were a lot of channels saying, I don't even really know who this Bevo dude is, is like that. So Bevo was relatively uh, unknown. You lose to Tevin Crawford. Hit, hit me up. You lose to Tevin Crawford after that ass whipping he just put on. After that ass whipping he just put on Errol Spence, a walking Hall of Famer, a three division lineal champion. Every division that man been in, he been lineal. So when it come down to resume and everything, that shit right there trumps everything because the most the boxing peers, the boxing peers say that. The best belt or or the one that really really matters is the lineal championship because you just coming from a line of the man who beat the man who beat the man who beat the man that's the way it's supposed to be so this you dude to mention two time undisputed also I see. yeah and he's also two time undisputed so if you lose to terence crawford that to me is not bad as bad as you being a great canelo alvarez and you just got dominated like that with Dimitri Bivol. Let, let me, 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 let me give it because I'm gonna let my man Big J come in and cook. Let me say this one thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Imagine if Bernard Hopkins would have let motherfucking Oscar De La Hoya and Felix Trinidad come up in this motherfucking weight clash and motherfucking beat his ass. Let's go. Imagine what you would think Let's right go. now if Bernard would have let Oscar De La Hoya and Flo and fucking Felix because the same thing with Felix did. He was winning and he went division after division, kicking ass and kicking ass and kicking ass. And he came up that motherfucker and he for Bernard and Bernard put the hammer to that bam. Yep. Now you imagine how with Bernard's career. And his legacy would be right now if he would have let Felix come up and whoop his ass. That ain't the time, B man. So we oh, don't come up with oh, legacy. Oh, 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 oh my God! Uh, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wow! Oh, that was different. No, that's not the same thing. <laughs> that's the same thing. <laughs> that's the same thing. Oh, that was different. You're diminishing more than half of Terrence Crawford's accomplishments. I knew that. I'm not dimension. I'm not doing what you mean. Felix Trinidad. He's a two division undisputed undisputed fighter. He's a walking a walking Hall of Famer. The only dude in all boxing and boxing oh. history that ever accomplished that. He's also a three division lineal champion. Every every division that nigga fought in, he been lineal. Even if Trinidad was a walking Hall of Famer too, bro. Even no, no, you he just, didn't, he just didn't go get his pants, bro. When he went in that ring to fight Bernard Hawkins, so he said Trinidad was a Hall of Famer. Stop so he got the same thing. No, no, we're not gonna play that game. We're not what gonna you play, mean that. play no. There's no game there. We talk about two Hall of Famers. We talking about Oscar De La Hoya, and we talking about Felix Trinidad. I'm talking about two Hall of Famers that 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 Bernard Hopkins got on his resume right now. Two Hall of Famers. We ain't talking about no this, that, and the other. These guys was Hall of Famers before they stepped into that ring to fight Bernard. They was going to the Hall of Fame whether they win or lose against Bernard. If they sat there and went into that ring, got up in there, and went into Bernard's division like they did, and they beat Bernard's ass, you can't sit here and tell me that Bernard's motherfucking le legacy wouldn't have took a hit right now. It bro, would. like, bro, it bro, would we, me and you both know we Sugar Ray Leonard fans, but I don't think that Sugar Ray beating Hagler hurt Hagler's legacy. That boy still gets, gets still okay, recognized okay. as being one of the best. Let me ask you this, though, Fresh. Let me ask you this. So, Let me ask you this. What about when Sugar Ray Leonard beat Danny Lalonde, though, from Welterweight? He moved all the way up. Daniel yeah, but I mean, you, yeah, yo, you can't compare the lawn to Hagler and them dudes, bro. Like, I mean, that's that's. I mean, I ain't even got an answer for that. It's not even the same, bro. Like, it, now, now, now. I know you no, just didn't. I know you didn't. No, no, if Lalon, if Lalon had that Hagler uh, accolade, then that would be different. 
I would say maybe maybe it could be a little different. But we talking about Hall of Famers facing Hall of Famers, bro. Right, like, but we we, we talking bro. about Leonard and Hagler was already talked about fighting though, fresh. And then on top of that, and then we're on top of that, about, remember, Leonard, Leonard was all for talking about years. Aaron Pryor coming up there mm-hmm. to fight, goddamn. Uh, but, but listen, we talking about Leonard being all for a few years, bro, and facing the boogeyman with a with a fucked up eye that could have potentially went. Blind if, if Hagler was able to put them hands but on when it came, but when it came to weight, they was already there. Okay. But, but that, what about the time off? He wasn't he off for two years or whatever? I mean, that's a great accomplishment. We know what, what, what that's all about. But, but Leonard, it, didn't hurt, it didn't hurt Hagler's legacy, though. That's what I'm saying. It's like, it's not like, it's not like, it's not like, but I mean, it's not like you know, would lose to some average dude, bro. It's like, you know what I'm saying? He ain't lose. Right. He ain't lose no 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 price when he lost to Mayweather. He lost to the best at the time. So, and if so he was fresh, to lose to, yeah. Let me, say, let me ask you this, fresh, and then I gotta let my man Jason. I'm gonna let my man a uh, uh, big Jason say what he gotta say. Yeah. I gave you one scenario that was perfect. You jumped What's over there and answered my scenario with another scenario that I had nothing to do with what I just said. Okay. What was it? My scenario was. My question was. Well, Hagler's was Hagler's. I mean, I'm not Hagler. Well, Bernard Hopkins legacy had took a hit. Took a hit if he lost to De La Hoya. If he lost to De La Hoya in Trinidad, especially Trinidad, when Trinidad was coming up the way he was coming up. Okay. Trinidad was undefeated. Okay. He was undefeated, was right? Undefeated and beaten. I mean, he was on a streak from whooping everybody's ass row after row after row after row. Okay, based on what you just said, based on what you just said, no. You just said what the man accomplished. So so Bernard would have lost to somebody who wasn't fucking around. You just you just said what he accomplished. I the guess the best. you think when he came up there and won that that he wouldn't have took a hit. No, why would why would Bernard Hopkins have taken a hit? Why he didn't he didn't take that hit when he lost to Joe Kalzaki? Who the fuck who, who would Joe who, who Joe Kalzaki was at the time Bernard Hopkins fought him? Bro, I'm t- thank you, Joe Kalzaki. Wasn't Joe Kalzaki in the same weight class? Y'all, 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 y'all going, y'all, 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 y'all misinterpreting what exactly is going on. I'm putting on a guy that's coming, and I love Bud. I, I want Bud to have a fight. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, well, like, <laughs> y'all, got y'all, Bud, y'all got y'all Bud buddyism going on. No, we just, we, I'm speaking rationally, bro. When you lose to the much, much more accomplished guy and the no, boxer, about even taking the fight. Like that regardless of what weight class, what weight class happens. We were right, talking about making the fight, I mean. Everybody's career took a hit after they lost to Evander Holyfield. How many, yeah. how many ways did Holyfield go up before he, before he, he got the Mike Tyson fight? We was talking about we was talking about making it's the money. same thing, B Mac. It's the same question you asking. What anybody's career take a hit because we all can re, we all can can relate to Evander Holyfield moving up and then be if all that Holyfield moving up what? Okay, let's take Pacquiao. Let's take let's say Pacquiao and Floyd were at four at the time. We all wanted them to fight with Pacquiao coming from them low ways, and he Nobody, beat Floyd. Floyd this the game. problem. This is the problem we're saying. All them fights that y'all talking about, everybody wanted to see them motherfuckers. Nobody was talking about Bud versus Canelo until after when he beat uh, uh, Earl Spence, and then he had no opponents. Who was calling B Mac? Who was calling for? Uh, who was calling for? Bernard Hopkins versus Joe Calzaki. Right. That at part. the time at the time they fought. Yeah. Who was calling for that fight? Everybody at the before time that they fought. No. Before they fought. Who, no, I, at the time that they fought. Who was who else was he gonna fight? Bernard was what, 40 fucking years old? Exactly. We ain't talking about a fucking uh, early contender Bernard. We talking about a 40-year-old fucking Bernard Hopkins. Thank you. That had the you fucking mean, belt. That 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 already had did some shit that you you know didn't think could be, could, could be done at the time. But so who's older? 40. Who's older, Bud or Canelo? Bud. Bud. And who got to go up and wait, Bud or Canelo? Bud. Okay. Who's the fight easier for? What you mean? Who who the fight make? You said the make. Who would, who, who would be more comfortable in that fight? Canelo. According to the woman. 
Okay. Canelo. Okay. Okay. And that's my point. Okay. If See, you lose, guys. if you lose, who's 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 leg is he gonna take more of a hit? Canelo. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Man, that's all. legacy. But I'm sorry, no, he takes more. But y'all, what y'all are trying to say is that Canelo, like his shit, would be tarnished. He wouldn't be in the Hall of Fame. Like niggas would be like, he's a bum. No, no he would have lost that. to the best. Not if he's considered that. the best, he would have lost to what maybe the second best or somebody who who had been better than him. And we talking about pound for pound, right? Pound for pound mean performing at the skill level, no matter what weight class you go up to. I'll leave that to AC. So is Canelo, that is Canelo a duck? <laughs> what happened? He got Canelo duck sauce Canelo in his bag. He got duck sauce in his bag. You say he got duck sauce on his bag. So my thing in is, bag, that yeah. if he got duck sauce in his he bag, then, and then Boyd comes out there and whoop his ass, just like that, like you just said, right? Yeah. Like you gonna put more tarnishment on this motherfucking bro? <laughs> if, 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 if he lost to Charlo, listen, if he lost to Charlo, that... go ahead, Fistiana, go ahead. How can you duck someone that's two weight divisions behind you? That's just like saying that that if Tank sit there and say, Bud, let's fight, and Bud say no, that, that Bud is ducking Tank. Okay, so if he would have lost, to your point, B Mac, if he would have lost to Charlo, Yes, his shit would have been tarnished. I think though, and no matter what, Charlo was undefeated. No, he he took one L. He took one L against uh, what's that boy? But yeah, I would think so it would have hurt him more than to lose to Bud. And Charlo had to go up two way classes. Bud goes up two classes to fight Canelo, and he loses. Canelo's Canelo's record is better than Bud's. It's going to be tarnished. Period. It just is. Why? No, it because would be Bud. It would be Bud because Bud would have took his first loss, and he's daring to be great. They, you see, that's the right there. That right there is the problem right there. Blow, blow with your argument. Daring to be great. His legacy wasn't tarnished. Matter of fact, his legacy was enhanced because he went up to fight Bevo. Thank you. He cried. He cried after. Oh, or was it to say? Oh, it was this. To Canelo, let's keep it real. Come on, man. Let's keep it I'm saying, 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 i am saying i because now, like, 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 Fistiana say, you got David Morrell. They talk about nigga. You scared of motherfucker Morrell? Morrell got fucking what ten fights, right? And they say you said that. They see you said that. Oh, I, I, I no, 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 no. I never said that. I said Morrell doesn't. Do oh my god! Who you think they was, was talking about? Know. You got it. Y'all got it twisted. I never no, said people, that. Don't people sit around here and say Morel need to get that smoke, right? No, I'm not. I was never one of them. Ask, you can ask. But, but that's what I'm saying. Ask. Hey, see, I'm saying that you made the point. point. And I'm being, you I'm not trying to be No, you made the point. Hey, see, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you oh. made that point. That people want to sit right. back just like motherfucker Madroff. Get over here and he only he had that point. Huh? No, that you, you, you won honey with that. But I, I never felt that Morel was worthy of a fight with Benavidez or fucking... I didn't Kamala. say that you was, because you didn't say that. I'm saying that you made the point about people, yeah. the other fans, and this yeah. is exactly what I'm saying. The other yeah, fans are even saying about Morrell. Oh, yeah. You nigga Canelo, you ducking Morrell. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with... I, I agree. That's that, that's that goofy shit in boxing, but what I'm saying to you, B, what I'm trying to say, B-Mac, is simple. When you... When you look, when you really, really look at the situation, 
You got one fighter who who has far more accolades, just the appearance because the guy is smaller than you or whatever, whatever, you know, and and moved up all of that weight. Would your career uh, take a hit? Not not considering Terence Crawford, maybe Monster anyway, if that was even physically possible, then yeah, your, your your shit would take a hit. Like, how the fuck did that dude come from that little ass weight class and come up and beat your ass like this? And he and with his age and the way Canelo. With the way the Canelo uh, fan base and market uh, marketing machine works behind them, give it six to eight months, people ain't people ain't gonna be talking about that no more. They gonna be talking about what's Canelo's next big fight. Okay, no. let me let me answer this one, and I'm gonna let Fiziana go here, whatever. Do let me let you do. Answer this. Just answer this full force. Y'all think the Canelo gonna get credit beating Bud? From the boxing purists, yes, because you beat. Nah, you, that, 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 don't, 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 don't try to minimize it. I'm, I'm not talking about no boxing purists. We talking about this is this is the overall credit, bro. Just the overall credit. You know what I'm saying? Because all the motherfuckers who do say that bud I mean, that he ducking people, right? All, all all the motherfuckers. If he went and fought bud and beat him, would you think he would he get credit? Yep, because you got a whole aerosexual market that's going to troll like a motherfucker. Come on. Uh, <laughs> Good answer, AC. And you got a whole motherfucking Canelo say that that ain't shit. We knew Bud wasn't shit. That's why he didn't motherfucking rematch Earl. That whole Earl sexual shit going shit on Bud and shit on Canelo all the same time. Thank nah, you. the aerosexual. Nah, they're they not gonna. They're not bud. gonna ride with Bud. They let that man know he bullshit right now. They are not gonna shit on Canelo if Canelo beat Bud. They gonna. Yes, they they we told y'all, yeah, yeah, back that bum ass dude, Terrence Crawford. We told yep. y'all, no way he was ever gonna beat Canelo. Blah blah blah. Yeah. blah. That's silly Canelo fans. That's silly Mexico. Mexico. I just said the same thing I just said. And then they go see the shit like John Ryder. John Ryder put up a better performance, and that's just the troll factor of it. But if Canelo, okay. lost, if Canelo, if if Canelo lost, they're gonna say, "Oh, there's snack, there's snack again." But cheated. They're gonna make as many excuses as they made for for Errol Spence with Canelo. And this way, people are gonna try to bring Victor Conte back on a bullshit channel and shit like that to try to get him to admit that. Something in in the snack that Bud gets allows him to to go up all of those divisions to beat Canelo Alvarez. Bud is not going to get Bud is not going to get any credit for beating Canelo Alvarez. That is a fact. Okay. He, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't stay in the pocket. He didn't want to fight face to face like a Mexican. He didn't want to fight like a Mexican straight up. He was moving around too much. He was Canelo. Here, let me just land the plane. Here. He is not getting credit. For beating okay. Errol Spence with all the excuses that they made, that's an absolute fact that's telling you he okay. didn't get credit for beating Errol Spence. Let me just ask you this question, please. Can I get this question in for you? Can I Go get ahead. this question in, AC? Go ahead. Okay. If Jack Penny was to move up, move up and fight Terrence Crawford and beat the brakes off of Terrence Crawford, what would what would be the what would be the masses? What what would the masses say? If Devin Haney moves up and beats the brakes off of Terrence Crawford, and beats the brakes off of Terrence Crawford, what would the masses say? Well, I believe AC is hesitant because he knows that's not going to be possible. As much as he loves Devin, that's what that's where I'm trying to. This is where I'm trying to. I'm trying to formulate something that actually makes sense and something that. If if I think I would hear it, um, oh, so I could so I could probably say uh, you'll you'll hear all the haters come out and say, yeah, this is why Bud ducked the rematch because uh, Devin just exposed Terrence Crawford, so we all knew the rematch wouldn't have happened, and then it would switch to whereas everything Espinosa said about the rematch would would be irrelevant, and then they would say. Bud ducked the rematch because he knew he wasn't going to win at a fair weight class. Look at what Dev just did to him. Okay, would Terrence Crawford's legacy be tarnished 
Oh, slightly because Devin Haney moved up and beat him. Slightly? At at where where he's at where he's at right now, his legacy? No. His image, oh, okay. yes. His image, right. yes. His legacy, no, because that already hey, happened. Hey, hey, can I jump in right quick on y'all, man, for real? Like, like cause cause I, I know we're talking. Talking. I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got for the I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sis. You and B Mac on that bullshit. I got. I got to call you out. Let me listen. Listen for you. You and B Mac, sis. I'm talking to my big bro. My big bro. My big sis. Check this out. We in a warrior sport, right? This is called warrior sports. This is the sport that. Okay. Canelo got his fans. Bud got his fans, right? Both of these guys are, are accomplished fighters. They are accomplished. They accomplish a lot in this sport. They at that point of their career, they 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 legacy is sealed. So all that take, you know, say tarnishing and all that stuff, that don't even matter because they legacy is sealed. My thing is this: Canelo okay. for his own right, you know what I'm saying? Because his fans still think with two losses, he, they still think he's the top pound for pound fighter. To him, my him as a warrior to say, okay, if Bud challenges me, shit, I'ma show him, you know what I'm saying, that I am that dude. You know what I'm saying? I am that guy. He should he should be honored to take on that fight with uh, some, uh, somebody like Bud. Y'all saying that he shouldn't fight him because if he ain't gonna get no credit if he beat Bud. Yes, the fuck he will get credit if he beat Bud. Yes, he will get credit. He yes, he will get credit. He will he get all the credit. Now, now, hold up. First, first of all, let me let me correct you on something. Let me let me correct you on something since you called me out there. I did not want to say that he Come should on. not fight Bud. I didn't say what that. What you saying, B Mac? Huh? That's basically what you're saying, B Mac. No, you I'm saying. just saying I'm 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 giving you the, the reason what uh, maybe a reason why he did not fighting Bud. I didn't say, well, he shouldn't oh. fight Bud. But that's I don't know why he not he he made a decision to not fight Bud. I have no idea, no not not one. But I was just saying that to me maybe that's why he didn't want to fight Bud because at the end of the day, fighting Bud gonna fuck your shit up. B Mac, they legacy is sealed. B Mac, B Mac, you gotta I, think I, I, Canelo I, I, I and Bud legacy is sealed. So I, 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 whatever I, I agree. Now, Canelo immediately. Canelo immediately took a loss against a relative unknown in B-Ball and still stayed on the pound for pound list. That yeah. looks I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you one. So, comment. so if Canelo was gonna lose the bud, let me ask you this: let me Would show he you lose? Wouldn't his stock go down just a little bit? No. Let me, let me show you no. one. Let me get one comment, man. No, Yo, we talking about two dudes that we talking about two dudes that are at the twilight of their careers. They could retire at any point. They could retire after that fight and be and, done. And so what's going to hurt? Let me, let me, let me, let me, I, I think it would go down a little bit because people would say that he was ducking him, and that's what gets for ducking him. Then he finally decided to fight. I don't. I don't, I don't think this so is, because I don't. Look, think nah, this is. I no, no, no. I'm gonna let you cook. I, I was just saying. I wanted to. This is. This is part of my reason. It's something that did, did Chick said that I just ran across, and I'm like, this is what my thought process is. Canelo isn't considered the best Mexican boxer by Mexican no, boxing fans. Julio oh, yeah. says that Chavez, oh, Eric Morales, Marco yeah. Turner, Barrera, Facts. Lopez, Salvador Sanchez, right? That's all 100% true. Exactly, right? Exactly. I agree with that. You try his legacy as far as the Hall of Fame and all that. That's a minute. Right. He ain't yeah. thinking about that. He thinking about this. So, so you saying. He thinking oh, about I get, this. I get that, I get that B-Mac. This is what he saying, thinking about. Beating somebody like Terrence Crawford. Go ahead and put it up, so, B-Mac. I, I know saying, you about to play video. You saying beating somebody like Terrence Crawford <laughs> won't be a, a, a notch on his belt. That's Terrence no. Crawford. No. We talk about number one pound for pound fighter not, in the fucking world. Not saying right. that. I said you, you get you you get Put it you, up, you, man. you get that, but you're not gonna get the same if you lose. No, it's not. What, what, what I'm trying to say is the person who 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 doesn't actually get the credit because he doesn't get credit for beating any of the opponents. That's why he keeps trying to raise the ceiling the way he's trying to raise the ceiling and push the push the envelope. Is Terrence Crawford, B Mac? You know that. You know Man, that I'm hearing y'all, but you're not hearing, you're not listening to the motherfucker Julio Cesar Chavez and the Eric Morales and being said like Canelo, why are you sitting back fighting motherfucking Amir Khan? 
We don't like that shit. That's so, not what we do. That's no, nah, nah, that talk, is true. Yeah, is you talk about true. the historical part of Mexican boxing with they got. Yeah. They don't like that shit. That they, they don't like the fights against Amir Khan and I shit agree, like that. I agree. I be mad. He's That's, not fighting for our type of legacy that we talking about. That's but therefore, if we were to that, that if let's we were to be barred, then they would definitely, they would definitely not tell, say, oh, um, you, you just beat up this little dude. They not gonna what say you, that. They gonna be like Arriba Canelo, uh, Arriba. Right, 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 right. That's gonna be exactly. That's gonna be that's what y'all think, bro. No, I'm telling you because it makes the most sense. Hold on, hold on. Check this out, AC. Check up. Be mad. Check this out. That's what I'm saying. That should be more the reason why. You know, hold on, hold on. That should be more the reason why he should be knocking off every goddamn top five. He should go David Benavidez, Terrence Crawford, whoever wants to smoke. He should be doing that because those are the guys though that you just named. The guys that you just named. They the guys that you know what I'm saying that that that's in the top of that goddamn echelon. So the best people in his generation, like right now, he should be knocking them off. That's like they also took They also They never forged the great legends, and their and their legacy was in tarnished from taking L's. They still legends. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. They didn't fight motherfucking nobody two or three weight classes below. But it doesn't matter. It does matter to them, bro. Okay, if you lose, look, y'all, y'all, y'all talking about the outcome if he win. What's the outcome if you lose? If he lose, I decided that fighter decided to go up those two weight classes. I made, oh I made that decision. Who called that? Wait, wait, wait. Here's here's the reality of it. Who called? Who was initially calling out who? Bud Crawford. That Hello, hold on, Fifty Adams. Let me just let me let you explain. Let me explain real fast so you can understand. Let me just land this so you can understand. Bud Crawford called Canelo. He put it out. Tony Idol AC because it doesn't matter uh, about who called out who. It that, none of that shit matters. If they fight, they fight. None of that other bullshit in the, in the beginning matters. If the lower guy goes up. Four, three, two way divisions and beat this dude's ass. I'm sorry, but his it's gonna get tarnished. It just is. The big guy lost to the little guy. That's just he him. lost to the best guy in the world. Who is the little guy? You're not. AC, like I said, if Dana, Devin Haney moves up and beats the brakes off of Terrence Crawford. What are people gonna say? That's different. Haney's not the best dude in the world. He's not the best in the world. Okay, so he's the other. Oh, that was different. Oh, no, 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 no. If we're going to say something like that, we got to put somebody that has a possibility of doing the same thing as Terrence Crawford, going up and beating him. Devin Haney is not number one pound That's why, 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 that's why I named Devin Haney against Terrence Crawford. But, but he's, 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 he's not number one pound for pound. He's not number one pound for pound. He's number one pound for pound. Terrence Crawford is considered by many the number one pound fighter. Yo, bro. You don't matter. Okay. Let's take your thing then. Let's just say If Monster Inaway comes up and fights Tank and knocks Tank the fuck out, what you going to say? If he come not take the fuck out, she he not take the fuck out. He's, he's, the 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 fuck out. Fight. he's a great ass fighter. He's a great <laughs> ass fighter. Hey, look, I, he's we great ass fighter. Hey, 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 hold on, we got two people. We got two Listen, people that slid in the say. back door, man. I gotta let I gotta let him cook, man. I got my man L Boogie, man, straight out of Shot Town. I know he got something to say. I love you, Big Sue. L Boogie, talk to me, man. You're back on the Mac Mob. B. Millie the Don. You can hear me, bro? Yes, sir. I can hear you, my brother. Yes, sir. One love, man. Peace and respect to you, soldier. One love to you, my brother. I appreciate you, man, all the time. Yes, sir. What's happening? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How about yourself? I'm all good, my brother. I'm all good. Yeah. I want to say one love and you know, peace and respect to all my fellow comrades on this chat, <laughs> on this panel. Yes, sir. Yeah, good. One yes, love, sir. my guy. Cook, cook, cook. But uh, but yeah, B Mac. Um, 
you know, I think that's a good move um, for Bud to align itself, you know, with the Sheik over there because we know the Sheik got the money, and we know he a, and we know he a boxing fan, and I think the Sheik want to put on the best fighting the best, which is what's important. And which is what boxing is about, and that's what grow the sport and keep it strong. When the right fighters align up, that's when the the big bag can be made. So Bud, a free agent, he ain't bound by no contract or no one. True. So if the sheep wanna put Bud against the best, he's gonna put up the money. That's what we need. You know, that's what we need. That's what we want. And and, and 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 you know, fries, boots. Man, we'd have been over this so many times. Please, everybody, stop talking about boots, man. Be be I the first one be, to mention that dude today. Be be <laughs> before Bud, before Bud for Avenesia, they tried to get boots first before Avenesia. That's when that's when Boots' father, Bose, he say, we loyal to Showtime. We can't go over there with BLK. Bose, he should have got with Steven Espinosa and say, look, we got the biggest opportunity of our life in front of us right now. Please go and work with these guys and get this fight made. And it could have been Bud and Boots instead of Avanesia and Bud. So let's knock it off with Boots. His father didn't push the button. So kill that. Kill us, kill that. Stop saying that silly stuff. He had the opportunity to, 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 to the greatest opportunity of his lifetime, and he went past. It. So kill that with him. Now, like I say, back to the sheep and bug, you know, that's what it is, you know. So what's going on with Fondora, uh, B. Millie? It, what, what, he, what he's saying, his nose broke now, he can't compete. Until nose, a certain time? Yeah, nose broke, suspended till September, man, 27th, and um, he probably won't get back in the ring until December. But 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 he possibly can come back in May if he clear? I mean, they got a clear suspension and so on and so forth, but he got to have medicals to be able to do that. So, well, look, okay, okay. Okay, WBO, go on, take that belt from front door, put him in recess. Um, um, let him take care of himself, healed up, and take care of himself. And then WBC do the same thing. And Bud come on up here and, 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 and fight for that W uh that vacant WBO and, 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 and somebody who um so so who in line for the WBC? But the WBC already got Jamel Charlo's a champion recess. Um well, boy, you come up and fight for the WBO uh, vacant title, man. You well, know what I'm yeah, saying? Got the vacant title, and then you can also what they talking about dealing with the Sheik is that the Sheik is talking about fighting uh, him fighting Maginot. Okay. Oh, okay. Maginot is the WBA 154 pound champion. Oh, so so, so if we got another him, unification here. There you go. Well, that's what it is, then. If it ain't nobody else. <laughs> well, what are you supposed to do? That's what we've been cooking on already. If you don't man. got a Jamil, you don't got a Zoo, you don't got a Fundor, you don't got a, a Lubin Harrison, you don't got a whoever else, that's what it is then. That's what it is then. Now, 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 I need a one-on-one -on -one with the Queen because oh, I shit. heard something. I saw something in the chat. You know, the Queen said she had some good smoke for me. So, I need to speak one-on-one -on -one with the Queen, B. Millie. Can you... Spend me that time, my brother. I'm gonna give you a Go ahead, do your thing. Yes, sir. Uh, hey, how you doing, Queen Fistiana? I'm, I'm, I'm doing good, El Boogie. Your communication is good today. Let's go. Yes, all right. yes. All right. This is oh, my up, we gotta let the Archbishop cook. Hey, we gotta let it's the Archbishop just, cook, Boogie. It's uh, hold on. This ain't just for you, but this okay. is also for AC. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if you if you got that kind of smoke, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Let me my, let my man WCS come in here and, oh, yeah, and get his piece off. And then I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all get back to it. If y'all got it like that, let me let my man WC 
S. That's World Combat Sports. He's on deck. Y'all make sure I'm showing him some love, man. Hit his like and subscribe, man. WC, WCS, OG, you're back on with the Mac Ma. Talk to me, fam. Shout out to the M A C K M O B B B in the building. <laughs> What's good, know. everybody else on the panel, man? Salute to you, man. Y'all definitely up here. One little, 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 Yes, I don't sir. think I ever heard Fistiana get out of have her her tone that that high. So <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was saying, is that what? <laughs> she used to be calm about the smoke. You know what I'm saying? They yes, got sir. the queen on ten in here, WCN. Yes, man. sir. But um, all the only thing I gotta say, you know, if the if the sheik wanna intervene to assist Crawford, that means he's seen something from the outside looking in on how he was being blackballed. You know what I'm saying? Like sorry. They were they was busy up there trying to say that PBC was going to insert Spence into the equation and pretty much stop Crawford from you know fighting for the titles. But the Sheik has his own freaking rules, man. You know their budget is deep, so if he want to come over here and provide Crawford with a fight with Madrimov, I like it. People may not really look at Madrimov as 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 a big name, but at this point, Crawford is on, at the at the back end of his career, 37 this year in September. Yeah, fight for the unification two for one special, man. I like it. Yes, sir. I like it. Real talk. You know yes, sir. I mean? Because the, the other two titles, sure enough, we may get Terrence Crawford, he should pick up those two titles if that materialize. Then we got some interesting fights because he called out Jamel Charlo when he was undisputed. He didn't want to entertain him. So now whoever's the WBC and the IBF at that time we can work it out you know what i'm saying i like it salute to um turk alashik man for stepping on here to the u.s footprint possibly and getting crawford that fight yes sir yes sir hey hey hey, hey um wcs man i got a question for you though real quick um if the sheik does make that fight we could all i mean will he invade usa that's that's that that's the you know i guess the um premise of what he's trying to do come here and vague usa do you think that fight gonna take place man i'm thinking vegas or you know you you would think he's gonna try to do it big though right yeah um but he really don't need to do it big just think about the language that they use on the ytc they always talk about pay-per-view numbers right mm -hmm. but when, when ala sheik does fight cards do we talk about pay-per-view numbers nope. no because they over there the arena's not full so if you're talking about him coming over here doing it big, I don't think that man think of it like this. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Why should he mm -hmm. do it in Vegas? Mm. That dude is bigger than Vegas. I mean, real That's talk. True. This dude got true. a lot of money, man. So, yeah. you know, from what I heard, it might be in Omaha. You know what I'm saying? It might right. be. I don't know. But he don't have to do it in Vegas because they're not really looking for the, the, uh, the pay-per-view back end of right. sales and all that. You know what I'm saying? Because that arena over there in Saudi Arabia is not full at all. Mm -hmm. And we ain't up here talking about what numbers they did in those fights. It's just That's like, right. yeah, the Sheik got the, the pockets for it. And mm -hmm. he's coming over here to the U.S. I don't consider it an invasion unless he take down one of the top promoters. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much the sign he gave me when he's helping Crawford out with PBC, from PBC. That's what I got from it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's interesting, man, because I thought maybe he'd try to do a big man, but you know, that's the interesting point that you say. Like he don't give a he don't give a damn about that. You need numbers and so on and so forth. He damn royalty, sure don't give man. about B Mac. You know huh? royalty, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. He he do it he do it just cause like I said, he, he, it's like a hobby to him, man. Dropping a he, bucket. He wanna be the dudes uh behind the scenes when you say who made it possible. For these historic fights he wants it to be his name you, you feel what i'm saying maybe he's got that type of ego but i i just look at it as he's more interested in making history like fuck all the bullshit i see the sheik as just being a fan of boxing he just want to see you know the great be the greats yeah and that creates history yeah no 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 i understand that i'm just saying but that's just how i feel about it because the way he moves is when he moves casual, but he also he also defends himself because when because when Tank told him 
that he wanted to Ferrari. He said, nigga, I'll send you some boxing gloves. That let me yeah. know his personality and his mental game. He yeah. said, I'm with the smoke, too. That's I'm a real thing. individual, too. You can't talk to me like that. So I can come back with that. That, 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 that you know, the... The the bullshit. I can I can deliver bullshit too. If you want to deliver bullshit, you let that nigga know this shit is which is which is one hundred percent fact right there, Blue. He just let him know. Listen, I'm about business, nigga. Fuck this stupid shit you playing. I'm not PDC. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one of them. One of them clowns over there. Now, now, now let me and the queen get back to it. Where you at? (laughs) Hold on, hold on. on. Look, hey, WC, WCS. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what you laughing for me, man? <laughs> yeah, man. I, I come on your panel all the time, bro. And I say nothing but love to you, my guy. I mean, did I rub you the wrong way or something? What you mean? Oh, well, you know, sometimes you don't give me no shout out, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling kind of moist right now. <laughs> I got you, WCS. I got you, WCS. I got you, I got you, WCS. I you, I got 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 I I I haven't been ignoring you, bro, at, at all. I haven't been ignoring you. You know, I know now. You know what I'm saying? I, I okay, for sure, for sure, for sure. 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 I appreciate yeah, you. you. Thank you, thank you, concert. I had to be fucked though. He said, "You, what do I do? I do something." Come on, you know what it is with us, nigga. We keep the one hundred, nigga. Man, we man, he didn't put us in time out, man. Time out, man. We got time out, man. I feel it. I ain't even mad, gang. We good, right? You straight? I need that laugh. I need that laugh. Hey, it ain't nothing but love. That's real shit. Ain't nothing but love. That's real shit. I just thought I'd throw it out there. And I ain't serious about what I said. Like that, but I just wanted to put it out there because you know I was like, damn, this ain't gonna see, this ain't gonna show me some love for what? You know what I'm saying? I didn't see you, bro. I'm on your shit, nigga. That's how you love. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for what you do, WCS. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate what you do, and I like I like how you handle yourself. And how you conduct yourself on, and, you know, when, when you do what you do. So that's all. One love, man. At, at the end of the day, man. W, the next time WCS go live, he gonna do this to Blue. I didn't say. Huh? Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. <laughs> Blue, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you. This say you do what I tell you to do. Therefore, shut the fuck. Don't say that. Don't speak to me. Don't look at me. Next time, next time you go to WC's channel, just <laughs> rinse yourself up, bro. <laughs> 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 you feel me? I'm, a, I'm about to rinse myself up. Hell yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> you, talking about, you talking about me with a wrench? You just start coming over there. I know you can't be talking about me wrenching you up. Huh? Uh, no, no, I wasn't I thought you were like talking about that, but I, I do be fucking with you, though, fam. I get on there and say what's up to everybody and oh, shit for like sure, that, though. Sure. Oh, I show no but love, my nigga. Oh, no but love and respect. That don't let me laugh, man. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, man. Blue Blue wanted to get that, man. Fuck that, man. Fuck that shit, El Boogie. WCS. Uh, El Boogie and the Queen. <laughs> El Boogie and the Queen. Acknowledge <laughs> me, <laughs> God damn it. I ain't mad. <laughs> hey, hey, look, that's shit. shit, nigga. Oh, man, go ahead, El Boogie. You, I know you had a question for the queen, man. Let's go. Let's go, El Boogie Communications. Be Mac. Yeah, take me. Queen. Queen. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Sir. So, so let me ask you real quick, Queen. Be <laughs> Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, these these dudes is frauds, man. <laughs> so, so what's up? So what's the smoke you got for me, Queen? What's going on? Oh, this is the smoke. This is the smoke I got. So, like, I've been kind of incognito over the past six months, maybe four, four to six months, whatever. And um, 
but I sometimes hey. I'm in the chat. I mean, I always listen to feedback. Oh, is that Ken? who said the A? Who said that? I did. It's been about eight. It's been about eight. About eight. Okay. Damn, okay. <laughs> let, her, let her talk, man. Don't do it in a room. You've been a little incognito. But first, let me say, WCS, I completely agree exactly what you say. If the Turkish want to want to sit there and 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 bring it and and bring these fights together and bring this money together for them to fight, I completely agree. Let's do it. Okay. L Boogie and AC. This is what I noticed on VMAX panels <clears throat> lately. <laughs> oh, shit. What the? Nigga, she had to clear her throat, time, nigga. Every time we talking about something, like whatever VMAX uh, uh, is focused on for the day or the night or whenever, you know, he has his, uh, his lives, somehow, some way, one of y'all, AC or L Boogie, somehow y'all always find a way to bring up Devin Haney. And I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, she brought up Devin Haney. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo. Okay, you said you said we find a way to bring up Haney. You trying to figure out what? Y'all find Can't a way to hold y'all. She got y'all dead to rights. And you, <laughs> you, and, and you say, and you say, you trying to figure out what, Queen? I'm trying to figure out what is the deal with y'all and Devin Haney. Someone got to tell me something because y'all always bring this nigga up and this dude up. And I'm trying uh -oh. to figure out why. why okay, let's. Topic of conversation. But somehow, Devin Haney ends up being the topic of conversation. So can y'all get that right quick? Okay, let, let, me, let me explain. They, this they had, they, are you trying to let, say they're Haney sexuals? Let, let me explain this, Queen. Now, when we bring up Haney, <laughs> the, 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 <laughs> now, can you hear me, Queen? We <laughs> live it, can, you can good, you hear Okay. Now, now, now the times we bring up Devin Haney, we may be into a conversation with B Mac about something that's relevant or related to Devin Haney. So we'll bring Haney in as an example to B Mac. And then B Mac have a rebuttal for us because B Mac okay. favor Shakur more than a Devin Haney and we favoring Devin Haney because saying, got, the facts is behind Devin Haney. But he, 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 he talking to talk and he walking to walk. We could be talking about Jerry Anderson in the heavyweights, and y'all will bring us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jam. They try to put that shit on me. Jam, for real, for real. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. thank you, Cam. No, no, no. 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 We talking about. Hey, we talking about. They stand about. on their ten toes about that shit, though. They stand on their ten toes about that but shit. We talking about the ball and Baturbiev and light heavyweight for undisputed. They be like, but listen, the same thing happened with Devin Haney. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, we see, go, we see, see talk about tomorrow's a chick. They're gonna be like, "Yeah, Devin Haney gonna clips uh Bud's uh, legacy." <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, now, B Mac, B Mac wasn't like giving. Now, now B Mac wasn't giving Devin all his props. B Mac <laughs> say that Bill, Bill is out here capping. Which I which I don't I don't think Bill capping, but Bill just doing the entertainment, he doing the promoting, he doing he doing too much. He doing bro, the advertising, he, he doing the marketing. Hold on, Devin is not the face of boxing, he's capping. That's LeVar Ball 2.0. That's the greatest the greatest promoter in the world. Hold on. Let me let me say this. Let me say this. At the end of the day, when we was talking about when 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 Cam brought up brought up his example of of Jared of Jared or uh, whatever Jared Big Baby, that's a six degree of separation because then you could then you could automatically bring up well if you are heavyweight and you crying in the ring, 
why is you concerned about Devin Haney? Why is you beefing with Devin Haney on the? On the <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, you, you can it's, it's, it's seven divisions between him and Devin. <laughs> it's, a, it's a six degree of separation type thing. They, they, they have a little beef on Twitter, so you could arguably bring that up if you if you wanted to interject a Devin Haney into the conversation, like y'all accusing us to. But that shit, that shit funny though, AC. I'm sorry. I, I, try to up, I try to bring it up as an example, and then nah, we nah, that's it. AC, that shit become a whole conversation. That shit become a whole conversation. We got Shoo Shoo fighting Estrada coming up uh, on the fight. Well, yeah, see what Devin Haney was doing. That shit become a whole let me let me say this to the queen too y'all let me say this to the queen and see another another thing queen outside of bullet Devin, the only other fighter chasing all the smoke exactly he chasing all the smoke he the only other fighter in the smoke outside of bullet running to all the smoke you can't name you can't name nobody else you can't name nobody else outside of Bullet in the sport of boxing today that's running to all the smoke okay okay no matter what the circumstances is sir l boogie if he's running to the smoke he needs to run to shakur stevenson let's go uh -uh. Now, now, okay, let me let me explain this to the point. 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 Now, Queen, okay, let's put all this in perspective. Let's put all this into context and come up with the right perspective. Now, look, Devin Haney, we know he's been at 135 his whole career. Everybody know this. Now, we know before. The first Gam uh, uh, Cambosis fight, he was it was hard for him made way. He was looking like a skeleton, so he sacrificed himself to do two Cambosis fights. Still came back for a Lomachenko fight. We got Shakura, we got Shakura on tape the saying saying when Devin fight me, he gonna be drained. And that's going to be bad for him. So he know the man was ready to move up, was going to be drained, and Devin was willing to sacrifice and still stay for a big fight like Tank. No, he wasn't. And, and I'm talking to the queen. And, <laughs> and, I got you. and he sent a contract queen. Okay. And and he sent the contract queen to he sent three of them. He, he sent, sent three of them. That's what he said. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. He sent the contract. He sent the contract to Shakur. But well, I ain't gonna say a contract. Let's say this. Dio Haney got into it with the lawyers and the people over there who was supposed to handle that top rank side for Shakur. He told them, "Hey, man, we are getting um." They want to give him a flat fee, a flat fee at first. Secure didn't want that. Then they say, well, we'll throw him 25%. Secure say, no, I don't want the 25%. Forget it. I'm going to go to the WBC and try to force the mandatory, which he still might have would have wind up getting 25, 35%. Why Secure okay. didn't? Why Secure didn't come back and say, you know what? Let's call everybody to the table. Let's sit down. Let's go into a negotiation and let's figure this out. Ain't that okay. how you do it once you do your mandatory? But, but that's what he did. Be mad, be mad, be mad, be mad, be mad. He did. He said, I'll take whatever. I'll take whatever. Isn't that what you do? Isn't that what you do when you're talking to your mandatory? That's what you do. Isn't that what you do? Exactly -Mac, exactly. Remember they said that why he didn't just sit down and talk to Haney though that should have been the right route. So you saying they offered him a flat fee, they must have talked, right? He didn't want that. They sent they sent them 25%. He talked to them. No, I don't want that. But y'all said he should have sat down and talked with them before he went to the WBC. Well, it sounded like he talked to them twice. No, he uh, talked to them. Both, both parties. Hold on. Both parties said Bill told everybody that. He spoke with the lawyer, Dev Dev Haney. 
I mean, Shakur no, he talked said, to Shakur too. He said he talked to Shakur. I actually personally <laughs> talked to Bill Haney. I was just on Twitter day before yesterday talking to Bill Haney about this situation. He, told him, like he, he, talked to him, he, he said he spoke to him before the situation, before the first offer. That's when he talked to him. Um, yeah, because there was an offer, not a contract. Not any offers or, or term sheets were sent sent to uh, Shakur Stevenson. Uh, that was sent directly to, to Shakur's handler, which was yep. his lawyer. So yep. his lawyer uh, already knew his stance. And he mm -hmm. said no, because he already spoke to his client. He already knew his stance. His stance was, at that time, it's actual, Shakur was asking for 50%. So okay. when the initial offer came, he flat out turned it down because his stance at that time of the first offer was 50-50. Okay, that, so why didn't why did, why did, why did, why did <laughs> that counter that? He, he did counter that. He, but, but, that's what hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. AC, he counted it. You're right. It was an offer for 25%, but what you're saying is that Wait, who's right, though? Should, who's hold on, right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on, it should have been a negotiation. But my thing is, what happened with Devin Haney? Well, uh, you said Shakur said, okay, fuck it. And he went to the. No, it should have been a negotiation. That's what they think. That's what the offer was. It wasn't a contract, it was an offer. It, it was an Thank offer. You. So with the offer, you can negotiate an offer. You can negotiate it. You. you know what I'm saying? So that's that's what we're talking about. Yeah, well, he Sh started Sh with Shakur. Shakur didn't started go negotiate nothing. Fee. Hold on, that's Sh what I'm saying. They, they started Sh with the flat fee. They started with the flat fee. When he turned that down, they moved to the percentage of the of the overall pot. Like twenty, the twenty five percent was was twenty five percent of of the whole pot of everything. See, all together, all the it, money, it, all the breakdown. So can we get that? So can we get that? So can we get that? Hold on, hold on. Secure didn't negotiate nothing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So when they when they shot when they when he threw out the 25 percent, the thing that Bill was negotiating with Shakur's handlers was, hey, Shakur doesn't have any leverage. He doesn't. He's not. He's coming into the table a former champion, but he's not a champion now. He's coming into the division. He don't really have a leg to stand on. The actual purse bid split for the the sanctioned bodies is actually like 75, 75, 25, or 80, 20, or some shit like that. We all from 25 percent we just went over to australia twice and took less than 25 percent you know what i mean type shit we just went over there and, and took less than 25 percent twice to win and defend our belts like the fair thing to do is hey we offer you 25 nigga we took 22.9 or 23 or whatever you know what i'm saying so we Ooh. offer you a little more than what we got and it's of the entire pot just not uh, you know what I mean? Not just this, this particular school. So I don't care. Can we get down to the bullshit? Can we get can we get through the bullshit? Because at the end of the line, on, at the end of the on, day, hold on, B Mac. Hold, hold on, on, hold on, B Mac. Nothing. Because all on. this, I all I that. Wanna, I want to. I want to. I want to answer the queen. I want to answer the queen. That's now the right. queen. The queen said, "Well, who's money?" Okay. Hey, at that, I'm gonna at come that back time, on, I'm gonna I'm leave and come back on. I just got a phone call. It's gonna be fucking okay. bullshit. I'm gonna leave and come back on. Okay. B B Mac, let me address the queen, B Melly. Yeah. Now the, the queen said, Well, who's money? Okay, yeah. after the after the Loma fight, we know mm -hmm. Devin became a free agent and Shakur mm -hmm. is still with top rank. So, mm -hmm. okay, Shakur, you want to challenge the champ, which is Devin. Mm -hmm. So for for one, top rank can put up the money. Why would top rank for, put up top rank didn't put the off up? But why would top rank if they did? Why would top rank put up any money and only get twenty five? Okay. Okay. Now, if top rank don't want to put it up, Devin well, can go. Not, it would have been possible go. for them to listen. sign Devin because they've worked with Devin before, and Shakur is already a fighter. But now, I listen. get where you're going. But I, yeah. I still let me say this too, though. Let me say this too. Okay, Cam, like you said, Devin could have went back and signed one more time for one fight with top rank for Shakur. Or, or Devin and them could have went and got the bread from the zone and Eddie them and put the fight on jointly with top rank. El that could have been done El too. You, you talking about a coulda, coulda, coulda. If you gave her the offer, she asking you where the money came from, from the offer. Not what we could have did and what we could have did this. No, that means you was giving me an offer that was false, right? 
If that's the well, case, if, 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 if you didn't have a backing, if you didn't have a backing, then you was giving me an offer. There was some old good shit, right? What you just said. If because he gave Eddie, up, he must have some backing. If he oh, gave an offer, and he might have some you from backing. Here because Eddie Hart didn't know. say that. Exactly. He, he, didn't reveal, he didn't reveal who the backers was. I don't know. Exactly. No so, so that's what I said. Let's cut through the bullshit, right? And do all that. And, and let's go right here. Let's go right here that's on your screen. Because see, Devin Haney got a few more days to decide what his next fight is. He was given a six-day extension, granted by the WBC Board of Governors he max speak. to commit to either defend the undisputed title or challenge for 140 crown. He got that decision. The WBC Board of Governors granted him a petition by both Regis Progray and Devin Haney until next Thursday, July 27th. The WBC announced. That was his decision on what he wanted to do. Fry, uh, 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 Friday's ruling trumps a prior call to action for having Haney to inform if he will uh, remain lightweight where the WBC named Shakur Stevenson his mandatory challenger. Confirmation of this move in the weight with no response at all to that matter will result in Haney being relieved of his WBC title. So tell me, where is it that he didn't motherfucking duck a uh, uh, Shakur and go straight at him? He got the extension. This is the, this is the extension that he got. And he had to choose between fighting Shakur and going straight at Shakur or so, move up and so, fight fucking Regis. And what so, did he do? So hold on, D-Man. Hold on, hold on. What did he do? So, what, so you, what did he do? Hold on, hold what did he do? On, no, no, on, answer the question, L Booker. What did he do? He, 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 Wait, so he, are you he, considering he, him he, moving up, fighting Regis? Y'all just said a minute ago he yeah. go head first at all these motherfuckers. And, and the queen said, no, I'm, I'm why didn't he go question. head first at Shakur? And here we go. You got the extension Thank right here. You have Thank a decision you. to make. You're going to do one or you're going to do the other. And what right. do, which one did he do? So are you saying yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I'm asking? I'm asking the question. So are you saying by him moving up, choosing to face Regis Progray for Regis's title, he's considered ducking Shakur Stevenson? Yes, exactly. The same dude you try to say, oh, I gave him an offer. He offered him. Didn't you say he offered him? He offered the 25%. Offer. We took 27%. We got to so do this. He didn't, so if he didn't take the down. offer, what, wait, wait. If he didn't bro. take the offer, Ain't it possible to go the other way and fight? This was one, bro. This was one week. This was this was one week. You're gonna take, you're gonna take less money. That don't make no fucking sense. What date was this? When was this posted, sir? What is the date of this? This is July the twenty first. Cam, Cam, Cam. So, 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 B man. Oh, so fight? you it's saying? Going to be great. You saying this a duck, B Mac? Because he already no, 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 accomplished no, 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 everything. No, 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 he accomplished he everything moved, at 135 on the field. Hold on, hold on. He moved up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold on. Oh, wow. hold on. If he never offered him, right? And we said, look, look, you cool, man. I'm going to go over here and we're going to go 140. I can't make the weight. It is what it is. He didn't do that. His fucking no, man, wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Hold up, hold up. Time I gotta out. push back. It if he up. never made the time out, if he never no. made the offer, if he never made the offer, then Shakur would not have been on Twitter going no. through all the rants talking about you wanted me to yeah, try. Yeah, he made the offer. I didn't say he didn't make the offer. I said he made the offer. Yeah, and then you were saying he was supposed to negotiate, right? So this is your negotiation. Because he you turned, turned it down. Him him saying no. He after he said no. No, he went and tried to grab the no WBC. Exactly. He tried and to get the WBC involved. He did get the. He didn't try yeah, to get the and, WBC. And they still he ruled against his ass. So he couldn't get fifty fifty. He didn't get. Yeah, he didn't try. He did get the WBC in it. 
That's what I'm saying. He got the WBC involved. Exactly. They still denied his 50 50 claim. It wasn't a 50 50. No, no. What happened he was he was 50 50 when he tried to get the nah, WBC bro, involved. No, he didn't. Stop it. Stop it. Because in the same report, yes, he did. No, yes, he did. That bro. was why he got the no, WBC involved. Because he always man. said that he know he was the B side. We know he was the B side in the negotiation. He he that's, the not, that's not why he turned down he the fight. That. Man. No, bro. he turned he down the fight he because he, he said his percentage hey, was not high hey, enough. Cam. He wasn't getting paid enough hey, money. Hey, Cam. Cam. No, that's not true, Cam. though. Cam. Cam. Did, the man, did the man put the WBC in? Did the, man, did the man go to the WBC? Go look up why he went to the WBC, oh, man. Damn. That's what I'm saying. WBC. He, 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 that's why he Damn. included the WBC. Damn. Damn. The Damn. You're not the question. Question. Damn. What are we talking Damn. about? Damn, you're not answering the question. You no. just answered the question. Be back to your collective and say yes. Did he go to the WBC? We said yes, B Max. We passed that. So thank you then. So did he get it? Did he ask for an extension? Devin asked for the extension, yes. Okay. He got, and so why did wait, 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 wait. now? What was why did Shakur include the WBC? Right, bro, I'm asking a specific question. What was his extension? <laughs> it was for a week to either decide if he was fighting Regis or Shakur. Uh, yeah. What did he do? Why did the WBC? Why, 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 why did Shakur? Why did Shakur include the WBC? No, 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 no. Because you're trying to you ask me what Devin did. did. No, no, no. You're trying to ask me what Devin did. Now I'm asking you what Shakur did. No, 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 no. 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 No, no, no. You wiggling. We already answered what Devin did. I said, why did Shakur include the WBC in the first place? Why didn't he go to the WBC petition? Because he For didn't who? like the 25%. And now, if you go and read the articles into why he turned down the 25% and included the WBC... It will tell you in those articles that he was pushing for 50-50. Doesn't matter what he was pushing for. Was the the hold up. It, hold up. Damn. Damn. What Damn, difference do it make of what he was pushing that. That was for in reference to his split? He's still trying to get the fight. Because no, he turned down the off. He turned down the twenty five percent offer because it was too low. He said, "If you give me 50-50, I I'll take this fight." Damn, come on, bro. Y'all, y'all sitting around here with the bullshit. And he turned down the motherfucker. He turned it down. It's seventy thirty on a mandatory with the WBC anyway. So you gonna offer me less than the fucking mandatory? And you want me to take it? That was and guess what? The WBC denied this nigga. No, they didn't deny him. No, they did not, bro. Devin Haney made the decision to go to 140. He was the oh, one that man. made the decision. How are you going to put that on Shakur? Shakur bro, didn't make a decision. The reason they decided to go to 140 The reason they decided to go to 140 is because Shakur said no. No, what you mean? What you telling me what I mean? I'm I'm telling you what Team Haney is saying out of their own self mouth. Oh, you know what? I let talk me, to Bill. Let's, let's, let's look at that, Cam. Cam, let's look at it. No, again. no, no. Maybe I you talk to Bill directly. Cam, be be not, be, is what I'm Cam, telling you. Do you not this is what we're coming from, Cam. Oh, they talk to Bill and Cam. Oh, bro. bro I, 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 everything I do, I pull up the Twitter space for y'all. We had Bill Haney in the space. Talking to Bill for a good two, three hours. Bill, you're listening to Bill and believing what Whoa, Bill says man, instead of listening. Wait, 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 wait. Why would I not believe the manager who's directly involved, but believe the fucking tabloids? Wait a minute. Bro, this so this isn't so true. Don't listen to one man and not everybody. Bro, else, this is Everybody else wrong, but Bill is right. Bill is the only one who's right in this. And everybody. We just sat here and went over the entire scenario and said that he shot, he, he petitioned the WBC because he was trying to get a higher percentage. The higher percentage that he was gutted for was 50-50. That is, you know what, Cam, that's all well and fine. That's cool. That's his prerogative to do that as a fighter. He can do that all he wants. At the end of the 
day. And the because board, he wasn't getting 50 50, he did bro, not the want the fight. They Governor went to Regis. Right, bro. Bro. Extension. They'll go ahead and see yeah, what he, he said. I will, take, I will take the 25%. He said, I'll, t- I'll do whatever. Give me what the fucking fight. About? He didn't Damn. say he was going to take the 25%. How you going to say out your mouth you're going to take the 25%? But we got a whole Twitter rant of you bitching about the 25% saying you wasn't going to take it. it Which one is it? About shit, Kim. He said and y'all you talking, do it. And y'all talking to a Shakur so gonna, fan, gang. Yeah, so, so, I've been so, saying this from the jump. Gonna, 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 but he should have pulled the trigger on the fight. He should have took the fight. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. So, Cam, you're going to tell me. Yeah, I know you're going to discredit this, this whole article because uh, I can pull more articles from different <laughs> publications about this. So you're going to discredit this right here. That's what you're telling me. I literally just said the WBC got involved because Shakur petitioned them, I asked you a shooting for question. a higher percentage. Are you going this to extension this extension was right with here in the negotiation on the screen? You don't let me finish my bars and get oh, my shit off. You you're not answering the question. You're I'm talking answering, about God else. damn, can I get to the no, question? Damn, it's right there in front of you. I asked you. Can simple. I get to the question? Yes you gonna let me answer? No? Is it yes you gonna or let me no, answer man? or no? Don't you gonna let me answer or no? Is y'all gonna let me answer or no? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is y'all gonna let me answer or not? Cam, relax. Everybody relax. B Mac, relax. Oh no, we flying. I think there ain't nobody in the we we No, no, no. Listen to me. I'm telling you, it's getting a little aggressive. Please relax. No, 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 Let him answer, Mac. Let him answer. So this is what I'm saying. The extension that we're seeing here was them giving, they, they offered, they petitioned for an extension. Or who you going to fight? You going to fight Cool or you going to fight Regis? Those negotiations were still happening. What the the reason the WBC was involved was because of the percentage split. They felt like he didn't deserve 50-50, he wanted 50-50. They yeah, couldn't come to an agreement on 50 that. 50 50. They went the other way. Bro, right. all, of, all of what you talk about was previous to this <laughs> right here. All, 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 I, that, all that negotiation you talking about was previous to right here because after the negotiation in reference to the uh, said unsaid contracts and the 25% and all that and the yes and no's and all that, Shakur, the next week, Went to the WBC and activated his motherfucking mandatory. Be when the mandatory week. came up, he even got an extension. And this is the end. This the end game. That's why I said, "Fuck all that other shit." Y'all I know about. what you said, B Mac. You, 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 right. you right. You right. I know what you saying. Twenty percent out the door. All of all of what who said it didn't. All of who took what it didn't. What it doesn't matter if it was fifty percent or not. At the end of the day, at the, all at those the end was done. At the this end, right Daniel chose to go up. That's he that's all that happened. He chose to go up. But that's not. But that's so not a duck, B Mac. So that's not a duck. We're moving up and out of the division as ducking. That's not a duck. That's and not a duck. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on. He Let's stay right there. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, L Boogie. Hold on, L Boogie. Because I want to. I want to get to this. So Queen, you saying you time out? So Queen, you're saying by by Devin moving up and not fighting Shakur that he ducked Shakur effectively? Yes. That is that okay. is that what I'm is that what I'm hearing? Yes. Okay. Wait. So when it all comes down to it, who ducked the fight? Was it that? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. So so are we saying that because Devin decided to move up? And faced Regis instead of fighting Shakur, that Devin effectively ducked Shakur. Is that what we're saying? Okay, so if that is so by your own standards and what you're saying, then we could say that Canelo ducked Boo Boo at 54. Okay. We could say Canelo ducked Jamel Charlo at 54 and moved up, right? Can we say that? Let's go. But I mean, this is by your own standards, Queen. I got it. Yeah. Let's go. Let's say it. That's what I'm saying. Is it, are, are we saying these yeah. things, Canelo? I, because we just I, argued I, earlier. I am saying these things. 
And okay. The, and, and the thing is, and, and wait, wait. This whole thing about Canelo, I said that Canelo should not be obligated to fight Terrence Crawford or to fight no, 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 not, not. I'm not talking about Bud. I'm not talking about Bud at all. I'm just oh, okay. saying. Well, I'm, I'm just talking about team. the timeline of of the career because okay. they. So that's all I'm saying. So absolutely, I agree with what you just said. So okay. Okay. With that being said, Devin Haney definitely. Doc okay, that's fair. Okay, I can, I can, I can respect that. That's fair. Yeah, hold on, whole cam. Why do you respect that? I, I mean, you know, I love you, bro. You know, I love I you. To, you know, I I to 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 because she was a, because she was willing to she was willing she was willing to utilize the same measuring stick and the same standard she, that she utilized for Dev and Shakur. She was able to apply that to Canelo, and I know how tough she fuck with Canelo. So for her to be able to say that, hey, fifteen minutes with me. You said what? You. That's what, what I'm trying to say. Bro, Cam, like him, I've been saying. No, because y'all was so big. Y'all was talking about the percentage in the WBC being involved and not actually adding context to the situation. Oh, that the on, whole situation on, was about the percentage yeah. split. Hold on, Cam. Hold on, Cam. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, hold on, please. Hold on, please. B Mac. Do I agree with you or not when it comes to Shakur? Me and you agree, right or wrong? Yeah. Thank you. That's all I got to say. So we all agree that Shakur should have took the fight when he had to fight in front of him. But no, 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 no. I'm yes, he should have took it. Yes. I'm not just talking about that. I, I, yes, I, I, no, 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 because I've been saying that. I've said that on this panel. I've said that on this panel to you. I've said that everywhere. Shakur should have. No, Tom, you weak. You weak, my nigga. You can basically say that we agree upon everything, but we don't. Cam, by that logic. Then, then Terrence Crawford should have took that 10, 20, 30. Exactly. Hey, I told him that. I said, hey, no, 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 hold on, time out. This is, hey, no cat, no cat. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you, queen. You wanna lose, I, you wanna use that logic, because that's the one. I'm the one who told, I'm the one who told Bud to say yes to no guarantee and pull their card. Matter what he said or what you asked. I'm the one. Listen, I'm the one who told Bud say yes to the no guarantee. Tell it, tell they ass, tell they ass, yeah. Whatever they give you, say yeah, and pull their whole card. They gonna yeah, scramble and try to make something else happen. Look, I need everybody to pause. Right? Give me one second. So if if this is what we're saying, if this is what we really <laughs> think, fans, whether we're hardcore or whether we're casual that we should not hold any fighter to fight because of legacy. We're going to say fight because uh, of, of the percentage that you're going to get. We can't hold any fighter to that anymore. Is that what we're doing? Because if that's what we're doing, that's okay. But if that's what you're doing, then you I try to hold a fighter to their words, Queen. When you tell me you fighting for legacy, that's what I'm holding you to. Okay. Cam, this so is so the, 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 yeah, the yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, Cam. You know that. Cam, it's, it's Cam, about Cam, I get what you're saying Purdue about and Eric I, Kane at the same I, time. I, so they're gonna I'm say certain about, things. I get, I get what you're saying about legacy, but this is prize fight. And when I say when I say duck, I didn't Thank say duck because I didn't say he ducked because he moved up. I say he ducked because that low ball ass offer. You know what I'm saying? If you, my thing is this: uh, uh, David Haynes is not a world beat. He's not bringing in crowds and shit. He's not bringing he in sure fucking is. crowds. So we're not gonna sit here and try to blow ball that man with no 25 percent cam. You but how is that? No, that that ain't no duck. That, that ain't no it. duck. That ain't no duck. Hold on, time out, time out. So, 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 wait. So, if he would have offered him 70 30, even though I rank Devin Haney in the top three right now, let's be real. Let's be real. Wait, so, so, if he would have offered him 70 30, so if he would have offered him 70 30, so if he would have offered him 70 30 instead of 75 25, y'all have been okay with that? Because that's the how actual about, how, about, how about doing how about doing something real? How about doing you know, something real? I want to fight, nigga. Let's go over here and talk and stop motherfucking yeah, running around right. and all about this, that, and the other about well, no, I, no I get that. The, the reason I'm asking that, that is just because it's 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 by the sanctioning body, by laws and rules. It's still considered fair in that Devin is undisputed as the champion, and before that, uh 
at the time, Shakur would have just been coming into the division brand new, no champion, no belt from the prior division. He lost it. Even as a mandatory, he coming in as a voluntary for that fight. Exactly. The part. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't hey, nobody no. that, that ain't never, that's never been champion, bro. Yeah, exactly. This is two, this is he's a, he's a champion. It was I'm not, I'm side. not saying that. No, that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is him, him losing that belt on the scales in the division prior was his leverage for negotiations, bro. I was dead on the on the can you agree with that? Hold on, can you agree with that? What are you talking about, Cam? Hey, you agree with his leverage, Cam? Because current, current still looks better than former. At the end of the day, current current champion looks better than former champion. Period. If you move out of the division, you're former, bro. What do you mean you're not current? For a second, right quick. Please. Because other fighters are allowed, because fighters are allowed to simultaneously fight and be champions in two different divisions, he or have we not up. seen this before? He moved up. That's man. a fact. That's a fact. Can we get, can we get okay, you're, you're right, Cam. You are up, right. Man. I'm not going to dispute that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna say this one there. Cam, he okay. already moved up and had a fight at that at that division. It's not. It wasn't his first fight. And yeah, even in doing that, he, on that bro. that's what I'm saying. Even in doing that, he still was nowhere near being in a mandatory position to, to demand that situation. He was being offered a voluntary actual title shot. Bro, and, when I, and my thing is, is that in, in that situation, what does a mandatory get? A mandatory is going to get at least the purse being split. The 70 30 off the third of most. Well, if, you, if you offer me 25%, bro, then what are you, what are you telling me? That ain't a duck because at the end that's of the a, day, bro, that's a low that's ball a, off the that's break. A, that's, that's a, 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 a dope. How, how, how is it a low ball when it's the most money you made in your fucking life? Oh, oh, that's oh, not a low ball when it's the most money you made. So we say, so we say, Devin Price duck Shakur. So. Yeah, y'all know that same shit because wasn't he supposed to stay in the division until he was uh 135 for the rest of the year? Ain't that the shit that he was spent? Yes. Thank you. Ain't that the shit he was spent? And it's hard today. Today, take care of that shit. They spent. Okay, exactly. He was filming. At the end of the day, your boy, your boy Shakur. Hope at the end of the day, your boy Shakur is is sending. A bottle and 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 making a sign a contract, a contract and there ain't no contracts to stop that. So stop that bullshit. You know why he did that. He hey, somebody he on this panel, I'm asking somebody on this panel to tell me a low ball, a low ball offer is more money than you've made in your life. That ain't Hold true either. AC, are you really AC, saying AC, that this man is going to make more money than it? Well, how much, well, we don't know how much money was in the pot, so I can't speak on that part. No, that's another reason to let you know it was bullshit. How was it bullshit? Okay, so if it's more money than you ever made in life, according to you, it was three point five million, right? Uh, it's not according to me. That's what Bill said. I'm telling you hey, what Bill, Bill said. Ain't according to Bill. If the core is getting 3.5 million, right? Which equaled out to 25% of the fight. Exactly. Okay. So that would mean that, that Devin Haney's getting 10 million. So what the fuck you worried about? What you worried about? Is Devin Haney getting 10 million for when he's just when, when Tom Ray just put up 7 million for him and Lomachenko? My question to you. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen to the business. Listen to the business real quick. Hold on, hold on. 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 That's twenty five percent. Thank you. If he, if he, if if Shakur's getting three million, okay. And when you do twenty five percent, that's twenty five percent of what, ladies and gentlemen? That's twenty five percent. Well, well, that's twenty five percent of twelve. So at three point five, he's almost getting ten million dollars. So my thing is, when Bob Arum and, and, and put up that money, they put up seven million dollars for Lomachenko versus Devin Haney. Seven million total. Devin Haney got four, 
and, and Lomachenko got three. They came back yeah, and got 135 up. motherfucking pay per views at forty nine ninety nine a piece, which comes up to about what six seven million dollars. Period. So you not even that, me, not even I, that. I not just even don't that. see Bob Arum. Uh, well, don't so see him you mean I'm free. Free. I lost that money. money. After they lost that money, that that's a losing. That's a losing end. That's can, a losing can end. We, can we right end. now? Hold up, hold up. Yeah, Macy, it was hold easy. Up, Macy, let me finish landing my plane. Hold up. Let me finish landing my plane. Let me finish landing my plane. AC. I don't. I don't see Bob paying a free agent more than his fighter, more than his guy. Yeah. Let me finish landing my plane. If you sit there and you put out seven million, and you just lost money. On that motherfucking fight between Lomo and Devin Haney, and Devin. who's gonna come back and, and push out a motherfucking right. twelve million dollars? Right. 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 Hold on, let me cut these. Let me cut these two. Hold on, XO, XO. Let me get this off. Let me get this off because at the end of the day, you keep asking this question: Who is gonna do X, Y, and Z? Hold on, hindsight is twenty twenty. If you had a Saudi dude interested in paying tank 20 million dollars to get in the ring with devin haney that's the other damn partner and who are we talking about devin haney so if you have them willing to put that kind of money for devin haney if you would have sat down and still did it regardless of 25 percent it's still 25 percent of your highest three fights the way bill explained it we took your highest three fights added it together and that was your pay with an equal 25 it would have equal 25 percent oh, 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 oh. AC, AC, AC. AC. that's not what was going on at the beginning bro my point is this my point is this that money wasn't there, that's some bullshit by Bill, man. We know it, y'all. Hey, 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 y'all. If we already know, Devin has a relationship with him because they was trying to put, they put $20 million up for Devin and Hey, y'all, hey, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Let me just say that and I'm going okay. to mute my mic. I'm going to say this and let me mute my mic. Let's okay. just say it was the Saudis and he had the Saudi money, right? And he already had it. He dealing with it. He had the Saudis in the back pocket. Then why would you go ahead and move up and fight motherfucking Shakur? I mean, I'll fight Regis. And get one and a half million dollars. If you got the, if you got the Saudis in the back pocket, right? Why didn't you use them? Because you know Eddie Hearn rock with the Saudis, right? So that would be the problem. You're not listening to what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying after that. If you want, I'm talking about after that. You say, fuck you, cool. I got the Saudis in my back pocket. Okay, cool. I'm going to roll with the Saudis in my next fight for Regis, right? Because if you got that, you know that Regis fucks with Eddie Hearn. And you know we fuck with Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn fucks with the Saudis. Then why didn't you just use the Saudis for your next fight against Regis? But instead, you went and got paid $1.5 million guaranteed on the front. Leave that man alone on this topic. That is bullshit. We all trying to die on a Sunday. Leave him alone. We yeah, this, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I got WCS this good I, Sunday. They I got him trying to die on a Sunday. Leave him alone. I got to address the queen. Yeah. Yeah. This shit don't make no sense. Because yeah. at the end of the day, at the end of the AC, day. AC, AC, we passed this. We passed this. Yeah, we, 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 
Say what I'm saying. I got to address the other question for the queen. We passed okay, that. So you got to address that after that. the fact. You got to address it after we, the fact. No, no, no. We passed that. We, we, we have talked about this for the last do that. show. Don't do that. Don't we do that. We passed this. AC, we talked don't, about don't, this don't before do that. the show. The last four shows. Show. We, all, we all got different opinions on it. We passed it. We get to the other question. Other queen. I'm stuck on the team. has something to say. No, I'm saying that. Peace. I'm saying my y'all gonna let her get her PC and AC. Yeah, come on, y'all. Let okay. Right quick, man. Yeah, let, let's get a little bit. Speaking of people, cut off. So what the fuck y'all talking about? <laughs> no, AC, you just like to hear women talk every now and then, and no boxing. You know what I'm saying? Personal. Yeah, personal. I've been, been waiting. I'm sorry. I've been waiting on them to see this. I need to hear WCS speak on this, please. Please, I need to hear WCS. Let's go. Speak on what exactly? Uh. Because everybody was talking. I know it's the secure. And, and B Mac was catching bodies. I, I mean, I was just being a bystander. I know, but I, <laughs> I need to hear you though, because you know I like your channel and stuff. So I need to hear your take on how you feel about Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson and the ducking and all this stuff. I just want to hear your take on it, please. Just that please. is strong language, Queen. You can't with that D word. You got <laughs> okay, okay, let, so let I'm not happen, sure. Let it happen, let him, let him talk. I'm not, I'm not sure who's, who is being labeled a duck in this situation. Shakur is being labeled the duck. Okay, so. No, so you know, y'all, they, they said, oh, hold let, on. Let, let see they said Devin is ducking Shakur. They said Dev ducked Shakur by moving up to fight Regis. But the majority of people said that Shakur but, you know, ducked him. Listen, listen, y'all are talking, and WC was asked a question. Let him talk and finish, and then everybody's <laughs> talking. Oh, we, we had it, Blue. I it's all good. Like, it's all good. Ahead, so Devin. so let, let me just put this out there. If Devin Haney was getting more money to fight Regis, it wasn't a duck. Okay. You know, if he moved up to fight Shakur. You know, if he moved up and, and then fight Shakur. If he was getting more money fighting Regis Progress, why wouldn't he move up? Okay, so WCS, let me get this straight. So as long as a fighter is getting more money at a higher weight division, it's okay not to take a fight for lower money well the only reason the reason the reason why i'm saying it for Devin is because he was having problems making weight right so you know bill was talking about he was struggling to make weight so okay so that's, about, a different, that's a different story then that's that's, exactly. that has, no, I'm, that's just, I'm just blending it in like okay, with the whole okay. situation with him moving up with progress so okay. people can say that he just turned down shakir stevenson who was you know basically challenged to be a third division champion we know that but mm -hmm. as far as what Devin accomplished at, at the at the lightweight division, how much do you have to accomplish to move up and fight immediately for a title? You you well, come undisputed. Is, I mean, you, you become undisputed, about... right? So you got the leverage, right? So him moving up to one forty, in my opinion, mm -hmm. he didn't he didn't duck Shakur because who did Shakur have on his record for Devin the duck? You know what I'm saying? Thank Shakur you. Stevenson. But I mean, who did he have on his who did he, who did he have on his record? Okay. To duck on Shakur, okay, so you know. Why does, have to be, why does it have to be what Shakur had on his resume? Why can't it just be Shakur? Because even though he was a two weight world champion, okay, we can we can we can tie it in to Crawford Spence. Even though Crawford had the accolades and an undisputed at one forty, they still say you know he ain't fought nobody at one forty seven. You know what I'm saying? They was they was talking about. Why does he deserve to fight Spence? Because he ain't really fought nobody 147. I say the same okay, thing. So with, Shakur, with that Shakur, Shakur was moving up, right? So Shakur was moving up. He ain't really fought nobody at 35. Devin didn't have to fight Shakur. He didn't have to fight him at, at 35, his You're second right. fight there. You're right. But if you want to use the Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, then... I'm just saying what they said with Terrence. Terrence had more accolades than Shakur Stevenson did. But what are you saying? I don't want to hear what everybody else saying. I want to hear what you. Saying. I'm saying I'm saying Devin was undisputed at lightweight, so he has mm -hmm. the option to move up. They was already having problems making weight, so I don't know what the Haneys think. You know what I'm saying? I've been critical of them in the past, but he mm -hmm. became undisputed. I respect him. He defended his titles. Him moving mm -hmm. up and getting a title, you know, he's still in his twenties and, and fighting progress, a two-time champion. I don't I don't see it as a duck. I just didn't understand why Shakur 
you know, was the money really there? I don't know if the money was really there, okay. you know, with the Haney's or not. But I know I, I heard you bring up the weight and, and, and fighting to, to make this weight and stuff like that. Yeah. If Shakur, if Shakur took, took the 25%, if he said, okay, do you think Devin Haney would have been okay with that? I don't know because, you know, with the Haney's, I don't know if Bill is thinking. I don't mm -hmm. know what Devin is thinking. Exactly. You know and thank you for saying that because I think if De if 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 Shakur said, okay, I'll take 25%, I I have a strong feeling that Shak that that Devin Haney would have found a way to get out of that fight because he couldn't make the way. That's that's just my opinion. Okay, I can see your point with that. I can see your point with that. So but I so, don't know if Bill is Bill doing the de decision making. You know what I'm saying? Or Devin doing the decision making in that. You know in that who's doing the decision making? I know, it's Bill. I know it's Bill. I know it's I'm just trying to be <laughs> diplomatic. Yeah, I'm not trying you. to be biased because most of, most of the time I am being biased about my favorite fighters, but uh, I'm just being diplomatic. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Bill I mean, was I'm making the decision. Devin Haney is like, for me, in my top three right now. I, I mean, I have no hate toward Devin Haney. But I would love to see him versus Shakur. It just I top, I, I want to see what? it. You can't you call him top three. You call that man a duck, Queen. That's that's because you think Shakur gonna win, Queen. That's because no, that's not that's not fair. That's because you think Shakur is gonna win, Queen. I don't even have Shakur in my top three. I don't even I don't use that type of language when it comes to my favorite fight. I have Canelo and I have Devin Haney. I don't have Shakur in my top three. So don't, I don't, don't use, say that. I don't use that you know? type of language when it comes to my favorite so fight. You, so you so you have <laughs> you have Devin Haney over Olesana Usyk? Yes. And Monster in a way? And Monster? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, on, I do. Christiana. Come I'm on telling now. you, Devin is something special. And I'm telling you, that's why I want to see this fight versus Shakur. I'm I mean, I don't think he's not special. Fight. I'm just saying you got him over Anui. You got him over right. Olesana Usyk. They accomplished more than he uh, has. Uh, and I'm going to tell you why I have, an, have him over Anui. And the reason why I have him over Anui is because I can spread that weight division as far as people I think he can, he can actually beat as far as two, three weight divisions above. You understand what I'm saying? As far as you know, their st his style, styles making fights. In a way, I can't really do it, do that with him being so small. But Devin Haney, yes, I have him my top three. Absolutely. That's why I want to see him fight Shakur. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong that he's not in the top three pound for pound. Prove me wrong. That's why I'm that's why I want to see this fight. And it go back to a big man. And fresh, you need to get that wine bottle from uh uh Fistiana. <laughs> I love you. I love you, sis. Hey, B man, don't so to take over the store or anything like that, bro. I was just trying to basically get everybody calmed down. That's all it was, bro. I know, blue, but I, I got you, my brother. I, 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 you, 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 you doing my job? You doing my job for me? I know, I know, but but ain't nothing but love, brother. I'll no, no, I'm not mad at you. I ain't mad okay, at you. Call that, nigga, call that nigga Deputy Do Right Blue. Get the fuck out of here, Blue. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's not me, nigga. My nigga, you know what it is. But ain't nothing about me like that. <laughs> hey, my nigga said, everybody just relax, calm down. Let's let's stay calm. Let's relax. Everybody relax. Me and me and Cam ain't about to do that, but give a motherfucking hug. <laughs> type shit. Look, I'm gonna say, Blue, we've been doing this for about two years strong now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Look, yeah, you know, yeah. Look, that's all I'm saying. Ain't nothing always, always, always. Unless it's, it's high energy, it ain't a hot top, topic unless it's, you know, that high energy. Yeah, that's grease. true. Shit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's true. Been cooking the day. You say what, Queen? <laughs> That's a Kim. Why you sweating? You got your towel. Why you sweating? Hey man, you, listen. I gotta keep it with me. You know that's a part of the wardrobe and the outfits. You hear me? You gotta, you got to coordinate. You never know. I'm just kicking. Where AC go? Hey, probably googling shit. But B Mac, it all go back to what uh, you said at the beginning. <laughs> at the beginning is that um, if that was the case. Um, um, Haney should have just said, "Look, man, you know, I'm 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 struggling to make 135s, 
So I'm gonna go up to 140 if you want to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, but nobody, why broadcast it though? I can't why hold you. Nobody, it? nobody is gonna say that. That's like showing uh, cheeks in the army. Yeah, why, why broadcast it? Though? Not true. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. I, I, you're not gonna broadcast it. They nah, you're not know gonna he broadcast was having it. Problems. You look okay, how he looked Cam. in Ozzy. Look how he looked in the Ozzy fights. He looked what? something in. Say he can't make 147. Let's go to 154. Why but, don't you how long have you been doing this shit for? Errol Spence never showed signs like Devin. Yes, he did. No, no, no. Errol Spence, look, Spence never showed physical signs of making weight when his fights was in Texas. He didn't nah. look like Devin did in Australia. That's he, didn't look, That's he didn't look something in like that. Let's do it at 154. Why couldn't why couldn't heaven uh, Devin Haney say that? Because they had to be submitted in writing. Well, I was just saying is that if you know you're going up, then it stop trying to make me offers. That's that's my thing. Yeah, if, yeah. If, you, if, if you're gonna make me offers, then let let's negotiate it all the way out. You know what I mean? So yeah, it was no contracts. Yeah, right? It was no contracts in those, those offers. Exactly. It was just a verbal yeah. offer, right, Fisiana? Or, yeah. Or be that's what that's, that's, verbal, that's what the word so it wasn't is. Official. Yeah. No, it wasn't that's official. Nothing right. was official. Nothing was official. The only thing that was official when when uh Terrence Crawford's. A lawyer called up uh, Samson on the phone and said, "Hey, let's get this fight. That's official. You got your lawyer involved." Nah, yeah. I wouldn't say that's official, but that's official. It's his team. It's legal that's rep. Are it's you his serious? legal representation. That's not official. You got your lawyer. Yeah. You don't pay your lawyer. Hold on, hold on. Fisiana. You have to pay your lawyer to make this move. It's official. Yeah. Okay. Official is in writing. Period. Because no, it, official because, can have your team who you pay, like Blue said, you pay this man for a retainer. You put you put a retainer for him to make those phone calls. They ain't doing it for fun. Yeah, just like, just like and they ain't doing it for fun. They ain't doing it for fun now. I deal with a lawyer and I pay up in real life. I do so that's why I know about it. Just like that, that that uh that uh 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 rematch cause that was you know like that. What? What Samson was the bullshit Samson was talking oh, about what? Pandora versus that 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 little we we said it. Yeah, we're talking about yeah, scams and capitalists. No, that shit in writing. Put that shit in writing. That's official to me. Yeah, I need Samson was on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> you heard what I called him? Uh, scams and capitalists. <laughs> what you say? What you say? Different team that said it was on some bullshit. Yeah, Samson was on some bullshit, just making stuff up on the fly and stuff. Yeah, we have a verbal Probably agreement. Right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, he was freestyling. I, ain't hold you. I can't even he was say freestyling, right? Sam's is a fuck old man. I hate to say it like that, but he ain't no fuck boy because he's educated in what he do. He know what he's doing. He's educated, okay. but also he's biased as hell. You know the way he was talking about Crawford. That would never happen. That would now never. You're right. Happen. I heard yeah. that. I heard yeah. that WCS. <laughs> but you sound mad man. or something. He was very. Mad. He was mad. Yeah, mad is the word. Man, please. <laughs> but, but who y'all think win that um that rematch that be man? Who who you got on that rematch, man? Which one was one? If Zoo and Fondora fight. Oh, oh man, to be honest, the truth. Zoo. No, I, 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 I think I think Zoo will win the rematch. To be honest with you, hey, hey, I think Zoo was, 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 was really controlling the fight, man, up until that cut. Thank you. Until that cut happened, he couldn't see what he was doing. That was a tough fight. That was a tough fight to go to. So, hold on, hold on. Can you explain to me why you say Fundor? She picked up. I like I like people to explain like them like when it disagrees. I, I, I can explain when I disagree. She picked them from the beginning. I before think the fight. I was like, what? But, uh, somehow, I know, but why? why? Still, why? Why? Is this because you you feel like it? That's the best choice. No, I I, I thought I thought Fundor was gonna be in, in this fight. I thought was going to be able to control the distance, which he couldn't control the distance. But I think in the next fight, he'll be able to control the distance. I, I really do. What? I don't think he does. I, I think that's where he struggles because he doesn't fight to his height. I, really. that's where, that's where I mean, he but y'all got to get a man a little credit, man. He, he did a much better job of using his jab and using his height and using his length than he ever has. Yeah, that was controlling the distance. Still yeah. got beat up I, I, two rounds before he got cut, B-Mac. You know that. 
I mean, but this, man, man, up, but this man threw over right 400 now. jabs. We talking about fun door. Who the fuck if he threw a thousand jabs? What you mean? Man, that's the best we ever seen from Dora with the with the jab and, keep, and and keeping good distance, man. That's the that's the that's first time true. we've seen that in a long yes. time, man. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask y'all this. So y'all feel like honestly, with the way the fight was going, no, it, there's no cut. Who would have won the fight? No cut. Who would have won the fight if he did? I honestly him? think that after the cut, it should have been ruled a no contest, and they no, should have no, let the fight no, all over. Y'all gotta stop that. Y'all gotta stop that, man. Y'all gotta stop that, man. Stop that blue. You can't do that, bro. You can't do that. Why not? Because this is boxing. Cut happened. Blood happened. You, you you hurt your hand. You hurt your shoulder. Things happen. At the I end know. Of the day, well, that's why I push this in boxing. Hey, Blue, that's for real. All action, respect, Blue. It's a, it's, Blue. A, it's, a, it's a hypothetical question. Blue, so, all, all respect. It's not hypothetical. It's it's, it's, it's got that the Cartoon Network, man. <laughs> you are <laughs> asking a question. You are asking a question in hindsight. The cut happened in the first or second round, right? Other people would ask, too. If the cut, cut would have happened, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Who, who, who you want to win? That's all That's a broad question, brother. That's a broad bro, question. Bro, bro. Bro, bro. You're acting like, you're acting no, like, bro, who do you feel with a one if there's no nothing? I don't know, because hey, bro, I'm you like gotta get your mic right, right, Blue. You gotta get your mic right, Blue. Hey, yo, like, yo, like, y'all acting like, 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 like Fandora didn't have his own challenge. Like, this dude's nose was just uh, just bleeding, running. He was swallowing. Exactly. For sure. That shit there can take his toll, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he had a broken nose, blood going in his mouth, man. You can't be swallowing blood, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're both in the same area? Okay, okay, okay. What are you saying? Huh? What now? Is, is that fresh? And together? Now wait a goddamn minute! I What's going on here? This just came out of nowhere. We like, talking about boxing. Nah, nah, nothing but respect. nothing but respect, though. Fresh walked in like he had a key. What the fuck? Hey yo! Hey No, no, hold on. Fresh was in the other room. I promise you that. Yeah, he was in the other room just like this. Yeah, Fisty, I'll be over there in a minute when we get over here. Just uh, give me a second right there real quick, and then we're going to get right on over there to it. I'm, I'm going to say what Pipe I got to say. <laughs> yeah. <Pipe laughs> shit. Yeah. Fisty, okay, I see where it is. I see what it is. Don't do it fresh. It ain't nothing wrong with that. Nothing but love. Nothing but love. Blue, blue, stay focused though. Uh, 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 what, the, what about that hypothetical? The fresh and fisty. I need to. Blue, hold on, hold on, hold on. Blue, we gotta get your mic right, bro. We gotta get your I, mic right. I need right. to address the other question for the queen, y'all. Blue, you gotta get your mic right so you can answer WCS, man. I gotta address the other question for the queen. The queen fisty on. I'm gonna leave and come back. I'm gonna leave and come back. You gotta get some headsets, blue. Fisty on. He said, God damn. Blue should be all fucked up, man. I love Blue. I keep telling him, man, he need to go to Radio Shack or something, man. Tell Blue, come, tell Blue, come see me, B Mac. Tell Blue, come see me. Electronic equipment. Lead Target alone. Yeah, Lead Target alone, man. Go to Radio Shack, man. Tell Blue, come see me. What's up, What's up, tell him come see me, B <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm gonna get him over there to you, hell boogie. God damn. Now, 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 Fistiana. Uh -huh. Now, nobody never said that Canelo is obligated. He gotta fight, but we just we we just want to see that because at both of they at this point in both of their boxing careers. It's nothing left but to get the money. Okay. So that's a, that's a good point. That's a good so point. why wouldn't he be tearing down the dough to fight Bud? You know, for 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 the for that big old bag he gonna get, and it's gonna add some more legacy. You know what I mean? Like he beat a pound for pound, great. Regardless, that Bud claim came up three weight classes. Let's go, El Boogie. Okay, so would you say that? No matter what, Canelo's gonna get at least thirty per fight. No matter who he fights, 
yeah, no matter who he fight, he probably going to get that maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, he going he gonna to get something up around there, no matter who he getting in there with. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So, there is no other fight that's bigger than Terrence Crawford. No other mm-hmm. fight besides Benavidez. Money-wise. Money wise, no other fight besides Benavidez. I don't even think Benavidez is a bigger fight than Bud Money wise. I'm I'm not saying it's bigger. I'm not saying it's bigger than Bud, but he's they they gonna make some good money too. They gonna make some good money too. Regardless, though, he gonna make good money regardless, honey. Yeah, he gonna make good money. So so he can make good money fighting. Mid tier fighters when he's a high tier fighter. Yeah, but Queen, you, don't you, you want to see him fight Bud though? No? But don't you want to see him fight Bud and make that money? The same way we wanted to see Mayweather fight uh, the other fighters and he didn't. What's the difference? Because we weren't riding with Floyd with that crap. Then, then you I say wasn't. Earlier, don't compare Crawford oh. and Spence. Now that's a poor comparison. I wasn't riding with Floyd with that crap. I wasn't riding them paper views with that crap Floyd was doing. <laughs> When he was fighting them bombs, I want I want support that queen. I'm going to watch WrestleMania. Quick question in Fisiana. If, if, if Crawford becomes three time undisputed, if Crawford gets three time undisputed, is he greater than Canelo? Yes. Hey, he already greater than Canelo now. He is that no three time undisputed. Is that better? No, I'm just saying for the casual boxing Bucky fans here. and the hardcores, you know, they're not gonna with, agree with that. I agree they're with El Bucky, but my thing, my thing was here with with this whole thing that I said was that I don't think Canelo should be obligated to fight. No, he, Crawford. He, he, he not. He saying. not. That's what I'm getting, he don't have to. There's, I mean, no. have, they both and they, they 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 both, you know, at the end of their careers. I got it. They both would make a lot of money. I got it. They both undisputed, lineal, all that shit. But Canelo doesn't really have to fight them. We don't want no, to see him don't. fight Mel he, Charlo he, or he don't. Tommy don't but, 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 but that's but what I'm the fans want. Really, I'm, put, I'm putting myself. Okay, I got what the fans want, and this is the only this, sport. This, this is the thing. This is the only sport. Cause you want it too. You want it too, Queen. <laughs> This is the only sport besides MMA where the fans be like, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this. There's no other sport like this shit. You know what yeah, I mean? Do the fans get what they want? Be, because do the fans get what they want? Because we, because we gonna pay that eighty, ninety dollars queen to watch that fight. That's why we want that. Well, that's we're not getting what we want though. We're not getting, we're not, we're not getting the fight that we want. Even though we're all the fans, we, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll never get the fights that we want. How long did it take what? for us to get Crawford versus a Spence? 22 never years. We never get what we want. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gordon, how the hell did you say your first name? I don't think there's huh? a big demand. I don't think there's a big what, demand. What you say? Man name. How the hell did you say your first name, Mr. Golden? That's a pimp name. You don't need to know all that. <laughs> you, you don't think it's my fam. You don't you know, think it's a big demand? Know. You don't think it's a big demand for what, Queen? I what you say, Blue? It's big uh, I'll call you later. It's all good. You can call my other phone, too. Nah, nah, nah. Uh, you you pronounce my first name, Macio. You don't, don't think... think... Got you, boss. It's Got you. as Crawford versus I don't. You don't think the Canelo and what Bud as big as the Crawford versus Spence? Listen, what I'm saying, I don't think the demand is as big as Crawford versus Spence. No, we were waiting Man. for Crawford versus Spence for five damn years. Boy, let Canelo come out and say okay, he, 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 he ready for Bud. Boy, that, that's going to take fire, boy. Yeah, way I'm about to say, bigger Canelo than fucking Earl Smith and fucking Church Let Crawford. Canelo come out and say it. Because Bud been on his heels. So let Canelo come out and say, I'm going Bud. It's on. Let's go, Bud. What? Yeah, yes. He would never what? say that. He would never say that. Where have you, where have you heard Canelo ever say he want to fight somebody? Right, I'm looking at his chat. Canelo or prima look, donna look, anyway right now. Yeah, he's not doing that. Yeah. Look, let's not 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 see, Miss Fisiana, are you trolling? Are you trolling, Miss Fisiana? I'm looking in the chat. Jessica, shout out to Jessica. She said Canelo's a drug cheat. 
But we got a whole lot of <laughs> hey, talk to him, Jessica. Talk to him, Jessica. We talking talk to about him, how Muhammad Ali was accused of drug cheating. James Tony. We it's a whole bunch of uh oh Jay oh, Mosley. Oh, oh, oh. so, so, so you said you said that. You saying that to say what, Queen? That's an excuse. I'm just looking at the chat. Look, I'm just looking at the chat. Well, let me let me ask you this question then. I ain't asking you what's the bigger fight. I'm talking about what you want to see. Like everybody say, fights we want, right? I want would Terrence you, Crawford versus Boots. Would you Would you rather see Terrence Crawford and Canelo or Terrence Crawford versus Jamel Charlo? Canelo. Ooh. Canelo cause of the because of the money. Canelo because no, 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 of the no, no, money. We, we not getting none of that money, El Boogie. I ain't asked you that. I ain't okay. said what you want to fight. But I would rather see Canelo versus want to see I, 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 I want him to get Jamel then. I want him to get Jamel. We ain't talking about that money. I want him to get Jamel. Okay. That's we ain't talking about that money. I want him to get Jamel. Okay. Okay. Oh, you know what? You're right. You're right, El Boogie. Because I would I would, I, would, I want to see that too. Because Jamel was talking Jamel was talking too much stuff, Joe. That's why I asked the question. I'm all in. I'm in all in agreement with both of y'all. Exactly. I mean, yeah, we love to see for the legacy and all that and the money you fight Canelo, but personally, I want to fight Jamel. <laughs> yeah, I want to hey, fight Jamel. Uh, you, you know, at the end of the day, you know, yes, when sir. it comes to Canelo, he's fighting for, you know, undisputed super middleweight. You know yes, what I'm saying? So, but, but with, um, you know, Jamel Charlo, he's just fighting for bragging rights because he was trash talking. Is the 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 accolades and the money, you know, it's what I'm still saying? some legacy in it because he's gonna be a four division champ, so it's still some legacy yeah, up no, there. No, 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 nobody's no. talking about him right now, man. Nobody's even talking about him. Right Charlo, Charlo, and Canelo, I mean, Charlo and Bud can get a fight in the future, near future for that. Uh, well, because he's in recess, right? So, Charlo, it'll never happen, it'll never happen. happen. Cause Charlo don't want it because PBC, PBC don't want it. never give it to him. PB, right, right. Yeah, PBC do not want anything to do with Bud, man. No, they don't. So that's why I'm hoping right. Zoo Zoo wins against Fondora in the rematch. So possibly Bud get that fight for the WBC. Do you oh, think Bud get that fight? Man, though? Zoo gonna do the same thing. Zoo gonna Zoo look, Zoo team was talking about, you know, I mean, actually showing a little bit of interest in fighting Crawford. Yeah, after Smith. And then they start switching up. You know Man, if Zoo would have won, Zoo was going to drop that WBO belt. Listen, if you're going to sit there and say one thing and then switch up and say another thing because of money or because you're being told what to do, you fake. You ain't going to, you doing whatever, what everybody else wants you to do. Well, in boxing, you That's know, the promoters supposed to work for the bo the fighters, right? But the fighters work for the promotion. Exactly. Like, That's it's not. It's, it's, it's how it so is. They, so when you talk about them persuading the them, influencing them to the talk, yeah, they work don't. for the promoters. No. Promoters work for themselves. Yeah, yeah. I, I, the I agree. I agree, Queen. The promoters work for, work for themselves. The fighters, but but they don't. They supposed they to. They work for themselves, like the Queen yeah, said. They, they work for themselves. Every dime themselves. That's why yeah. you got to stand up to him like a Crawford and and, and, and and not allow. Who watching the game show, man? And not well, allow. Yeah, you're not going to do that because you're getting the money from the promoter. The promoter the 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 Hold on one second. That's not me. But I'm Anybody watching the game show in the background? No, somebody just walked in the corner store, Mac. No. Nah. Look, I'm, I'm Damn, my nigga. Where you at, kid? Where you at, kid? Where you at, kid? Where you at, kid? If this is all true, and and you got to think about this: the more money a fighter makes, the less money the promoter makes. The less money the fighter makes, the more money the promoter makes. Y'all got to really think about what I'm saying here. But it's the truth. I'm telling you. Trust me. You talking about what truth. status though? What, what but, status but, of the yeah, fighter making on less money? Levels, though. You know, well, that's, 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 that's not. That's not across the board you. though. Uh, I'm talking about on the bigger level, though. I'm talking about on a bigger. I'm telling you, if the fighter makes more money, the promoter is gonna make less. They're gonna hey, like. Hold on one second, Hold on one second, y'all, real quick. Hey, Bud, Bud, is that you, man? Cut your camera on real quick, man. Let me make sure that's you. Had no trolling. Okay, got you, big dog. Got you, man. You cut it off. 
Yes, sir. I got my man Bug on the Bug stop. Yeah, what up, my guy? What you know up, what I'm Bug? saying? I know he got something Good, to say. Bug, yeah, Bug, his, his title said it all along, right? Yeah. Bug, man, man. Uh, uh, first hey, time on the uh, back, Bob, man. Appreciate you coming in, man. Yeah, Talk to me, you, man. Yeah, salute to y'all, man. I, I didn't even know you were going live. I seen you pop up. I had to get out, man. What's up? What's up with you, man? Yeah, I'll be going live, my brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, I, I just wanted to say, I was hearing y'all talking about Canelo or Jamal. Like, I, I'd rather see him fight Canelo first because that's a that's a bigger fight, and that's going to solidify him in a top, I'm going to say one through three, but for sure one through five all the time. All I mean, of all time, if he beat, it definitely stopped Canelo. You know what I'm saying? So that's a bigger legacy fight, but... Like y'all was saying, I like to see that Charlo too, and the the Charlo fight is almost necessary at uh, 154 for him to be lineal. So Charlo, he, he, he got a fight; otherwise, nobody could be lineal without beating Charlo because he didn't lose in the ring. So that fight is almost necessary. So I think it should happen too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, 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 the thing about it was it wasn't. When I posed that question about the Canelo and the, and the, and the Jamel wasn't so much a legacy and value. money. It's just like your personal thing. Like, me personally, I want to see him fight Chabal Charlo because Charlo was talking all that shit. I would love to see that beat down. That was just me. Yeah, you know what yeah. I, mean? I, I, so, I guess, I, guess yeah. I would, too, in, in that, in that, from that Per, yeah, per, yeah, per, yeah, per, yeah, per, yeah, 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 that's what it was. Because <laughs> he talked about after he beat Spence, talking about, yeah, I, I want to knock Crawford out. <laughs> <laughs> How can you come up here and act about a fight? Who who is this dude to the world with all that bullshit he was talking about? Uh, I don't know yeah. what the niggas talking about. Yeah, I'm undisputed at one point. I'm fighting Canelo next. <laughs> but them niggas can't fuck with me. That's you. I never forget that man. That night was legendary. He he deserved to get beat for all that talking. Yes, sir. That's why yeah, I wanted him right next to his girl at the same time talking that man. Mm-hmm. Then talking about and all the stuff he said before that, like, well, uh, he ain't did shit in the weight class. Who was he? Fight that right, ball, right. motherfucker. I'm busy. All that shit gonna come. Right. I'm, busy. I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Fight that tall, lanky." <laughs> yeah. On the real. That, so yeah, that's that's the. I want to see that fight too, man. I definitely do. Yeah, I, I think Queen. Hey, is, hey, Queen you sound is, just like Jamel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> yeah, talking I about, you tell me I'm a knockout artist, and you, you got a 50% KO ratio. You ain't no knockout artist, man. Well, but let me ask you this, man. See, I know you're a big Bud fan, right? So let me ask you this, man. How you feel about this situation with uh, uh, Turk Ali Sheik, man, going out here and uh, possibly um. Doing a U.S. invasion with uh, Terrence Crawford. Um, I think it's great. I think it's great for boxing because by him coming out here, he putting another another way for us to see boxing. And when if he's investing in it, then people ain't nobody worried about papers view sales. So you can't really use that as an excuse. Also, by him doing this, that's allowing the division to open up because Bud going to be able to get two belts. You know what I'm saying? So him getting both of those belts, that's going to put a lot of pressure on the mm. other fighters. Whoever got that WBC within PBC, because we know somebody in PBC going to have it, that's going to put pressure on them to make the fight. So Arrow can't have for too long. He going to have to man up or retire. So I, I like the idea. I like the fact that they can't hold Bud back. And he definitely going to progress and get where he trying to get. You know what I'm saying? I think it's some the boxing guys that spoke. That's why that whole Fondora situation ain't, uh, situation ain't work out for Errol. You know what I'm saying? Because this it's a good yeah. thing for boxing. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, what's going on over there? <laughs> over there. What, what y'all got? Y'all playing footsies? I, I somebody, like somebody that. over there wrapping Christmas gifts or something. Right? They, they cut the camera off and everything. Oh, I thought you were That was, that was like, me. Cut the camera off, nigga. You know what it is. Oh, my I bad, thought that. Man. I thought that was fresh and fizzy. Yeah. Uh, that was. Mama, 
I'm over here I, eating rich bits with cheese. I thought that was fresh <laughs> Fistiana. Fistiana, like, what's going on over there? I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, hey, what's up, Fistiana? I heard you cooking earlier, too. This boy's going to stop Canelo. Nice to meet you. You know what? She and, lit up this fire. She oh, Lord. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. But my, but my thing was, and I was telling my hubby the same Where thing. Wait, I was telling my hubby the same thing. I don't think Canelo should be obligated to fight. But, Hold on, is, is I mean, your husband uh fresh? I say Man, he not. He smoke, smoke. No, she don't. He hey, not. Right. He not he obligated to fight him, but. If if he not gonna fight Crawford, like he fought Jamel, so he should definitely right. be fighting. But Crawford. why did he fight Jamel? Because Jamal dumbass. But, but I, but I mean, that's look, why he fought Jamel. Before he fought Jamel, he said no. he said that Crawford can beat Jamel. So okay, but before he fought Jamel, he's supposed to fight Jamal. But Jamal's dumbass. I, yeah, I, I get that, but okay. So, and then they what all they did was pick the next best thing, which was his twin brother. So that had nothing to do with Canelo. That had to do with Jamal's dumbass. Okay, but That's this is this is why I don't. This the hell going on over there, Look, this, this, why, this why I don't give Canelo a pass. If he fought Benavidez, I say pass. okay. PBC, PBC is the one who brought. Jamel to him yeah, because yeah. Jamal wasn't, wasn't doing what he was supposed to do. Because well, Jamal couldn't cut, make the cut. So I that think, was PBC, honey. I think they brought him into it to prevent Bud from achieving 154. Uh, uh, undisputed at Whatever 154. Whatever they did it for, they did it because Jamal didn't take the, he, he couldn't, he couldn't uh, whatever the hell he was, he was on that book of sugar too, probably. Uh, I mean, I, but, but the reason why Canelo fought Jamal had nothing to do with Canelo. He had all to do with I mean, Jamal yeah, yeah. and PBC. So we can't even blame Canelo for that. But y'all blaming him? For I'm, it too. I'm blaming him for not taking the challenge of Crawford, making excuses because he didn't make those excuses for Jamal. Why he, he got to make? Okay, so why won't, why won't Crawford fight Devin Haney then? That's what I'm saying, bud. He ain't make the mistake. Why Crawford fight Devin Haney? Devin Haney don't want to fight. Devin Haney don't want to do that like that. Crazy. Yeah. 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 Y
but I know he only said it because he was mad what Bud said about after the Loma fight. And but he don't want to talk about If we feel, look, everybody can't think that you're going to win. I'm not going to be mad because you say, well, you know, you, you, you won. Okay. Oh, you yeah, know. he was bogus. Bill was bogus. Yeah. He was in his Bill, feelings. Bill, he was Bill, in his yeah. feelings. He was bogus. Bill that said that. He, said he was that in his feelings. He said that to promote Devin as the face of boxing. But in reality, he also, that Devin and Bill said that they don't want to step in the ring with Tans Crawford just off the, off the level. So they admitted to that already. So we can't hold them at fault. When they admitted to they don't want to fight him and they know that's a bad matchup, he, you know what I'm saying? So he, he, he don't want to talk bad, don't get Haney, Canelo. Bill Haney gets upset and says, Oh my god. Every time Shakur sees his name is mentioned, oh my, here we go again. Like, man, shut that fucking shit down. If you want to fight, fight this motherfucker, shut him up. So you gotta worry about it. here we go again. And the only way he can fight him is at 140, though. Right, so Devin should go like the most. The 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 verdict is still out on yeah, secure. Yeah, yeah. All <laughs> y'all <laughs> secure fans, all y'all secure fans, the verdict still out on secure. He gotta show me some. I can't wait till he get uh, Shakur, Shakur, Shakur I can't wait till he gets a three weight world champion, bro. He's gonna leave up out here possibly a five weight champion. And Fistiana. So if, if Shakur wins, what you gonna say then? If Shakur wins, what are you talking about? He get credit, but Shakur got way more to Wow, win. it's a but always the time. You, you don't answer the question and you come with some other no, near some propaganda. Oh, if if Shakur it's, fights, it's cool, you see. So you gonna give him his props and say, "Hey, this, this uh, man, you did a good job." And, and God damn it, you know, thank you for hey, if he you beats know, who? proving me wrong. Thank you for proving me wrong. If, if he beats who? Devin. Yeah, yeah Devin Haney. You know what we talking about, okay. Devin Haney? Like, are you serious, Shakur? Man, I don't know where the hell you been, but all I wanted to see is is Devin and Shakur fight. And even I though understand I have, that, but. There's a no, winner and a loser. And if you believe in one I person versus the Devin other, Devin you're going to have a different Devin opinion Devin about the, the other person. The opposite of even, even though I have Devin Haney in my top three pound for pound, I got Shakur beating him. So what are you talking about, bro? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm going to talk about. This is the first time I've ever heard you say that. We need to see Shakura in a big fight. We need to see Shakura in a big fight. This is the first time I've heard you ever say that. We need to see Shakura face some adversity. We need to see Shakura in a big fight, and he needs to face some adversity. So true, the verdict is still out on Shakura. Why y'all? Who's going stop that? That don't make sense. Yeah, that thank you. Sense. Who's weak? Is I don't believe in what you're saying. Uh, uh, Boogie, that we, don't make sense. Milly, come on now, man. Everybody <laughs> got to be tested. Nah, man. I got to respect you. That's what you believe in. That doesn't mean it's right. I mean, he's he's not a he not a Terry Crawford. He gonna he can't mess with Terry Crawford. He gonna fight for him. When it comes down to real versus real, I'm gonna tell you the real. If y'all can't fight, pick and choose y'all narratives, man. Y'all can't, y'all can't pick and choose y'all narratives, man. That ain't right, bro. I do. So you said Crawford ain't we so bad. Go through no adversity, B. Millie? Nah, man. What adversity what? Bill went through, bro? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's so, 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 so now you man. comparing? Now you comparing secure to Bill? No. I know you can't. 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 That you couldn't give Shakur no credit, right? Until you seen him go through some adversity. You felt like somebody got to go through some adversity for you to give him credit. Don't and you all say I did man. was I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, I, I need Bud, to see some more out of Shakur. Bud hasn't went through any adversity, bro. With the, Don't you with say it, B Mac. Don't you say it. 
But he that's said, because Bud is a different fighter from right, Shakur. Exactly. Bud got the ability and the IQ and the style take, to not go through adversity. Be yeah, let's, let's just take Bud out of this. Let's let's just eat, let's just let's go to another fight. Let's just take that's Bud. That's what it should have been. But it's not in this. It's just our personal opinion. Come on, man. Oh, this so, is what B Millie? What? Come let's on. leave Crawford out of this. Right, let's so let's. What adversity did Devin Haney go through? There we go. Let's Loma, talk about Loma, Loma, Come on, Loma, 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 Oh, 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 he was in a tough fight. Well, that's what you're fight. saying. That's so adversity. Are you, are you, are you, are you wanna... saying? Are you saying tough fight, or are you saying adversity? When you Which when one? you gotta when you gotta they, that's the same thing. When you gotta fight, when you gotta really do something to win that. They fight. synonymous. Be Millie, really, come on. They like almost the same. They going yeah. in. He went. He got through that low. A tough fight, fight and adversity is not the same. He was rocked in that Linares fight. He had the chicken leg. Yeah, that's adversity. That's yeah. adversity. Okay. Well, yeah. I, I, okay, you, you name one. He, he, he Lo Lomo he was lit. Well, 10 and 11, Loma okay. laid bombs oh, on him. Loma almost okay. stopped him in 11. So, I ain't so, gonna lie. Loma almost so, stopped him in 11. So, okay, so we say that, right? Yes. Is it a fact that Shakur fell with a fucked up hand? No, no, that's speculation. He showed receipts for it, bro. At the end of the day, his hand was fucked up, right? Hold up. How many lefts did he Come on, L Boogie. Because you you know soon as secure. There we go. Fight another big puncher. He gonna do the same thing, y'all. Yeah. If Watch. if the if the core Watch fight, and see what I tell you. How many left? Y'all saw the fight, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. On the panel, listen to me. I got a band says that Shakur ain't. I, I don't even know Shakur like that. I but can't I wait till he fight Tate. No, 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 Watch when he fight Tate. I want to say this. Watch when he fight Tate. If he gonna be, he, I don't mind. Why? He gonna be fighting the same way he fought Del Santo. Even though he fought Del Santo, time out, time out, time out. Even though he whooped Del Santo's ears, even though he whooped Del Santo's ears. El Boogie, El Boogie, do me a favor. Turn your phone down, cause niggas get niggas get headsets and just go crazy. This <laughs> El, El Boogie. Niggas, hey, you, niggas get new electronics and just lose their mind. I bet you a thousand dollars that the next fight that Shakur Stevenson has is not gonna be what he just went through. And I'm talking, no, I'm talking about when he fight a big puncher. I ain't talking to anybody. When he fight okay, somebody he that he fight a big puncher, and that's what I'm a bet you. That's what I'm a bet you. That's what I'm a bet you. That's what we gonna bet. Okay, that's that's what it is. That's what we will. Okay, when he fight nah, Tate, I'm not gonna when he no fight way. Tate, when he fight Tate, me and you gonna bet. Yeah. When he fight okay, Tate, we got we got it. That's a ban on the. We gonna bet. Everybody hears that. We, we gonna bet. That's a ban versus if, Tate. If the core fight, if the core fight Tank like he fought De La Santos, he gonna lose that fight, guaranteed. Because when he when he fight punchers. He fight completely different. He not like Devin a mix. Yes, he fight completely different when he fight punches. I've been watching his pattern, man. That's what I'm telling y'all. So can Oscar Valdez punch? Yeah, he can. Man, he was wrong. That's why he pulled up like that. Oscar Valdez was a movie. You are still moving the goalposts, bro. Let me look. Oscar Valdez is still moving the goalposts. Look, Oscar, Oscar Valdez can punch, but he's okay. A, then, bro, hold on, hold on. I, I don't hold understand on. what y'all saying. When, when you hey, see that right in front of, hold, hold on, hold on. Did he not stand in front of Oscar Valdez? Be mad. Let me explain it to you, though. Let me explain it to you. That part, okay. Thank you. That part. What I'm saying is, Oscar Valdez is a puncher, but he's a come forward fighter. But when you fighting a puncher who's agile, like Tank, and can move around and is real twitchy, just like De La Santos, Shakur. Don't mix it up or stand right there with those fighters. He's on the move yes! and he don't have yes! to. Like, whoa, take, take whoa. His... So hold on, hold on. You're oh, telling me that your boy is supposed to stand there in front of this nigga that's supposed to be moving no. around. No, 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 no,
Hold on, I'm trying to tell you, Blue. If he fight Tank, like De La Santos is a good fighter, but no, I, I don't. I'm not talking about De La Santos. I'm talking I, about Tank. I know, if but I'm trying, I'm trying to Tank, say, listen. Are you telling, telling me that Shakur Stevenson is? Well, I'm asking hey, you. Hey, Blue, hold on. Is, let me explain Shakur it to you, bro. Stay there or move. I'm showing let you. Let him difference. explain it, Blue. I, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to listen to him. So listen, you're not supposed to stand there, but De La Santos don't have the ability to cut the ring off. Or set him up. That, that, Tank, that's fine. That, that, on, that, that's finish, fine. You're right. Finish. You're right. You are correct. Tank, Listen to Tank, me. Tank has the power. Oh he got the power and he got the ability to cut off the okay, ring. Okay, so what and, the fuck? Oh, hold on. The other stuff is not supposed to move. So what is what is Shakur Stevens supposed to do? Can he move or not? That's what I'm asking you. Because you're making it seem like he's no, not, you're not even making sense. Come on, man. You're not even making sense. What I'm saying is that Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has the power to make the fight go on. Tank has Y'all know that y'all know that the man didn't even throw motherfucking left hands. Yeah, I know that. So I mean, y'all know that. That's all I'm saying. Hold on, hold on. Y'all know that, and I know, and I know, I ain't talking about you really, bug as much as L Boogie, because L Boogie tried to say that he didn't. Man, man, you know, Sir I want to mix it up, B Millie. He don't mix it up with punches. You know that, B Millie. He mixes it up. He fights punches when it comes to the punch. Hold on, time out, bro. You can't, you can't say that, L Boogie, because this man is, is, he spars with Terrence Crawford. Right, right, right. So he he stands with punches. What L Boogie said is maybe he can, but we still gotta see it. We haven't seen it yet against the puncher. He gotta go in there and prove it. That's I'm, I like Shakur. Man, man, that man ain't got that. Hold on, I got to keep winning, bro. I, I don't understand why y'all saying that he got to go prove this and prove that when you keep winning, bro. If you lose, I then mean, yeah. But if you winning, winning, bro, I don't. Don't matter how we look at it. Don't matter how you feel. Uh, how good it looked or how bad it looked. At the end of the day, the dub is the dub. He got the yeah, double. Man, look man, we, thank you. Thank he was trying you. to act thank like you. the same Devin Haney was not sit back here and said the same. People say the same shit about him. How boring his fucking fights was. And, and look, he was pillow fist. He can't. He can't hit and so on and so forth. But we got El Boogie out here. Praising this man like he's been uh, 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 look, they did say that about Devin, but they don't say, only they say they say pillow physic, but they don't say he boring no more. Nobody say that. Nobody say that. that that's, say no, that. that's not true. He, 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 that is he, not true. He's the young under the youngest undisputed champion. He's a two-way class champ. He moved up and stopped one of the threats at 140 for his first belt. Devin got a great resume. He he but, did a lot more than Shakur. That's what I'm saying. He Shakur yeah. is but he got more to do. He got more to do. And he don't have that same energy for kid Austin. Like, he doing with the same Yes, he does. He already called out kid Austin and told him if he wants to fight, he can get it. What you talking about, bro? But why didn't he get it then? <laughs> because kid Austin didn't want it. They weren't ready. He told him he, he got to fight a duel of Mason. They supposed to be fighting. Bro, bro. And, and, and kid, listen, you know, he told him he had to fight uh, Zapata first. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and what Kid Austin was on record saying this, that you no know, matter what, that's what he told me, that's what I'll do. No matter what. If you can argue that, I, I'll give you $100. He could be fighting Kid Austin. And, and see, you can't argue it. That's, that's all I'm saying. I can argue what? I mean, I, I, we, 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 we look at it like this then. I'm not giving um, us a pay to fight. I, how, how many motherfuckers is out there really calling out Shakur? Right, it's it's a lot of people that duck Nobody. down. Nobody, yeah, exactly, yeah, exactly. He, so he, he when it was Pitbull Cruz turn the big puncher, what that motherfucker do? Decline. They decline that some bitch just like that. When it was Lomo, decline. I, I don't want no motherfucker smoke. All these guys didn't want no motherfucker smoke with him. So I mean, if it's so easy or. You know, he's a runner or he's not he can't stand a big puncher or something like that. I mean, 
Wouldn't somebody go see him? Frank Martin, what happened? He does Bro, he know, he people well, be I'm saying that these fighters, man, who be fighting on their back foot, but but throwing punches at the same you can't be you can't be running bro and throwing punches at the same time you either running like charlo did perfect example against canelo or you fighting on the back foot meaning you are hitting the opponent while you're you're defending you're defending yourself so that shakur is not a runner bro he don't do what charlo did against canelo right he boxes he bro. Not a runner. Yeah, and, and at the end of the day everybody's going by one fight if that's he, what look, it, because, right. because, because let's be honest, I, I, can, I, I cannot wait to see him fight another let's, big let's fight. hold up with El Boogie. Man. Where was this energy at after he fought Yosino? Because after he fought Yosino and looked fucking dominant, nobody had no smoke for Shakur. This what I what I want to say is they, they had to wait till he looked bad and didn't have a good performance. The that's, shit how, on him. that's how it would be sometimes, but in, in, I get in actuality, if we if Shakur hand was hurt, he should be running that back with De La Santos because that's what the that, when Floyd when he had a questionable fight, wow. De La Santos don't want the smoke, bro. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. De La Santos does not want the smoke. He does not want the remake. I'm, 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 I'm gonna hit you with this. He did want those the smoke. those fights no, that he Floyd had oh, that he no, ran back for that. Those fights that he that, that Floyd had that he that he ran back. Those were questionable decisions, right? Yeah. This wasn't a questionable decision, dog. This was a motherfucking you know, man, 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 decision, I mean, bro. It was, it was unanimous, but they weren't was. throwing no punches. Like, come on. And now. that and that tell you all on top of it did. He was hurt. If he didn't throw, if he didn't throw the left, bro, that already let you know who that this yeah. shit was hurt. My, my bag, big bro. My bag, big bro. My phone was acting up. Now you say the energy with your Cino. What? What you talking about? What was the energy after your Cino? The, the energy after your Cino was motherfucker. Man, did you see motherfucker Shakur? Man, that what, motherfucker. Who is your Cino, bro? Come on, man. Really? You know what? Here we go, bro. Like I'm saying, we, we talking like your Cino was a a De La Santos or something, or like he was a. Hold up, but if it, if he did dominate, if he did just dominated Dela Santos, y'all wouldn't have said, "Oh, that that was Dela Santos." Dela yeah. Santos was the this, like, what the fourth, fifth, sixth option. As a matter of fact, motherfuckers was saying that they wouldn't even take Dela Santos. This all I'm saying about yeah, him. Dela Santos so, is a this, joke. Be Millie. This, this all I'm saying because this is kind of like this, the shit that y'all, that folks put Bud through, bro. This, 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 this all like, I'm on, saying. Bro. This is all I'm saying. Be this, this, this is all I'm saying about Shakur. Shakur is one of my favorite fighters. I rock with Shakur. I'm supporting him to the forty. I'm just saying, Shakur got to show me that he can mix it up. And when he facing these big punches, I want to see his IQ outsmart and beat these people without all that super moving around like in. I want to see him dominate and beat these people with his IQ. Like, like, he ain't showing me that. Like Pretty Boy I Floyd mean, had great That's defense. what I want to see. And he I said, mean, like, like Floyd was... had great defense, but Floyd offense was, he was punching niggas up still. Shakur Did don't be like that in all his fights. A few fights, bro. And, and, but I'm, look, after this fight, this is his last fight with top rank. And I understand that they gave him a bogus matchup against the dude Frank Martin beat. So they didn't allow him to fight Maury Tai or whatever his name was. But after this fight, Shakur better have a, a, a fight against somebody that's good. A, a strong puncher. De La Santos or somebody like that. Y'all killing me how a three-weight division, bro, unified champion, got to do all We that. ain't taking none away from a B-back. We just said. Because you're not giving them no No, credit. we is. We, we just said. Is, hold up. Tell me something. Tell me something. Who gets more motherfucking, who gets more motherfucking hate on who they fight? He seemed like he Shakur. don't. Hold up. Shakur or fucking Tank? Shakur, really? And Shakur yeah, get more hate. And, and why is that? That's because, because everybody, everybody is fan. That's because everybody fanboys, B Mac, and they just thank you. Yeah. They, they love PBC and Floyd. They fanboys. Thank you. They, they, I don't. Thank that's you. yeah. I don't get take. I don't get take no credit. Fear take is to me. They don't. They don't care who it is as long as he get a win and knock him out. They don't care who the competition is. You know what I'm saying? So that their opinion really don't. Care uh, about. 
All I'm saying with Shakur is this. I understand the sweet science. You don't supposed to never get hit. That's true. But it just seemed like be merely like he don't never want to take a punch to even get his punch. Right, like he don't, he don't slight. Talking about boy, he got to Man, you see how? Man, you see how? So you you don't see what boy do to finish fights? How he are willing to take a punch to? Now you want to add blood in? Hold up, now you want to add blood in with Shakur? Now that because this is IQ, because this is IQ. That's why I'm saying everybody ain't motherfucking bubble. They knock everybody out. Are you that's, serious? That's IQ, though. B Mac, when Bud places himself in a certain position, Bro. and he and he know a fighter he don't go six years old. Oh, okay. I'm gonna give him some time, B Mac. I'm gonna give him some time. I'm gonna give him some time. You right? I'm gonna give him some time, B Mac. I'm gonna give him some time. I'm gonna give him some time. I'm gonna give him some time. You you twenty six years old, right? Okay, and you sat here and uh, look at his last motherfucking look at his last fights. Nobody had nothing to say when he's fighting uh Natalia, Herring, motherfucking still, Oscar Valdez. People were still saying he Stacey was born. Rolly and, said he was born. And Ryan said he was born. The fans said he who was born. Who gives a fuck about Rolly and Ryan? We talk about us. Stop and, playing. Well, look. <laughs> And I'm like saying nothing about them motherfuckers being sorry. Come on, uh, Jamel uh, Herring. Uh, what uh, was the performance in here? What was the performance against Oscar Valdez? Uh, 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 Oscar Valdez? What was the was good. performance was in the uh, casino? And yo, Sino, he it had just one fight. And this no. was everybody jump on right here. No, no. It's one hey, motherfucking fight. Shakur, Shakur, it's, it's another fight, B Mac, that he didn't show me no second gear in. He was doing the same thing over and no over like he couldn't gear. figure like he couldn't figure it out. I'm like, Shakur, you're supposed to have a better IQ than this when he fought. What, what are you talking about, bro? I, I think I think it was twenty to one oh seven, a domination. I he, think he it was Kasasi Jamel Hearn with a domination. It was motherfucker one eighteen to one oh nine against motherfucker Oscar Valdez. I, 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 I think it was I think it was Kasasi style, man. It's what, not Shakur. Seventeen to one oh nine. I mean, he dominated these fights, bro. Hey, B Mac. In all honesty, I don't think Shakur gonna get the credit that he that he deserved if he do deserve it until one forty. Because at one thirty five, he not gonna get the tank fight. He not willing to fight Keyshawn Davis. You not willing to fight Abdullah Mason. Like it ain't really no fighters there. Like people like Zapata. He ran away from the fight. So. It's not that many fights that's gonna give him the respect that he deserves at 135. So he needs to. Now, I, I just don't understand why he don't get no respect now when you went through three divisions already. No, I mean in this division he in right now is he? he I mean, I, 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 I get what you're saying about uh, uh, about this division now, and you yeah. know he's got a couple of his buddies, good buddies in there that they, they not gonna fight each other. I, I get you. Mm -hmm. I, I get it. I, I I get that part, and I and I agree with you on probably moving up to get those bigger fights. To get more more credit, I can I can roll with that, bud. I can roll yeah. with that. I can roll with that. You know what I'm saying? Because those guys ain't there. Because Tank ain't about to fight nobody. No, Tank ain't gonna fight him. He, he ain't gonna fight him, bro. He ain't gonna fight Dirk. I would drop the link, man. But we about to get off of this motherfucker, man. We've been out this motherfucker Stop, almost five hours. hours. Yeah. yeah, man. I would drop the link on you, bro. But we we thank we you, B Mac. I've been waiting, you, baby B Mac. I've been waiting for you to say this <laughs> the final conclusions. <laughs> yeah, bro. We're gonna do that now, man. Let's get these final words up, Blue. You know what I'm saying? Blue, you start them off. We gotta get up out of here, man. Cause I'm hey, 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 about listen, to go to listen, listen, listen. One love oh, to everybody. Miss Fistiana, most of the the Queens, um, people in the chat. People on the panel, everybody, brother, everybody, man. B Mac, you and and yes, I sir. appreciate the uh, the opinions that people came with because it, it's not we all can't agree on everything. So the, no matter what, I love the negativity and the positivity. It's no saying? negativity, not negativity it's just in the wrong way. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. In a good way because yeah, that's, yeah, 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 it's yeah, a yeah. debate. The, the debate, the, the 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 difference of opinion. Yes, yes, and that's all I'm saying. I ain't yes, saying sir. nothing else, but I appreciate everybody and thank everybody for for coming and hit that like button, please, because B Mac deserves it. He cooks, he thank does you, what he brother. do. He works hard for what he does, and the people that come on the panel, they work hard too, because they believe in what they believe in. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. So they're not going to come on the panel talking some bullshit yes, sir. because they believe in it. Yes, sir. So they yes, deserve sir. the respect just like everybody else do too. And even in the chat. Yes, sir. Especially in the chat. Shit. Especially the chat, man. You see what Especially I'm saying? Chat. You yeah, see what no, I'm saying? Nothing against the panel, man, but the reason why I say that is because the panel get to cook and say what they do. I can't get exactly. everybody in the chat. You know what yep. I mean? And y'all be saying some good shit, and I can't get to y'all. That's why I barbecue a lot of times so I could get y'all, uh, you know, uh, not only, you know, questions, but y'all statements because y'all very knowledgeable uh, in boxing, too, man. So I Talk that man. talk. Talk that talk, B, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Gotta love them, man. Gotta love the chat, bro. And that's a fact. So nothing but love, everybody. You know, um, I appreciate it. And thank you for having me on the panel. And, uh, you know, you was cooking, my guy. And I agree with a lot of stuff that you say. Some things I might have different, differentiate, you know, not agreed upon. But at the same token, it's nothing but love. That's how it goes. We're not going to always goes, disagree. Bro. So no matter what, you know, God damn it. Thank you, everybody. I'm going to get off. Man, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, man. Before I go out here to my man Bud, man, uh, Miss Fistiana said, "Thank you, B Nack. B Nack, who's B Nack, Fisty?" Hold on, hold on, B Mac. Here she go. B Mac, um, thank you for let let me come on the panel and everything. And I don't, I mean, I have smoke, but I love everybody. She started all this shit. No, I, I, I know I started all this shit, but I love, I love all y'all. I really, 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 really do. But um, I'm fresh that I had to go to bed. So I love y'all. Yeah. Love you I too. Hey, shit, this, is a, this is a free country, bro. Fistiana. I ain't shit. <laughs> yes, sir. I, I got a question. Yes, sir. Are you looking at the screen? Yes, sir. Who is B Knack? She tired. That's why. Oh, I did put it in. But <laughs> look, that was. Hey, look, it hit the button and everything, man. And hey, let me go on out here, man. To my man, Bug gonna stop uh, Canelo. Uh, give me your final thoughts, my brother, as we leave the show. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me on, y'all. Anytime, homies, man. Anytime. Cooking with y'all, and um, one thing I want to say, like these people. All these people in the comments that be fanboying like the Tank fans and the Canelo fans and the, mm -hmm. these people never show up in the live chats. The yes. fans, none of them dudes. And they, they yeah. channels, them pro Spence channels, they never even really have people on like that to talk. You know what I'm saying? It's like yes, sir. a whole different set of group of people that's weird. And they know they talking nonsense, but they can just keep typing. They'll never yeah. come step up like a man. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right. Yes, sir. Yes. So I, I, I just respect all the people like me, man. And um, it, yes, I just sir. wanted to say salute to y'all. We're going to keep uh, seeing what happened with this buzz situation. That's all I'm waiting on to see the next yep. group, man. But yes, so sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Hey, man, salute to you, man. I appreciate you, man. First time on the panel, man. I hope it ain't the last time. You know what I'm saying? Definitely you not. know. Yes, sir, man. My man Buzz gonna stop Canelo, man. Very knowledgeable, man. Boxing gen gentleman, man. So, uh, hey, Bud, you got a channel, bro? Uh, no, nah, but I'm finna start one soon. I I'm gonna okay. change my name too. Yeah, I I'm about to, cause I be having stuff to say. I be want to even go on these comment sections. Like, I could be cooking these niggas in the comments. Like, <laughs> post it on the screen. How could, like, fans talking about, please don't make the, uh, don't. Mandate the Spence versus Crawford fight. He needs some tune ups. All these coward statements, they need to be put on blast. But yeah, I'm going to get a channel soon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, I appreciate you, man. I'll be waiting for the channel, man, whenever you, whenever you get it rocking and rolling, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Keep doing what you do. Man, appreciate the young soldier, man. I'm going out here to uh, Chi Town, man. Y'all know who he is, man. L to the B double O G I E. El Buggy. I, I, hold on, hold on. I knew he sounded like he was from Chicago. I, I'm from Chicago. I'm like, he sound like somebody in Chicago. I, I heard that when he was talking. But sure. Oh, okay. So you from Chi Town too? Yeah, I'm from Chicago too. Oh man, we got some more Chi Towns up in here, man. We got more show the Chi Town soldiers up in here, man. Yes, yes sir. sir. What's up, El Boogie? Give me your final <laughs> thoughts, my brother. Yes, sir. Um. I know I came to the show late today, B. Millie. Um, I'm going to go catch the beginning, you know, beginning uh, playback. Um, you know, B. Mac, it's always an honor and it's a pleasure, big bro. Um, yes, sir. Oh, I appreciate you, man. The show oh, always, 
the show always great. Um, I love your research, man. I love how you get prepared and do your intros and give us a, a, all the great points to sit back and break down and, and, yes, sir. and, and point out the facts. Um, yes, sir. Facts. So you already, you really so you facts, already know, facts, B. Man, facts. You already know the business, man. Keep going strong. We here with mm -hmm. you to support you. We're going to, man, rock it out to the wheel. Oh. Yes, sir. El Boogie, your communications fell off. Hey, hey, B Mac, uh, that's for real shit. On just a, just a uh, piggyback off what he said. That's a fact. What's that, my brother? That's a fact, my guy. That that's a fact. You do be doing what you do. You know, I give you, I give you flowers when it comes to that, man. That's real. Oh shit. man, thank you, man. I appreciate it, man. All I the really time. Do. You, you, you I do, really do, do what it do, and that's a fact. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, El Boogie. You you back with us? El Boogie. El Boogie must have fell, fell off too. Like, I'm only I'm only pulling the link for Miss Fistiana and our fresh because they, they said they got kicked off. But um I'll give y'all one second because we're gonna close the show. Oh, there they go. There they go. Here, here, here we go. Here we go, B Mac. Appreciate you, bro. Appreciate yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Go, go ahead, man. Oh, B -Mac. Don't talk. You ain't got to touch the phone, though. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you, can you hear her, B Mac? Get that wine from, get that wine from my sister. <laughs> she got water right now. What, B Mac? B Mac, thank you for having me on the panel. And yes. I know I caused, I caused havoc you know, on your show today, but that's what I do. I cause havoc, baby. El Boogie, I'm still coming for that ass, and I want Young Africa, too, and I also want, <laughs> who's the other one I want? AC, you ran AC, AC out the ring. AC, where you at? You ran away? <laughs> Come back, AC! And Young Africa, <laughs> if you're listening, I'm coming for that ass, too! <laughs> oh, Lord. Thank you, Queen. <laughs> I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. Hey, Fresh. Yo. Give me your final thoughts, man. We get on up out of here. I see what I got put up with B-Mac, but nah. Yeah, <laughs> B -Mac, I already man. know. Appreciate you, bro. You know what it is, man. It's always love, man. Like, I mean, you, you know, you've been you day, one, since day one with me, man, and everybody else. I noticed you know how you run your channel how you treat everybody you know that come on uh whether we knew from day one or whatever it's all love on the on the mac mob show man so y'all make sure y'all come subscribe and, and share my brother's channel hit that like button man because you know we're gonna have to have sue young pull up in y'all run up in your crib and make y'all push the like button you yeah, know what i'm saying man. yeah uh, <laughs> tell me hit that like uh you know what I'm saying? Like, be Mac, be Mac bringing it, man. And, you know, he letting this on here cook. We got to remember this is his time we on. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to be on here five or six hours. Brother said the other night, it, the other day, it hurt. You know, six, seven hours, it hurt. Yes, and sir. I feel him. But yes, we sir. appreciate you, be Mac. We appreciate you, man. We love you. It was a great cook from everybody. I seen yeah. new heads pulling up. So y'all make sure, again, subscribe, like the channel, share with everybody else. And this is what we do. Great cook, everybody, everybody, everybody. And, uh, okay, you know, okay. to the next time, man, one love to everybody. And you be Mac, especially. Yes, man, XO, I appreciate you, man. One love and blessings you, to you, XO. The prayers are still going up, so you just be easy, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the motherfucking factory, man. One love to you, man. One love to everybody. Uh, special shout outs to Miss Bitch out there. I see you, Miss Bitch. Mob Queen in the building. Yes, indeed. I see you out there. Glad to see you. I'm going to catch you on the roll call as well. You know what I'm saying? So I uh, love to see my mob queens out there, man. We're going to get on up out of here and, uh, you know, do what we got to do. So um, hold up, man. My brother just slid through the door. Hold up one second. Before I get, before we get on up out of here, man, my brother, Mr. Exo Corleone from the Exo <laughs> Factory, man, just slid through. Exo, give me your final thoughts, my brother. Hey, big bro. Shout out to you, big bro. I appreciate you coming on. Sorry I had to slide out the ring, man. Had a couple things going on. Then you got this wrestling shit going on, too. But, yeah, man, you was cooking. Uh, Fresh, I appreciate you, bro, man. Thanks for the love, bro. You know, it's always love with us. You know me. No doubt. You, you know how me, you, and B-Mac do it. 
You know, yes, sir. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. So shout out to everybody that came on today, man. You know, Blue, uh, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Fit, uh, Fistiana, Big Sis, shout out to you. Hey, man, shout out to everybody, man. Great show today, B, man. Great show. Great Thank show, you, my bro. brother. Thank Great you, my show. Brother. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, there was, there was a fire show today. You dropped receipts. We got a chance to go. Go back and forth with everybody. Man. <laughs> it was a good day today. It was a good day. Good day today, you. man. I appreciate good day it. today, hey, man. Man, y'all shut it. Y'all, y'all. Hey, man, if y'all out there listening, man, hit the like button, man. Share, share the content, man. Sub up. If you haven't, you know what I'm saying? It's the fires. We the fires in the mat, Mark. You know what I'm saying? One love to you, big bro. One love, big man. Fact. I appreciate you, man. That's XO from the XO Factory, man. Go show that brother some love. Hit his like button, man. Subscribe to his channel, man. And also, yeah. man, my other underboss, my man Fresh. Y'all go out there and hit his like button and share the content as well, man. Get that knowledge. You hear me? So one love to everybody, man. My ox in the building. My, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, all the love and, and, and support from everybody. I thank y'all so much, so much. So, uh, what y'all want to hear, man? How we how we gonna how we gonna roll a little reggae, man, or a little little? little how we gonna put that mob, gonna... that mob, that mob, uh, call, uh, that mob Godfather theme joint? Oh, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> the mob Godfather joint. I don't think I got the mob Godfather up here, oh, okay. man. Um, we, we let's just let's let's just let's a little little reggae, man. We get on up out of here, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. One love, one love. Yeah, let's one love it on up out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Salute. The Mac Bob is brought to you by BetUS.com, America's favorite sports book. 29 years running strong. All your parlays and your prop bets and everything you need at BetUS.com. Don't forget to use the promotion code MAC125 and get 125 bet percent back on your sign up bonus. That means you put down 100, they give you 225 to play with. Hey man, that's free money, ladies and gentlemen. Free money. You can call 1 800 79 bet US. One love to the mob, to the panel, my ah, fresh. The freshest man in the Mac Ma. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. One love to you, I appreciate you. To my man Blue, Blue Hustle Man. You know what I'm saying? One love to you, Blue. Appreciate you, dog. Warren G, the consigliere. One love to you, Warren G, man. Yes, indeed. OG Warren, the back end king. I'm sorry, OG Mr. Golden, the back end king, man. That's Golden, man. Golden B E K. Back in King, man. One love to you, Mr. Golden. To the mob queen, Miss Fistiana fights. Blessings to you, queen. Queen was hitting the buttons, snodding problems, doing everything, but it's all love. <laughs> Thank you, queen. To the underboss, XO, 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 holy on from the XO factory, man. One love to you, bro. Keep your head up, man. Love you, man. All with you, man. My man, AC the Chef. Brooklyn hit. Brooklyn's finest. One love to you, AC. My man, Joe Cool was in the building, man. One love to you, Joe Cool. Appreciate you, dog. Coolest man in the mob. You hear me? My man, uh, Bill's Boot Camp slid in here with a new name. <laughs> Thank you, Bill. One love to you, man. Appreciate you, man. Cam the Baptist. One part the apostles. Slid through. What's up, Cam? Thank you, man. Gave great energy, man. One love, man. And it's boxing to you. You can catch Cam, man, with Pastor Gucci and Big Sugar J. You know what I'm saying? And it's boxing to you. And speaking of Big Sugar J, Big J was in the house today. Shout out to you, Big J. One love to you, man. Appreciate you as always. That's two thirds of the apostles was in that building, man. We just need to pass the gooch, man. But you can catch all three of them in it's boxing to you. One love to you, man. Hell Boogie was in the building. Shot Town. Shot Town. Shot Town. L Boogie. One love to you, L Boogie. You, Mr. Gorn, and my man, 
Bud gonna stop Canelo. Another Shot Town soldier. Appreciate you, Shot Town. All you Shot Town soldiers, man. One love to you, Bud. Appreciate you, man. We OGWCS Girl Combat Sport. One love to you, WCS. Glad you came and chopped it up with us, OG. Appreciate it, man. To the chat. My man MKB, Body King Boxing. What's up with you, man? Glad to see you, man. Appreciate you. My queen, the Jessica in the building. The great line be my Thank you, queen. You know that number but love with you. Always, my queen, the Jessica. One love to you. My man, LeBron 9817. Day one soldier all day. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate you, LeBron. One love to you, man. Christopher White. Glad to see you again, Chris. Thank you, man. C-Dub. One man, C-Dub in the building, man. Yes, indeed. My queen, Miss Bitch. One love. Another shot town in the building. Shot town rolling. You know what I'm saying? Glad to see you, Miss Bitch. One love to you. My man, School O X man Glad to see you, X. Where you been at, dog? Nah, I'm just playing. You always here, man. <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. Hey, Dirk Banks, I know you want to hit that lick, man, but uh, we got to get out the door, man. Shout out to my man, Dirk Banks, man. One love to you, man. That's Bizzle for real. One love to you, dog. Appreciate you, man. Shy Evil. One love to you, Sai. Appreciate you, man. My man, Sai Jones was up in here. What's up, Sai? Man, I ain't seen you in a minute, man. What's going on, baby? I'm glad to see you up in this jump. Yes, indeed, man. Glad to see you, Sai. It's been, a, it's been a minute, man, but I'm so glad to see you, man. Being a part of the Mac Mar. You hear me? WJ Lucky. Hey, one, man. Always being a part of the Mac Mar, man. Yes, indeed. My man, Andrew Charles. What's up, AC? Yes, sir, Andrew Charles. One love to you, man. X Kodak, Pam X. One love to you, man. Never seen you before, but glad you're here. You know what I'm saying? The Mac Mob is growing. Yes, indeed. My man, the wise one was in here. What's up, wise one? One love to you, dog. Appreciate you, man. Being a part of the Mac Mob. Damn, there's a lot of people up in here, man. <laughs> the news by Sean, uh, 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 my man, uh, Sonny Sauce Experience. What's up, man? Sauce Experience. What's up with you, dog? I didn't know you was up in here. Damn. A lot of people in the chat that I miss, man. Dr. Paul. One love to you, baby. My man, Captain Fool G. One love to you, dog. Killer man. Motherfucker DC, homie, man. What's good with you, Slim? Glad to see you, man. New cat all day. Every day. Mob, your way. My way. Yes, indeed. Glad to see you, baby. Yeah. Hey, boy. My man Chick came in. What's going on, Chick? New guy. One love to you, man. New soldier, that is. I don't think I can get through all of y'all, man. There's a lot of y'all today. Just the guy. We try to speed it up. <laughs> try to get everybody, man. My oh, man, just the guy was up in here, man. Glad to see you, baby boy. Darren Collins. What's going on with you, Darren Collins? One love to you, man. DMV Soldier. Latch Puma Skills. One love to you, Latch, man. Glad to see you, man. Uh, make sure you hit me up about uh, uh, little Brandon. You know what I mean? My man, Hitch, Mitch Hennessy. What's up, Mitch? Appreciate you, baby boy. Glad to see you up in here, man. Once again, man. You say you was gonna hit the link, man. Should've hit the link. You know what I'm saying? Patrick Valentine. What's going on, Patrick? How you doing, man? 913 Boxer. What's good with you, soldier? Glad to see you, man. My man Jay. What's good with you, dog? My man uh, Skylar Ortiz, the boxer. What's good with you, baby boy? Glad to see y'all, man. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all, man, that came in part being a part of the back bar. Cooking with uh, 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 Sir Senior up in here, man. One love to you, man. I appreciate you, man. You know, we got to get on up out of here, y'all. We got to get on up out of here. I hope y'all enjoying y'all Sunday evening. Please hit the replay. You know what I'm saying? Share, like, 
subscribe to the channel. Earl Thomas, I see you in the back door, man. One love to y'all, man. But uh, we got to get on up out of here, man. Special shout out to my cousin, Lil Lynn. What's up with you, Lynn? All love, Lynn. All love, man. All love. Uh, if I missed you, please forgive me, man, because the Mac Bob is growing. Bob Queen, it's Lisa Queen. This is the Queen, Toby Bartlett. We global. The M Saint, we global. The Mac Bob, we global. We got to go, y'all. We got to go. Say less. My love to you, man. Hey, we growing, y'all. Thank y'all so much. Hit the likes, subscribe, share. This is your man, B Mac the God. And this is the Mac Mob, baby. We out. Mike Douglas, you know, Mike Douglas used to make me moist when I watched the show. I would get, I admit it, I would get moist when I watched the show. Huh? Oh, you must be Jimmy Walker. Well, you ain't nothing. You don't deserve nothing. You don't get nothing. You get what I give you. I got a contract between me and you. This say you do what I tell you do. Therefore, shut up. Don't say nothing. Don't speak to me. And your shit's moist, I like that. You gotta keep your shit moist if you gotta curl. Nothing in the world worse than a dry ass Jerry curl. Cause you, your shit's moist. You took time to moisten your shit. Trouble.